with your Bible sitting in your hand, decree this like thunder. Say so every promise in this scripture. I claim it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and claim it by fire. I claim it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Now stretch your Bible to the heavens like this. Say, I declare by the word of God that I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it as you stretch forward the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. A louder amen. This is not a day to joke or to play games. Especially since there are some creep hiding there. Waiting for the person's day of glory. Waiting for the person's days of testimony. Waiting for the person at the maternity home. Waiting for the wedding day. Waiting for that glorious day. We call them cryptic battles. You can never overpray. You can only underpray. And prayers never die. Prayers are never wasted. So don't keep quiet while others are receiving breakthroughs. A lot of us read about Jabez. There are many things we don't understand. We have not bothered to trace why Jabez was like that. Let me try and trace it for you a little bit now. Open your Bible to First Chronicles chapter 4. Are we there? If you are not there, say wait for me. We'll wait for you because I want you to understand this. Are we in First Chronicles chapter 4? The sons of Judah. Judah meant praise the sons of judah Phares, ezron and kami and hall and shobal i know the jews don't just give names to people they give names after studying the culture situation and the words of jehovah just like our local people to here we don't normally give names anyhow verse 2 and Riaya, son of shobal begat jahat and jad begat Ahuma and Lahad. These are the family of the Zorathites. And these were of the father of Etham, Jezreel, Jezreel, and Isma, and Idbash. From this verse 3, problem started. In verse 3, we see Jezreel, which means son of God, or a seed that is son of God. But after that, Jezreel something happened something terrible happened the story of success ended there then from ishma and ishma ishma means desolation so from him came an evil tree after him was hitbash hitbash means the hand of shame the hand of shame and the name of the sister was azelponi and penna the father of gedor Gedor means encaged. And Ezra, the father of Usha. These are the sons of Hor. The first one of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem. And Asher. Asher means blackness or darkness. The father of Tekwa. He had two wives. Hila and Nara. Hila in verse 7 means rubbish or dustbin or scum of the earth. Let me save you some time. In verse 8, and cause began Anub and Zobeba. Zobeba means go slow. Go slow. The family also of Ahel, the son of Harum. Harel means behind or the very, very last. So by his name, he appeared to have become the last on the queue of blessing. And the family line kept giving on back to unfortunate people, people with bad luck, whose destinies have been vandalized. Until in verse 9, Jabez was now born. So the problem of Jabez was that he was part of an evil tree. And so he found that he was not in a place of blessing. And trouble happened. 
God told Eli, say, there shall not be an old man in your house forever, and that his children shall be beggars. Eli had planted an evil tree. Both Phineas and Phineas were not 30 years old when they died. So sometimes tragedies, beggarly spirit poverty, perpetual poverty problems, perpetual tragedy, is as the result of an evil tree that has been planted somewhere. I pray once again that any tree not planted by the Father that is in anybody's life here now will be uprooted by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. With fire in your voice. We're going to start these mysterious prayers now. Every plantation of failure in my foundation in the name of Jesus that is the first thing to deal with deal with the plantation of failure in Jesus name we pray silence let us wait for the manifestation of the miracles that is supposed to follow that prayer point that's right as a result of that prayer we've prayed now so many people will receive promotion breakthroughs that place where they say they don't want you go back there they will now want you that's right every foundational mistake that is affecting my life now blood of Jesus kill them in the name Jesus open your mouth and decree it something is happening again something is happening again yes that is the power of God that is the power of God blood of Jesus kingdom in Jesus name we pray say every evil river flowing into my destiny from my foundation can you say this loud and clear in the name of Jesus Yes, 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 thou power of God, move, thou power of God, move, 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 move. Jesus name we pray every plantation of failure in my foundation in the name of Jesus that is the first thing to deal with ah, 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 ah. Deal with the plantation of failure. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say this loud and clear. Foundational yokes. Break! 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 
you have to shout it three odd times. Can I hear you saying it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, break it. It must be broken. Yes, yes, break, 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 break. Masika poshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of confusion. Arise. Confuse yourself. And go back to your senders. Arrows of confusion. Arise. Confuse yourself. Go back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. Something is happening here. Paula can tend there about question about today is today. Just continue, continue. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Within the next minutes, I want you to wear your cup of warfare. The Lord said there are people here surrounded by breakthroughs. Amen. But listen, forces have tied their hands. Although surrounded by those breakthroughs, they could not get their hands on them. This is why I want you to pray this prayer in anger. Especially if you know that you need a change by fire. Shout this loud and clear now. Chains upon my heart. Break in the name of Jesus. Break the chains. In the name of Jesus. Chains upon my hands. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Let the chains be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. At the edge of my testimony. Right, somebody here needs to shout this loud and loud. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Stop the revival of the enemy. At the edge of your breakthroughs. But Kapale Captain Darabo Sanda Naribo Sopola Kayabo Koshente Raba Mana Kapola Kata Rika Sanda. That's right. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. With fire and with power, you will shout this loud and clear. Opportunity wasted of my father's house. Your time is up. There. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. Yes, yes. 
This is not a night to negotiate. Not a night to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. You see what is happening now? You see what is happening? This night is with only madness. Because he shall release 21 breakthroughs. 21 different breakthroughs. Foundational cage. Hear the word of the Lord. Break in the name of Jesus. Let the foundational cage be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Masikate ya boshende rabakapola basanta. Ribo saponde kaya boshende rabakapola basampa. Marida kaponde sete ya bokoshende. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Right. Foundation of God. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Break. In Jesus. Uh -huh. If you see what is happening here now, great testimonies are happening in so many lives. Thank you, Jesus. Every power binding my opportunities. And I hear the sisters roaring like lion. Is that the loud that the sisters can say to that? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Ah. This is not a day to joke with the enemy. This is not even the time to negotiate. Any enemy that has followed you here has made a mistake. Any of the programs that have followed anyone here is in trouble. Say, fetish power! Is out the loudest who can shout it? Sign against my life. Can I hear the sisters roaring like thunder? Is that the loudest the sisters can say? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now! Backfire! In the name of Jesus! That's right! There must be a backfiring effect. Masopotende kaya boshenda. Ribosopende kaya boshenda. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. In Jesus name we pray uh -huh. you see now I told you yes 
Yes. You that sickness program into the head, program into the brain, program into the heart, program into the blood, program into the womb, program into the breast. Right there where you are, I deprogram you. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here now. And there is unconscious programming inside their bodies. You just in the body. It is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall run out of their close places. You the stranger in the body. Your time is up. Come out now. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. That's number seven. That's how it's coming out. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. You cannot hide. Your time is up. Lose your hold. The serpent program into the body. Lose your hold. The fibro protein program into the womb. Lose your hold. The sickness program into the blood. Lose your hold. Yes. That's the seventh person. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10, number 11, number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at what is happening over there. You must be released. Today is that day of release. Any power program into that person's body to prevent you from getting married is coming out now. It's coming out now. There's a power of God coming upon you. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, yes. Say anything. Program into my life to destroy my destiny. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Masete Keya Bo Shendera Boko Center, Ribo Soponde Keya Bo Shentera Ba, Da Katanda Kanda Rabo Soto Laba. In Jesus' name we pray. When I travel abroad for my degree, I met a Nigerian. The first time I met him, I greeted him. But God opened my eyes. I saw a masquerade follow him. Masquerade in the dream means ancestral spirits. So I said, my brother, that is a masquerade following you. Cut it off. He laughed at me. <laughs> yeah, in the UK, you are seeing masquerade. <laughs> so I left him alone. He was studying food science. PhD is for three years. He studied it for eight years. And before you pass a PhD, you attend what you call an interview, a viva. Somebody, a professor will come and be asking you questions verbally. So his viva came. The professor asked the simplest question. Because to get a PhD, you must write a book called a thesis. And the, prof the professor asked the simplest question. What is the title of your thesis? He was the one that was written it for eight years. Beloved, he could not remember. And you know those professors? 
are external examiners, they are known to be very, very vicious. So the man kept repeating the same question. That one he could not answer. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. And that was the question he asked him for one hour. And after one hour, I said, well, if, you, if I assume that you did not do this work, because if you did it, you won't forget the title. Therefore, fail. Ah. It was when the man said, fail. And I remember the name. I was already asleep at 12 midnight. I had to knock on my door. Co, 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 co. Daniel. That's my first name. Come out, oh. There is fire on the mountain. Come out. So I came out. Ah, what's the matter? The, the masquerade you saw. This is the time to kill it. I said, what happened? And I told me. He is the first person in the whole of his family line to get a degree. Now he wants to get a PhD. The masquerade followed him to the UK. Can you raise up your right hand? Masquerade power! Assign against my destiny. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah! And purge my family line! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is out the loudest who can shout it? In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shendera bo kopola bara bo santa. Purge my family line. Then we pray. Circle of darkness in my family life. In the name of Jesus. But the center Yaboko Shender Aboko Pola Kayaba. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Open your mouth and decree. This is why you are here. Continue, continue, continue. Continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, patterns of darkness in my family life break. In the name of Jesus, break the patterns. Break the patterns. Break the patterns. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Things are happening already. If you want me to prostrate and beg you, I will pray this like a mad prophet. Because the angels to carry these instructions are already here. Say this after me. 
the mistakes of my parents will not become my tragedy. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare that one. Their mistakes will not become a tragedy. Aha! Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. I refuse to struggle with what my parents struggle with. Maybe your parents struggle with certain things. Now you are struggling with the same thing. I refuse to struggle with what my parents struggle with. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus name we pray something is happening these yokes are being broken yokes of profitless hard work the yoke of failure at the edge of breakthroughs the yoke of constant witchcraft attacks the yoke of untimely death the yoke of dream attacks the yoke Clinical prophecies. It's happening. Makatanda Rabu Sandia. Ribala Kapanta. Lekande Sendeya Boshende Rabakayaba. You will shout this loud and clear. Any padlock of darkness. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. This is the time for you to pray. Now the time to negotiate. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. You will shout this loud and clear. Bullets of darkness fired against me while I was a baby. In the name of Jesus. It is important that you pray. Yes. Sight. Baka posente kaya bo shende rabo koraba. Bana katanda rabo sopota raba. In Jesus them we pray everybody will shout this loud and clear we are not here to play we are not here to joke cry to the evilness cry with all your voice weapons of darkness my body Jesus Jesus we are the great physician as a great physician in Jesus name we pray In my life, Pray! in the name of Jesus, continue, continue. This is not a day to negotiate. Uh 
ha 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 in jesus name we pray hear this word from the lord the lord said there are so many people here today who have come with long term problems there are so many people here today that the enemy has been mocking the lord said if you will pray this prayer which we're going to pray three hot times if you will pray this prayer and immediately you pray the third prayer that will be the end of all the problems say every power prolonging my problem you are a liar Damn! in the name of jesus that's right Jesus, move, move, in Jesus name we pray, <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, aha, aha, Amen. Uh -huh. The spirit of paralysis has just been removed from somebody. The evil flow of blood has just been arrested. That cancer in a person's body has just dried up. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Don't negotiate. Don't keep quiet. Don't negotiate. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. yes this is the final one every power prolonging my problem you are a joker Damn! in the name of Jesus Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. Silence. I is an evil hand laid on somebody's pregnancy. The fire of God is burning that hand. Right now, and you have been completely released. You will shout this again loud and clear. Power of repeated problems. Is that the loudest you can shout against it? You are a liar! Yeah! In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Deal with that power now. Makate seponda kaya bo shende rabo konte. La ribo seponda kaya bo shanda. Something is happening here this morning. Yes. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Fire of affliction. A sign against my life. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, kill the fire completely. Deal with the fire of affliction in the name of Jesus. We'll send the capon the caribo sopola kaya boshanda. That send the kaya boshente rabo kola boko sente rabaraba. That rabo sopon the kaya boshente rabo kompola baraba. Command the fire of affliction to die and to rise no more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Goliath of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. Die in the name of Jesus. Deal with the Goliath. Deal with the Goliath today. Masente kaboya boko shendera bakayaba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. Witchcraft exchange of my virtues. Can you shout it with boiling anger? Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. That's why Jesus brought you here. My support and can tell Abokoya Boshanda. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Assigned to use my life as a fertilizer. Can you shout it with boiling anger? You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be used as a fertilizer. Yes, enough is enough. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, witchcraft infirmity in the eyes, in the stomach, in the womb, in the legs. They are being cancelled now. They are being cancelled now. They are being cancelled. They are being cancelled now. Masekaya bo shende rabo They are being cancelled now. Every problem transferred into my life backfire in the name of Jesus. This is not a death to negotiate. This is not a death to negotiate at all. 
We have negotiated for too long. Today is the day to fight back. Masepo kaya bo shendera bo konta. Aha, 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 aha. Makasepende ya bo In Jesus name we pray. Making good progress. Aha. Strangers in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you shout it loud and clear? Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something must happen in your life today. Aha, 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 aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Today is not a day to negotiate. Makapo sependa ke ya bo shende rabaka. Banaribo sependa ke ya bo shende rabaka. Jesus, then we pray. The Bible said, "Thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy." Pray this with boiling anger. Pray it with all your strength. Owners of evil, Lord, of my fathers, ah! owners of evil, Lord, of my mothers, ah! Carry Lord in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Yes. Today is today. You cannot negotiate. Masekaya bo shendera bo kontera basanda. In Jesus name we pray. Things are happening here. Listen. I forgot for somebody over there. Those things you have not been able to achieve for years. The Lord said you will achieve it now. <laughs> so every power, every power trading with my virtues return my virtue. Da. In the name of Jesus Jesus, open your mouth and pray it now. Command the answer with that. Every evil and I'm not to waste my head. In Jesus' name we pray. Now shout this loud and clear. Arrows of untimely death. Fired against my head. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Command it to backfire. Pass up on the country. Riba sependa kayabo shantayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody here. You're already in sorrow because the year is going to an end. But I have a message for you. The Lord said, I should tell you that although the year is going to an end, 
your miracle will happen before it goes to an end. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Now, this prayer, they're going to villages and towns and cities. Every pot. Or if you like, you can say every cauldron. Every pot. Call him my name. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Command the pot to be broken. Break now in the name of Jesus. Every pot call him my name. Break. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody over there. I don't know who this word is for. The Lord said, Though they have gathered to disgrace you, they shall end up promoting you. Aha! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Now say, every power, call him my name or any member of my family from the great of the grave Damn! in the name of jesus that's right stop them before they stop you stop them before they stop you in jesus name we pray Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. This is not a day to joke. It's a day for serious action. And don't negotiate this with any power at all. Say, affliction authority. Assigned against me. Shout that prayer. Is out the loudest who can shout that prayer. In the name of Jesus, command the affliction authority to expire. Masopola kaya bo shentera bakanja. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say bullets of darkness arise. Locate your sender. Can you say that loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. Make sure your voice is louder than anyone around you. In the name of Jesus, send by the bullets of darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. Every tree of affliction of my father's house. Every tree of affliction of my mother's heart. Your time is up. Dead! In the name of Jesus. Somebody here is getting a breakthrough. Somebody there is being set free. But upon the Kayaba Shantaraba.
Mariapa Likatendeka. In Jesus' name we pray. Garment of shame. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Set it on fire. But Satan the Kayabo Shanter Abokoyaba Ribosapia Likanta. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this one is personal. Don't negotiate with this one at all. Any tree the Father has not planted. Inside my body, Damn! in the name of Jesus, kill the tree. Masakaya bo shendera bo kontaraba, riba sepele kaya bo. In Jesus' name, we pray. somebody is mentioning your name at the front of a shrine are your ancestors shriners you will notice unexplainable blockages i want you to close your eyes again say so every evil load attached to my head by the shrines of my father's house Jesus, every evil Lord attached to my head by the shrines of my father's house. Your time is up. Da! Something is happening. Something is happening. That's why Jesus brought you here. Just say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Masopokoya bo shente rabakaya ba, ribo kapanda sete ya bo shente rabakaya ba, maribo soponde ke ya bo shente ya ba, bo pola kasete nde kaya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Every archive of darkness speaking against my destiny. Jesus yes speak against the archives that's right thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray making good progress making good progress if your parents were shriners please pray this one with boiling anger dark archives my father's house dark archives of my mother's house can you shout those two things loud and clear In the name of Jesus. That's right. Makaya bo shende rabo kusente makaya ba. Ribo sepende kaya bo shente. Something is up over there. Something is up over there. Jesus name we pray that's right that inner fire which has been burning inside you and you have been taking tablets to calm down the fire 
is an attack of darkness. The evil fire has backfired now. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Voices from my past. That is harassing my future. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. Cut out the voices. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Cut it off. In Jesus, then we pray. Witchcraft archives. Assigned to kill. In my family. Can you shout this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Damn! In the name of Jesus, deal with the archives. Masetakaya bo shende rabo kontia. Rapi ali katenda raba. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So every good thing in my life. Imprisoned by archives of darkness. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. This is one of the strongest prayers you are going to pray here today. Pray it with all your mind. Strong man! Using archives of darkness against me. Die! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Inherited archives. Polluting my life. Can you shout that loud and clear? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Basse katenda ya bo shende rabo konta. Boride ke setende ke ya bo shende raba kaya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Now don't joke with this next prayer. Don't say, I don't think it concerns me. Any dark tree representing me. Die! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dark trees. That's right. If it's representing me, whatever you are growing, die! That's right. Something is happening to somebody over there. Yes. Masete kapo ya bo shende raba karabo santa. Yes.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening to somebody over there. You shall hear a news from the village of what has happened to that tree. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. This next prayer, if you are afraid, I suggest you keep quiet. Any power, power. sleeping to harm me. Can you say this loud and clear? Shall not wake up. Can you declare this loud and clear? Masekate da kaya boshende. Shout it again louder than anyone else. In the name of Jesus, if they are sleeping to harm you. That's right. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Let that be silence now. I just add the voice of the Holy Spirit that he wants to remove the arrows of polygamous witchcraft. Let that be silence now. Why this is taking place. The power of God is moving from person to person. That's right. That arrow fired on you when you were a baby the one that has entered into the brain the one that has entered into the chest the one that has entered into the womb the power of God is coming upon you now and that yoke is broken completely as the first person over there some other person over there aha let's be released in the name of Jesus Shout this again loud and clear. Don't say, I don't think this concerns me. Say, midnight curses. Midnight curses. Fired, against Fired against me. Can you shout it with only anger? Die, die, die. In the name of Jesus, deal with those curses. Oh yes, something is happening. That's right. Masika tenda kaya bushende ra bokonte. In Jesus' name, we pray. See me at the edge of breakthroughs. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray so spiritual bullets assigned against my life hear the word of the Lord backfire in the name of Jesus command the bullets to backfire Ah, 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 ah. Something is happening about that. 
Makapo sente ya boshende rabakatelaba. Bana riba setende ke ya boshende raba. Jesus, them we pray. Until King Uzziah died, Isaiah did not fulfill his destiny. Until the prophets of Baal died, the rains did not fall upon the land of Israel. Certain things sometimes have to die for certain good things to manifest. This is why you pray this loud and clear. Uzziah of my fathers are assigned to waste my destiny. Say it loud and clear. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, waste the Uzziah so that the Uzziah will not waste you. That's right. Potaka sanda kaya bo shende rabo kunte. Pira di kasenta ya bo shanta. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. That's good. Power to waste wasters. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Waste any power that wants to waste you. In Jesus' name we pray. We are not walking all the time amongst angels. We walk mostly amongst children of the devil, unbelievers. We walk amongst those who carry satanic powers and come to the office. We walk among men who are so deep into the occult, it's a terrible thing. You need power to confront their wickedness. Power that they will see and respect God in your life. But if you don't have that kind of power, they will embarrass, insult, and disgrace you. You will close your eyes and with all the volume your voice can gather here, as many people as will pray this prayer from their heart, you will see that the touch of God will come upon their lives. Shout this is the way I'm going to shout my own. be insulted can I hear you shouting this loud and clear there is somebody who needs to shout this louder than anyone else shout it again louder than that look at me now in the name of jesus something must happen in your life here this morning Maria bo sopola kaya bo shentera ba, borike sempende kaya bo shentera bo kola ba kaya ba, bana ribo sopende kaya bo shentera bo kaya ba. Power from heaven that cannot be insulted. Look at me now. 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 Look at me now.
Ajá. Ajá, 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 ajá. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Something is happening now. Yes, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Power that cannot be insulted. Look at me now. 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 Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm making progress. Good progress. Nebuchadnezzar discovered that those men were too hot to handle. So, my father! Make me too hot to handle by the powers of darkness. The Bible said the strangers have fed away and they shall run out of their hiding places. For the strangers to fade away, a greater power must have entered. Everybody shouting it again, my father! Make me too hot to handle in the name of Jesus. Too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that has to die. Can you say that loud and clear? For my full joy to come. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Masetekeya Boshanda. E Jesus name we pray Holy Ghost power incubate my life in the name of Jesus let my life be incubated by the power of God in Jesus name we pray you will now cry the blood of Jesus you will shout it at the top of your voice that ever efficacious blood you will now ask that blood to wipe off the handwriting of man upon your destiny so that only the handwriting of God will stand say blood of Jesus wipe away the handwriting of men upon my destiny can I hear you shouting this loud and clear is that the loudest who can shout this prayer That is somebody needs to shout this loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The handwriting of men. Wipe it off.
them we pray listen carefully beloved many wonderful things have happened here today the testimonies will be awesome the water of Jericho was bitter and was killing people Elijah took a clean vessel put salt in it went to the source of the river and put it there he said never again this water be bitter and Elisha made a never again battle cry a never again proclamation the same battle cry was recorded by Moses in Exodus 14 he said the Egyptians that you have seen today you will never see them again and I profess upon somebody here the problem that you are seeing today you will never see them again in the name of Jesus Elisha am a real life thunder This woman will get pregnant at a particular month. Seven or eight months, I've forgotten now. She will have a dream. A wild cow will attack her tummy with the horn. And she will lose the baby. And it was going on like this. Going on like this. She tried all kinds of things. It went on. Until somebody brought her to this meeting. A woman invited her to the meeting. And that meeting that day, it was a meeting of never again battle cry. This thing has been happening before. What I am saying now is that never again must it occur. That was the prayer. As they closed the service and they were going home, she was going home with her friend. She was thanking her friend for bringing her to the service. All of a sudden, the man of God ran after the two of them and faced his friend who brought her and said, Look, that which you have been doing to her don't do it again do you understand say yes sir she said yes sir i understand and they went home that night the pregnancy was almost that particular time then seven or eight months again that night the cow came the cow came but the word that she gathered from the meeting that behold I set up a stone in Zion, a rock of offense, a stumbling block. Whosoever goes against that stone shall be smashed to pieces. And whosoever the stone decides to walk upon, it will grind it into powder. The cow was coming with speed. A few seconds for the cow to touch her tummy, a stone appeared there. And the cow made a holy mistake. On that rock, the horn broke into pieces. The cow fell down. The next morning, the person who brought her was dead. The head broke into pieces. Nobody knew what broke her head. I profess her at any satanic animal assigned against your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. Their head shall be broken. The edge shall, shall be broken. The edge 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 shall be broken. The head shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. He said, What you used to do to her, don't do it tonight. And she said, I understand. He thought it was a joke. I profess up on somebody here. Never again would the enemy torment your life. In the name of Jesus. The hour of maximum violence has come now. Say, witchcraft manipulation. I cry against you. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Never again. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Never again. 
Yes. Masatanda Kaya Boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh huh. Say this again loud and clear. Demonic powers. Assigned to use me as footmarks. Can you shout this loud and clear? I cry against you. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Never again. Masakaya Boshenta Rabokonda. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is going to give over 2,000 testimonies. Power of almost there. Something is happening here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. in my heavens I cry against you never again in the name of Jesus yes 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 never again in Jesus name we pray you will declare this again loud and clear frustration and backwardness assigned against me i cry against you now never again in the name of jesus Masaka Kataya Boshenteraba Never again in Jesus name we pray. I declare never again to any bad experience I've had in my life. You shall not repeat yourself in the name of Jesus. When you said that once, you will now turn into machine in the name of Jesus. Never again in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and pray. I declare. Masakatanda kaya boshanda. Ria po ni katanda sa. Yes. Basata le katanda ka. Ria po le kanda santaya. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Repeated calamity.
Ages. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Aha! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Any situation that you don't want to occur again, you will mention that situation. And you will shout, Never again! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Masikaya Boshente Raba. Masikaya Boshente. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. we're making good progress thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now you that infirmity in the center of the head the one that used to make the head feel bigger than it is the infirmity of cloudiness in the eyes the swelling under the armpit the swelling in the womb the evil arrows itching the body, the peppery feelings. Hear the word of the Lord. Never again must you torment that person over there. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Look at what is happening here today. Oh, yes. Aha. You have been passing this, this, through this stress for a long long time that stress is now buried in the red sea the forces of egypt that have been seen you shall see them no more 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 in the name of jesus Say, access of terminate by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Terminate by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, the lions of past problems roaring against me can you shout that loud and clear shut up now in the name of Jesus silence the lions thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray shame and disfavor I cry against you never again in the name of Jesus that's a cry against shame and disfavor in Jesus name we pray diminishing returns I cry against you never again in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray this with a no-nonsense spirit. 
visitations of the Martians of death. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be visited by the merchants of death. Masika tenda yabo shende rabo kontaraba. Masika tenda yabo shende rabo kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic embarrassment. I cry against you. Never again. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear repeated oppression die by fire in the name of jesus open your mouth and say it something is up over there yes Repeated oppression. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power waking up my afflictions. Uh, somebody who needs to pray this prayer with anger. Is that the loudest you can shout it here? Die, die, die! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Pia rakasandaka, da ribo kolo kosente yaba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sponsoring my afflictions. This particular prayer will send arrows to the native doctors, arrows to the village, arrows to the waters. Every power sponsoring my afflictions. Die, die, die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, move. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. So every power supervising my afflictions, die, die, die. In the name of Jesus. Masoponde kentela kaya bashanda. Ria bokapela katanda. E Jesus then we pray. One thing may hate so much is for an affliction that you thought was dead to come back. Men are always afraid of repeat of performance of trials and tribulations. I prophesy upon the life of somebody here this morning that every power that wants you to shed the tears of sorrow shall die instantly. In the name of Jesus. Every problem that trouble my parents, I am not your candidate. Therefore, Can I hear you saying that one? Yeah. Are you saying it loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. 
Rogers Asikate ya boshente rabakara basanta Ribo seponde ke ya boshente ya bokola baraba Manakara bo sepola ka ya boshente raba Yes In Jesus name we pray Say I fire back Every arrow of untimely death Don't joke with this prayer I fire back Every arrow of untimely death In the name of Jesus Fire back In the name of Jesus Fire back In Jesus name we pray Every curse Assigned against my head Backfire In the name of Jesus Open your mouth and back And command the curse of backfire In the name of Jesus Pokatala karabo sanda Ribo likatende That's right Let your voices roll like thunder In Jesus name we pray That person over there I have a word from heaven to you And the word is coming to you loud and clear I don't know who you are The Lord said I should tell you That although it is the desire of your enemy Insanity shall not be your lot I fire back Every arrow of the enemy By fire Jesus Open your mouth and fire it back Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus In Jesus' name we pray. I someone there, you took an exam, you actually passed this examination. But the enemy went there and wrote failed. A reverse has taken place now. <laughs> Say, angels of fire! Is that the loudest you can shout? It? Pursue my pursuer in the name of Jesus. Yes, let them be pursued by the angels of fire. Masanta Katela Bashanta. Enough is enough. Angels of fire, pursue my pursuers. In Jesus' name we pray. That person that you have been smelling death, you have been smelling hospitals. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you, and the yoke of death and hell is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say mysterious battles. Swallow divine poison. And die. You to make that swallow an order, an order. Draw like thunder. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Feed the battle with divine poison. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. This is not a day to negotiate. Don't negotiate. Aha, 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 aha. Masepoko tandara boko yaboshenta. 
Rapa Likatanda Rabosanda. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to put my foot in this place because of the massive, 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 massive work the Lord is doing here now. Say this the way I'm going to say my own. Fire! Thunder! Lightning! Kill my affliction! Can I hear you saying that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Bakase Tindakaya Boshenderaba. Yes. Aha, 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 aha. Continue, continue. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer, you may feel strange, don't worry. You may feel dizzy, don't worry. You may not even be able to stand on your feet, don't worry. If you land on the floor, continue the prayer on the floor. Say, serpents and scorpions in my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masaka tenda yabo shendera ba. Bakatanda rabo sopola ka yabo shendera ba. Rapo likatanda ka. Manakanda rabo sopola ka yabo ko shendera ba. Bakatende sentende ka yabo shendera ba. Opu yaba, opu yaba, opu yaba. Serpents and scorpions in my blood. Die. Yes, die. The one in the blood. 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 The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Aha, 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 aha. Masekatala kayaba. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus. Uh huh. That's right. Say this the way I'm going to say my own. If you're a woman, say spirit husband if you must say spirit wife spirit husband spirit parents spirit friends can i hear you shouting those three things let your voice roar like thunder Jesus. That's right. Pakata Santa Yaboko Shenteraba. Aha, 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 aha. Continue, continue, continue. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every triangular power assigned to torment me. The Bible says he has given him a name which is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the head triangular locations triangular powers the heavens on earth in the waters underneath the earth triangular powers the sun the moon and the stars triangular powers every triangular power 
assigned to torment me. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Makatenda yaboshenteraba. Aha, 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 aha. Pasata kata kalekata. Ribala la kande sente yaba. Jesus, then we pray. Shout this loud and clear now. Collective captivity of my father's house. Release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Collective captivity of my father's house. Release me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. my adversaries three times I'm going to pray this one and the manifestation will start today oh God arise and avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus that's right in Jesus name we pray I want you to be more aggressive because the more you pray this prayer the more your enemies will be in trouble open your mouth and pray again avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus, avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, Bapata sekate la yaba, riba sapanda kaya boshente yaba. Egypt. One more time. This is the final time. Open your mouth and pray. Avenge me of my adversaries. In Jesus' name we pray. So many wonderful things have happened here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. 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 So double destruction from heaven. Visit every covenant troubling my life. This prayer will cause confusion in the kingdom of God. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Brothers, can I hear you saying it? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Every hidden battle in my life. Can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus, 
Aha! Ata satali katunda. Ribo soponde ke yabo shentera bo kopia. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The hidden warfare, the hidden battles. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Say, but say ye to the wicked, he shall be ill with him. It was not Dr. Lucas that wrote that one. It's in the Bible. Close your eyes now. Say, my father, I am in your courtroom now. Avenge me of my adversaries. My father, I'm in your courtroom now. Avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Yes. Something is happening over there, right? Don't negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Say domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. Can you shout it loud and clear? Aha! Shout it again! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and begin to drag them there. That's right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Masopo katende ke ya bo shende rabo konta. Ribo sopende ke ya bo shencha. Drag them to the court. In Jesus' name we pray. So my stubborn enemies. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and drag them there. Drag them there. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, enemies of my progress. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree to drag them to that cross now. Aha, aha. Thou power of God, begin to move now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Within seven days, every unrepentant witchcraft militating against me shall be buried. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Declare it loud and clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Every naming ceremony bondage. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. Masika poya bo shedera bo kapia. Ribala bo kapanda sete ya bo sha. Yes, yes, yes. 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Well, 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 well. Uh -huh. You will now shout this loud and clear. Oh God, our Lord, judge them by fire. In the name of Jesus, judge them by fire. Judge them by fire. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Power of environmental covens. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the environmental covens. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus, then we pray. The, the angel that smote Herod to death. Can you shout that loud and clear? Pursue my pursue! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masekaya Boshende Rabo Kontara Basan. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Oracles of my oppressors. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? against them in the name of Jesus command the all to turn against them let the all to turn against them it shall not function in your life in Jesus name we pray lay one hand on your head the other one close to your belly button and let your amen be powerful. Let your amen roar like thunder. Say amen louder than anyone around you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come. We come inside your courtroom this morning and we drag to that courtroom all the powers threatening our existence, all the powers threatening our progress, all the powers threatening our marriages, all the power threaten our children. All the power threaten our finances. We drag them to your court. Let the fire of judgment fall upon them now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, anyone here now? that just woke up one morning and you find that the enemy has shaved your ear or anyone here now whose ear has been taken to the altar of darkness and that is affecting them right there where they are let your power begin to visit them one by one in the name that is above all names in the name of Jesus the power of God Ooh. that's right in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying. All the finances that the enemy has cut off. That person over there that is suffering from strange epileptic feet. That person over there that is struggling with masturbation. That is struggling with this strong spirit wife and strong spirit husband. That person over there. That something is crawling around your body. That person over there that you used to try your best for examination but you come out with poor results. That person over there that the mark of irritation is upon you. That person over there.
that the enemy has turned your womb upside down, turned your intestine upside down. That person over there, whose menstrual pad is now inside a cauldron, a pot. That person over there, that the enemy allows to gather money, but the money scatters. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus, the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Makosepende ke ya boshendera bokonta. In the name of Jesus, you, the spirit of cancer, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are inhabiting is not your habitation. I bind you. I cast you out. I bind you. And 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 I cast you out, I bind you, and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout seven Goliath destroying hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says the Lord shall perfect that which concerneth you. Divine perfection. Envelope my life in the name of Jesus. Divine perfection. Envelope my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for bringing us to this meeting. We thank you for the moving of your power. It is written that your people here shall to the hills raise up their heads. From whence comes their help? The help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For he that keepeth them will not slumber. He that keepeth them shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. The Lord will bless you mightily. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Your going in and your coming out shall be blessings. The Lord will bless you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. In Jesus name we pray. Shout out hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and pray for ourselves in this song. Holy Ghost, you will again. Me now to join to say, if you yeah, my uncle, crown, while on earth as thou art born, only do not pass me. Savior, 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 Savior.
Jesus, 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 Fire, 
my soul. Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Empty Ghost on fire. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost on fire. Lord God, that has made thy hand the hand by thy great power. Our Lord God, that has made thy heaven and the hand by the outstretch. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. With your mighty God. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for me. Be all I the Of the God of Padini, well, I think that law. The fullness of the God of Padini, well, I think that law. The fullness of the God of Padini, well, I think that law. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. The reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken down. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken down. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken Every yoke must be broken Every yoke Every yoke must be broken Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Sing it loud and clear. Oh yes, sir. Masoka pola katara basanta. Ribo sapi ala katala. Yes, every yoke gathered here tonight. Let them be broken. 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 Every yoke, 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 
Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, louder, louder. Must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke. Louder, 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 louder. Something is happening. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Amen. All eyes closed. Tonight's meeting is an assignment. And the Lord has said that I should ensure that the assignment is carried out. You will know about the assignment very soon. This is an assignment that concerns everybody. Nobody is left out. And therefore, let tonight be a night that your enemy will regret. Therefore, stretch out your right hand to the heavenlies and declare this loud and clear. Every power, Every power that wants me to expire it is important that you do everything here tonight very seriously. Can I hear you shouting it loud and clear? Can you shout it again louder than that? Damn! In the name of Jesus, 
I refuse to expire. Makatesa pentende ke yaboshinde raba. In Jesus name we pray. Father, we thank you for this evening. We we'll give you praise. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered before you tonight. Lay your hands upon our lives. Help us specially tonight. So that each and every one who has presented at this meeting will be candidates of very, very special testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say, God bless you. Tonight's meeting is an assignment. So if the Lord brought you here tonight, he brought you here for a purpose. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. Meanwhile, bow down your heads. Tell the Lord that by the time I live here tonight, I want a change in my story. Go on, talk to the Lord like that now. By the time I leave here tonight, I want my story to change. Bakaponta rebo kandeke sentia. De rebo la katenda kaya bo shentera bo komponda kantia. De sependa ke la kaya bo shentera bo komponda katara bo santia. Amen. The mystery of covenant violations for violating covenants covenant violations the mystery of covenant violations I want you to listen very very carefully it is an area that you really find people talking to you about the mystery of covenant violation one of the strongest binding operations in the spirit realm is covenant. In fact, the whole world operates on one covenant or the other. Covenant is so serious that our God is a covenant making and a covenant keeping God. A covenant giving and a covenant keeping God. God too operates by covenants. A covenant is a strong binding agreement between two parties. A strong binding operation between two parties. Covenant making forms an integral part of human life. And happy is that man who has made a covenant with the Lord. Woe befalls the person who has made a covenant with the devil. Whether the covenant is conscious or unconscious is not relevant now. The fact is that it has been made. A covenant can be a promise. I promise that if you do this for me, I'll do that for you. A covenant can be an oath. If you do this for me, i give you that one. A covenant can be a bargain. A bargain. You take this and I take that. However, whatever covenant one makes is either you make a covenant between you and God a covenant between you and the devil, a covenant between you and fellow men. For a covenant, but if you break it, that's a problem. But when you make a covenant with the enemy, there is a bank in the spirit world where all evil covenants are kept. Whether it is a conscious affair or it's not a conscious affair does not matter. But then these covenants are binding. Let me tell you a few facts about covenants before we go on. Covenants can last forever except it is broken. Covenants can influence the life of a person and its offspring. The covenant can even have effect on unborn children. 
A child may suffer from the covenant broken by his parents. Satan will never forget covenants and is ready to enforce it upon current and future generations. In Genesis chapter 17, Genesis 17, 14, Genesis 17, 14 says, And the uncircumcised man child, whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that so shall be cut off from his people. He had broken my covenant. So, covenant violation is always a punishable offense. Covenant violation is a punishable offense. And there are dangers in violating covenants. If we open to the book of Joshua chapter 9, I just want to pick up one example in scripture to make you understand what we're saying. Joshua chapter 9. Let's read it from verse 15. Joshua 9 from 15. Are we there? Joshua 9, 15. And Joshua made peace with them and made a league with them. That league means covenant there. To let them leave. And the princes of the congregation swear unto them. And it came to pass at the end of the three days, after they had made a league or covenant with them, that they had that they were their neighbors and they dwelt among them. And the children of Israel journeyed and came to their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gib Gibeon, Shephera, Beroth, and Kerajerim. And the children of Israel smote them not. Because the princes of the congregation are sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. And all the congregation murmured against the princes. These people, the Gibeonites, they came to Joshua. And Joshua made a covenant with them. And they swore in the name of the God of Israel that they will not kill these people, the Gibeonites. The covenant of peace was made for father of, of Israel. But 1,100 years later, a king called Saul violated that covenant. 1,100 years later, one king called Saul violated the covenant. What did he do? In 2 Samuel chapter 24, 2 Samuel 24, verse 2. In 2 Samuel 24, 2. I read from verse 1, sorry. And again the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to go, say, go and number Israel and Judah. For the king said to Joab, the captain of hosts, which was with them, go now through all the tribes of Israel from Dan even to Beersheba, and number the people that I may know the number of the people. And David went ahead and did this. Many people died. As a result of this activity of David, nobody could tell why what moved David to begin to do these kind of things. And then later, there were three years of famine. And as the famine was going on, the people began to wonder, what is causing this problem? The Lord had to refer them back, and it's because of Saul that killed the Gibeonites. So Saul killed the Gibeonites 1,100 years later. And problem began to happen after that time. And until the Gibeonites themselves killed some children of Saul, then the trouble just continued. When covenants are violated, even before God, there is a serious problem. If somebody now makes a mistake, or the forefathers made a mistake, and they entered into covenants with the devil, they promised the devil, we will not do this, we will not do that. And somebody goes to break those covenants. Then trouble begins. Trouble that the person does not sometimes understand. And you don't know what's causing the trouble. When a covenant with the devil is violated, it can bring one into slavery and suffering. It can shorten one's life. It can attract poverty and lack. It can lead to madness. It can bring oppression and torment. It can hamper progress and success. It can lead to all kinds of terrible problems. It can attract unending trouble and unending sorrows. It can attract incurable diseases if 
the covenant with the enemy has now been violated. So much for that. The problem now comes when a person has unconsciously been put into a covenant or the forefathers have entered a covenant and you did not know that they ever entered any covenant but you are breaking the covenant. If in a family they have covenanted that nobody in this family should serve another god. Everybody in this family is dedicated to an idol. And somebody now gets born again in that family. By being born again, by shifting from whatever idol it was to Jesus, you've broken a covenant. And so there will be a reaction. You violated the covenant. There will be a reaction against that person. This is the reason why so many people misbehave. Sometimes you don't know why they are misbehaving. They are doing what the covenances don't do. There could be a covenant in a family that, well, in this family, women here don't get married to anybody. A woman in this family are supposed to be prostitutes on the streets. All of a sudden, a sister there gets married. By entering to that marriage, you have just broken a covenant. Then the mystery of the covenant violation moves in and trouble starts. And this is the origin of many stubborn situations that many people face. A sister tried to pass school certificate several times and she failed. So a mother who is a marine person now took some sacrifices, took some live corks and some yam, some rice and threw them into the river as a sacrifice to make her pass. And truly, that year that she did so, this lady passed in flying colors. But the rule was that every year the woman should be bringing fresh animals, food, all those things to come and worship the river. So the mother told the daughter, so this is the river that made you pass your exam. So immediately you start to walk. I won't be coming again. You'll be bringing the cocks and the food yourself. And the lady went to the university, graduated as a lawyer. She was doing these things while she was even in the university. She started work and she was still doing it. All of a sudden, either she forgot or she refused, she stopped. And then problems started. Everywhere she went, they sacked her. Every work she did, she made mistakes. She ran to church and started praying. Every time she prayed, oh Lord, I don't know why I'm going through this. She will see a river flowing across her until she now remembers. She ran back home. The mother said, hey, well, you Lagos people, you know, I told you to be putting the, to be doing sacrifice for this river. You have refused. That's what is happening now. She forgot the covenant, but the demon in the water did not forget. Immediately she violated it, the punishment moved in. A lot of people are passing through terrible sufferings today because there is a covenant they have broken. However, unconsciously, but it is still a violation. There are plenty of things that we do that quietly push us in a covenant and we just think that it will just disappear by itself. An oath can be taken. And you don't realize that what you've taken is a covenant. Once you make that oath, you are under obligation to keep it no matter what happens. Once you break that oath, then it will open doors to several terrible things. When a husband and wife forms a covenant of marriage and a party begins to break it, the violation of that covenant releases some demons to cause trouble. A person used to belong to a gang of thieves before he got born again. And the thieves made a covenant. If they catch any of us, nobody should talk. And they cut themselves with the blade, put their blood into a container, added alcohol to that container, and they all drank it to form a covenant. One of the thieves now got born again. He had forgotten about the covenant he made with the fellow thieves. Now everything he has was stolen. In fact, the one that now broke the camel back so that they even stole his wife. It was then he now started praying. So you have entered into a covenant with thieves. You have violated the covenant. This is why this has happened to you. The kind of prayers we are going to pray today. If you pray against unconscious evil covenants and it's not there, you have not lost anything. But if you do not pray and it's there, it's a source of real trouble. Some form occupational groups and they make an oath. Say so we are all shoemakers. We are all uh, fish sellers. 
We are all the canteen runners. And so we form a covenant. And then the person wants to break out. Trouble happens. We have cases where men and women say they love each other so well, they drink each other's blood to form a covenant that they will never depart from each other. Now you discover that the man you now married is not that person you drank his blood. And that is trouble in that marriage. All because a covenant had been formed and you had violated it. Once you take an oath, you form a covenant. Many have made senseless oaths at ignorant times which have made them to form covenants now that once they violate it, the enemy moves in. Many black people form covenants in Mother Earth. They pour libations on Mother Earth. They dig a hole in the ground. Pour water into the ground. Put slices of kola nut into it. And they eat one slice of the kola nut. They have formed a covenant with Mother Earth. All of a sudden, they don't know why the land stopped to favor them. Because they violated the covenant they formed with Mother Earth. Let me tell you something here tonight. Anything you are asked to bury in the earth has serious implication for your life. Anything that someone goes to bury on your behalf has serious implications for your life. Any covenant you form using cola nut, bitter cola, alligator pepper, all those things have a serious implication for your life. In many African countries, it is forbidden to share cola nut with a person and then speak evil of that person. They believe that that cola nut is the blood which is the life of an animal. So if you form that kind of thing, you eat cola nut with somebody, now you go behind the back of the person running the person down, you have violated a covenant and there will be a reaction. So many of the harsh situations we face sometimes is due to this kind of situation in which we find ourselves. Any visit you make to a native doctor forms you into a covenant. Even if you are stopped now, there is a problem. You need to go in and do some covenant breaking. A witch doctor told a family, very strange law. He told them that their father that has just died has made a covenant with the village idol. Anybody who got married in that family must not come out on his wedding day. They must do the wedding inside and everybody remains inside. They can only come out the second day. This brother did his wedding in an Anglican church. He believed that that should be able to cover him. On the night of the wedding, he was at home with his wife. Nobody can explain how a cobra snake appeared between them and the cobra snake attacked this person. He died that same night. A covenant had been violated. The reason we need to pray some serious prayers here tonight is this. Because what I'm talking about tonight is not something you talk, 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 talk too much. The fact is that our forefathers served the devil. They served the enemy. As we're sitting down here tonight, unfortunately, many have up to 30, 20, 30 covenants to break and you're not even aware. No one can tell what this or our parents did to him or her right from the time he was a little baby till he became an adult. The covenant will be formed and problem starts. One sister wanted to get married and she prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. One day she prayed to a particular level and God showed her a revelation. She saw a mother standing. She saw another woman standing. She saw herself as a little girl playing with sand. And she saw another little boy playing in the sand too. In that revelation, she saw that her mother and this other woman were saying, eh, this is your husband. This is your husband. They did not know that they were just forming covenants between a young girl that knows nothing. It was prayer that now revealed this situation. And that is what is happening now. You have a covenant already formed. And now you are trying to break it. Going to marry somebody else. And now trouble is starting. My prayer tonight is this. All those who are under unconscious covenant that is presently restricting their movement and restricting their destiny, those covenants will be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Whenever a covenant is violated, 
plenty of suffering follows. The suffering will only cease if you take the following steps. Number one, you need to repent. Repent from all known sins. Repent on behalf of yourself and on behalf of anyone who formed that kind of covenant on your behalf. That is the first thing. Number two, you must renounce every satanic covenant. Every negative covenant you have entered to consciously or unconsciously, you must renounce them. Your mouth is the key to your freedom in this matter. The Bible says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. The third thing to do is to nullify the covenant by the blood of Jesus. No covenant or power can stand in the presence of the blood of Jesus when it is applied. Tonight is a night to command every covenant speaking against your life to be silent and cancelled by the blood of Jesus. The fourth operation you have to do at home. You can't do it here. You have to un you anoint yourself when you get home and command the grip of that covenant to be broken from your life. Then the last thing you now do is to barricade your life. So that the enemy does not come to you again with those kinds of things and put you into a fresh covenant again. The enemy is wickedly wicked and badly bad. And sometimes when people come to the house of God, some people pray, they have some relief and they run away from Jesus, they go back into the world. Sometimes such people come with 21 evil covenants to break. And they pray, pray, pray. They broke 15 remaining six. So because 15 had been broken out of 21, they have some level of peace. You now go back into the world. The enemy now stages a comeback. And now we will multiply each covenant that the person has lost with seven seven so that it will be so difficult for the person to break free. And herein lies the assignment that the Almighty said we should carry out here tonight. Perhaps we're a little girl or a little boy and you know that there was a time your parents held parties for you and they were distributing food all over the street for small children you could remember faintly that they did that kind of thing for you and they ate it and went away but now you notice you're having trouble now moving, moving, making progress in your life because all this strange mouth that you fed them you stop feeding them now you have violated the covenant and the steps to it is what we have told you now tonight is an assignment because to teach these things will take us almost three lectures. I've just summarized for you so you know where we are going here tonight. A lot of people are suffering unnecessarily because of, they don't even know anything about tonight. It's a night for serious prayer. If we don't finish the prayers tonight, then you take it home as homework. But we have work to do here tonight. Rise up on your feet and all eyes closed. If you, the Lord brought you here tonight, I really congratulate you. It must be for a purpose. I'm going to start the assignment he asked me to carry out now. But I need your cooperation. The cooperation is that I want your prayer to be like thunder and like fire. And face your own matter, please. Don't worry, what is happening, what's, don't worry about what's happening around you. Focus on your own life. A lot of people make unpardonable mistakes. Some go into unbelievable errors. Why should this happen? It's because it's violated and trouble is coming. If you're in this meeting tonight and you're the only pastor in your family or you're the first pastor in your family, you better pray hard. Your forefathers might have entered a covenant that said nobody here can serve any other God. And you may be having serious trouble even in your calling now. You will pray with fire and with thunder. Let your voice thunder into the gates of hell so that the banks of the covenant will be broken open and you completely release yourself and your children and your children's children. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again. You are not going to surrender your life to Jesus. Whenever you are, just raise up your right hand and say what I am going to sin after. Me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. For said I shall pray with me, just come here quickly. Immediately we close. We have 40 prayers to pray. And we have a short time to pray them. Each of these prayers, beloved, are vomited by the Holy Ghost to ensure that bondages do not remain in any life. Sisters need to really pray especially hard here tonight. In course, in 75% of the case, the sisters are the receiving end of all these evil covenants. Sisters, pray tonight with the spirit of enough is enough. Are you ready now? Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Every dark covenant assigned to trouble my destiny break in the name of Jesus. Begin to break them now. Posepente katanda kaya bo shende rabaka. Ribo soponde kaya bo shente rabako raba. In Jesus name we pray. Let me tell you what has just happened now. If that, that small prayer you pray, that short prayer you pray now. Look at what has just happened now. I see many people boom pulled out from the pit. Pulled out of the pit. Immediately they started praying. Something was pulling them out of a pit. Shout this loud and clear. Unbroken curses. Following my life. Can you shout it loud and clear? Hear the word of the Lord. Break! In the name of Jesus. Yes! Bakasepende kayabo shenteraba. Continue, 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 continue. Something is up over there. Something is up over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Yes. That person who has been dreaming that your shoes were lost. Your shoes were lost. Which is an attack against your life. Your lost shoes have been brought back to you now. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Every wicked law. Can you shout it loud and clear? Battling against my promotion. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Break the wicked law. Makape setende kentea bariboko soponde kaya bo shente raba kaya ba break it break it break it break it break it in Jesus name we pray the Lord said his next prayer. Immediately we begin to pray. 220 persons will be set free. Dark covenants. Positioning me for attacks. Can you shout this with boiling anger? Is that the loudest you can shout this important prayer? In the name of Jesus, the covenant that positions me for attacks. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, be released. Be released, be released. Be released from their grip. Be released tonight. Masapantende keyabo shanda. Reabokopende keyabo shanteraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening over there. 
That's right. Yes. The covenant that positions you for attacks. Yes, they've been broken now. They've been broken now. They've been broken now. They've been broken now. Aha. Out of dark covenant. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Command the arrows to backfire. Just lose the arrows. Lose the arrows. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is about to set free people whose benefits are abroad but the enemy has captured it. Please can you pray this prayer with boiling anger. Pray it with boiling anger. Covenant stealing my wealth. Can you say this loud and clear? Your time is up. Time. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Repossess your possession, repossess your possession, repossess your possession, repossess your possession, repossess your possession. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I somebody over there. Your name is Biola, but as we we're praying there. Somebody came from the grave and began to release everything that was stolen from you. You better pray this harder because I see more to be released for you. Evil dedications. Speaking against my destiny. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Immediately we start praying this prayer. Some people will start feeling lighter because a personality will jump out of their bodies forever. Dark covenant! That pursued my parents and are now pursuing me. Can you shout it loud and clear? Dead! In the name of Jesus. Yes. They pursued my parents and they are now pursuing me. Their time is up, their time is up. Makapande sente yaboko shente raboko la baraba. Dana ribo soponde ke yabo shente raboko la Aha, aha, aha. Yes, 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 yes. Tonight is tonight. Yes. Jesus' name we pray. Oh, yes. Weapons of the wicked. Troubling my life. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus.
Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Please, if you love your destiny, the next seven prayers, <laughs> pray them. See what will happen. See what will happen. Sisters, please, don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Brother, shout this the way you've never shouted it before. This is a command and a proclamation and order. Covenants of affliction. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break it. I refuse to be afflicted. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant of infirmity. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. Covenant of marital failure. Pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Tonight is tonight. Jesus name we pray and this one concerns everybody covenant of limitation covenant of limitations break in the name of Jesus oh yes Jesus Marine Covenant Bray! in the name of Jesus tonight is tonight something is happening something is up be released 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 be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released. Masa ponde ke ya bo shente rabo kopola baraba. Bana kantanda rabo samponde ke ya bo shente raba. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant of poverty. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. Yes. Yes. Jesus name we pray covenant with family idol pray in the name of Jesus continue 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 you are breaking them you are breaking them tonight in Jesus name we pray Covenant with and pray in the name of Jesus. 
the one with any dead relative. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Placental covenant. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Makapo setende ke yebo shende rabakayaba. Ribo soponde ke yebo shente rabakarabaka santayaba. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you tired? Huh? I just warming up. I wish you could see what is happening here tonight. This next prayer, the only God said we should pray three times. Three times. Every covenant empowering my enemies. Can you shout it loud and clear? Down! In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it a second time. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus' name we pray. Now, open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. My enemies must lose their power. They must not be empowered. They must not be empowered. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray it again one more time. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful. Covenant of short life. The Bible said, I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Can you shout it loud and clear? Break! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. The next three prayers are what you call bulldozing prayers. Once you say it once, what you will now be doing like machine gun. It's break, 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 break. Once you say it once. Dark covenant! With my place of birth. Break! In the name of Jesus. Yes. In 
In Jesus' name we pray. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Covenant with dark powers in the heavens. Can you shout this loud and clear? Break! In the name of Jesus. Dark powers in the heavens. Jesus, then we pray. Mystery of covenant violation. Troubling my life. In the name of Jesus. The mystery of covenant violation. Troubling my life. Break, 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 break. Masika tenda ya bo shende ra bo kopola bara basanda. Dari bo kosoponde ke ya bo shente ra bo konta laba. Amen. I have a word for somebody here tonight. You have prayed vigorously from the depth of your heart. Lord, I should tell you. That so far you seem to be battling all your life. But now prepare for testimonies. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear now. Covenants affecting my head. Can you shout it with boiling anger? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. This next one, make sure nobody's voice is above your own voice. Covenants affecting my blood. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Behind my problems, can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. That covenant that does not want to let me go. Can you shout it loud and clear? Can you shout it again loud and clear? Break! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Masikate ya bo shende alaba. In Jesus' name we pray.
Let that be silence now. The manifestation of what we've said so far is beginning to take root. Things are happening here at rapid rate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will sing this warfare song. Sing from your heart. Sing with faith. This warfare song. Sing with a loud voice before we go on now. Thank you, Jesus. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. All shakeable must be shaken. Hallelujah. 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 I'm serving a God of fire. Oh, shake it, must be shaken. Let's try it. Put your hand close to your belly button now. Inherited dark covenant. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Now shout a Jericho destroying hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Complete, complete, complete in him. Hallelujah. I am complete in him. Raise your right hand to the heavens now. Say, I, Daniel Ulukoya, command my portions to be released now. Can you say that loud and clear? Say it with a military voice. In the name of Jesus. Yes, command your passions to be released. That's right. Let my passion be released. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for another wonderful morning. We thank you for your people you have brought here this morning in order to bless them. We are gathered before you, the great I am, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let your hand of power, your mighty arm of strength, your finger of glory, fight for us this morning in the name of Jesus. Let there be no one who has entered into this service this morning who will go home with any load of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands upon our lives. Open our understanding. And by the time we finish from here, let those who see us see the glory of God upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We're talking about the mystery of hidden names. 
the mystery of hidden names. The mystery of hidden names. Let me read very quickly from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 20. Before we go too far, let me say, there are thousands of people here this morning that this is the message their destiny has been waiting for. And if they will pray with boiling holy madness, the change they require will start immediately. The mystery of hidden names. Jeremiah chapter 20. I read from verse 3. Jeremiah 20 verse 3. And it came to pass in the morrow that Pashur brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks. Uh, let me take it from verse 1. So you know who Pasha really was. Jeremiah chapter 20 from verse 1. Now Pasha, the son of Hima, the priest, who was also chief governor of the house of the Lord. The man was a big man. Had that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Pasha smote Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the eye gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. He imprisoned a prophet in the house of his God. And it came to pass on the morrow that Pasha brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then said Jeremiah unto him, The Lord hath not called thy name Pasha, but Mago Misabibi. The Lord hath not called thy name Pasha, but Mago Misabib. For thus said the Lord, Behold, I will make you a terror to thyself and to all thy friends. And they shall fall by the sword of their enemies. And thine eyes shall behold it. And I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon. And shall carry them captive into Babylon. And shall slay them with the sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the strength of this city. And all the labors thereof. And all the precious things thereof. And all the treasures of the king of Judah. Will I give into the hand of their enemies. May this not be our Lord in the name of Jesus. We shall spoil them and take them and carry them to Babylon. And thou, Pasho, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity. And thou shalt come to Babylon and there thou shalt die. And shall be buried there. Thou and all thy friends to whom thou hast prophesied lies. Keep this scripture at the back of your mind. Now, let me tell you a few facts about names. Names are very significant and important. Names have meanings. Even if they gave a person a meaningless name, it still has a meaning. Names influence the life of people. Names are so serious, they can affect the destinies of people. Therefore, an evil name will bring an evil manifestation into a life. Names are so serious, beloved, that God himself gives people's names to enable them to fulfill their destiny. He told Elizabeth, thou shalt call his name John. John. So that name was given from heaven. Meaning that somebody can be named before the person is even born. Names can release operations of God's covenant into a life. Names can release the blessings of God into a life. So names are very, very serious and very, very important. Then to add to that, beloved, there is a spirit behind names. There is a spirit behind names. And because of that, your name can set the tone of your life. Names have dedicating power. They have covenanting power. A covenant name can put someone into real trouble. So names are important. God takes the issue of names so seriously that he warns that thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain must not take his name in vain. These are very, very serious issues. Now we've read the book of Jeremiah chapter 20. There we are introduced to a man called Pasha. Pasha was a priest. Pasha was the chief governor of the house of the Lord. The natural meaning of Pasha means freedom and nobility, being noble and being free. But Pasha had another name by which he was known in the spirit realm. A name that he was not aware of, but that will eventually chart the course of his life. A name that has disaster encoded in it. 
Tragically, Pasha did not know about his change of name in the realm of the spirit. The first question I need to ask you this morning, which you may not be able to answer now. Do you have a name by which you are called in the spirit realm? You may not know the answer at all. But the correct answer may be yes, and it has done in your life or what it is doing now. So it's possible to have more than one name, especially a name in the spirit realm that you don't know about. If somebody has called Pasha the priest, I say, Reverend, welcome home. Are you aware that your true name is Magomis Habib? Which meant terror. Fear on every side. You will never have believed. I say, what? I say, my name is Pasha. I don't have any other name. I say, but in the spirit realm, it was not known as Pasha. It was known as Magomis Habib. Check his driving license. What you find out is Pasha. Check his identity card. What you find out is Pasha. Check his birth certificate. His name was Pasha. Maybe if you go to, even if you go to media houses and uh, pub- publicity places, his name was Pasha. It's a very, very beautiful name. But that was not the name with which he was called in the spirit realm. But the name that, was, that he was called in the spirit realm was to rule the rest of his life. What have I told you so far, beloved? There are names in the physical realm. There are names in the spiritual realm. Most people or all persons know what they are called in the physical realm. But very few people know the name they bear in the spirit realm. Unfortunately, it's the spirit realm that controls the physical. So it doesn't matter what you are really called physically here. If the one in the spirit realm is a terrible name, then you are in trouble. This is a very, very serious matter. In Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 17. This is why I said we have some prayers to pray here today which will bring victory to thousands if they will pray from their hearts. Look at Jeremiah 46, 17. They did cry there. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is but a noise. He had passed the time appointed. Whereas my men still call him Pharaoh, king of Egypt, but his name in the spirit realm had changed to noise, which meant that Pharaoh had expired. He has missed his chance. So there is a change of name frequently taking place in the spirit realm. Let me say that again loud and clear, beloved, for the sake of clarity. There is frequently a change of name happening in the spirit realm. Therefore, I ask my second question again this morning. You may not even have an answer to that. Has your name been changed in the spirit realm? To what? Pharaoh may be boasting, but in the spirit realm, it was just a mere noise. There are two or three persons in this Nigeria now who are roaming about saying, I want to become president. I want to become president. But their name in the spirit realm is a wind. A shadow. So they are not going to become anything. I don't know them. Don't ask me. But the thing is this. That name in the spirit realm will dictate eventually what will happen to them. One sister years ago, this was 1984. She didn't like the way her life was going. Anytime she wanted to do an important thing, she becomes insane. Final exams, insanity. On, on her engagement day, the in-laws and everybody was thoroughly rattled and embarrassed when she took off her clothes. That drove her to prayers. She prayed, oh Lord, I want to know the secret of my life. I want to know the secret. I want to know the secret. And God opened her eyes. She saw her two best friends in the university. They were standing be- beside her. And an angel of God was there. And the angel pointed to the first friend. He said, you, what's your name? That one said, cow. The angel pointed to the second friend. You, what's your name? That one said, goat. The angel now pointed to her. She said she tried to mention her name she was bearing here on earth. But the name just did not come out of that throat. What came out was leaf. And then the vision cleared. Then the message was clear. That she had another name in the spiritual. Leaf. And you know, leaf don't control their lives. Wind blows them anywhere, anytime. And they can drop off at any time. God showed her the secret of her life. I pray that as many people as are here this morning. And there is an, a name in the spirit realm encoded with evil that is trying to control your destiny. That name shall be destroyed this morning in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. 
Let your amen be loud and clear. That's one side of the coin. That's another side of the coin. In the book of Judges chapter 6, Judges chapter 6, we read the story of a young man who had a very, very powerful name in the spirit realm, but he was completely unaware of that name. Judges chapter 6, verse 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, that was Gideon, and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Here was a frightened young man who was lamenting the state of his nation. But little did he know that he had another name in the spirit which was not affecting his life because he could not do anything about it. He has a name called Mighty Man of Valor. Gideon, the frightened young man, was surprised to hear this new name. He could not believe he had such a name in the spirit realm. He had been calling himself the terrible names of defeat, defeat, failure, defeat, failure. The radical and uncommon mysterious turnaround of Gideon's life from that fearful personality to a concrete mighty warrior began from that day that the angel announced his name in the spirit. It began from that day when the angel announced his new name in the spirit. There is somebody here this morning who needs to hear the victory name from the throne of God. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. Look at the book of Luke chapter 1. Luke 1 verse 36. Please follow me very carefully. So you can pray with understanding when the time comes. We need, we need to pray. Serious prayers. Luke chapter 1 verse 36. This was the angel addressing Mary. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth. She had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. So when angel Gabriel spoke with Mary about her own conception, he also notified her about the conception of her aged sister called Elizabeth. Was the angel who said who was called barren. Who called Elizabeth barren? The angel did not tell us. But the angel is a spirit being. In the physical realm, nobody was callous enough to start calling Elizabeth that kind of name. Only the angel could have known that there was another name by which he was addressed. A name about which men knew nothing about. Even Elizabeth, who was a priest, did not know. But the day that angel began to make the announcement, the miraculous change began to happen. But this encounter with the angel shows that she was being called in a name in the spirit, a name of limitation and a name of reproach. I pray that all such names shall be changed this morning in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jacob had a bad physical name. But he did not know that he had another name in the spirit realm, which was Israel. Until that angel said, well, what is the name they are calling you here? Say, Jacob, a cheat, a supplanter. So where thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. So Jacob, Gideon, Elizabeth, all three have something in common. God sent them messengers from heaven to reveal the hidden names to them. God sent them to announce the new names that ushered them into their breakthroughs. I pray that this morning the name that will usher you into your breakthroughs shall be announced by the angels of God. They shall be announced. They shall be announced. They shall be announced. In the name of Jesus. I know another sister. Was a mother who dragged her to us many years back. By the time the mother dragged her to us, she had suffered 14, 14 broken engagements. 14. Six times she had sewn wedding gowns and she did not wear them. She started prayer. She prayed. Did some deliverance. Then came that day after the deliverance. Okay, let's pray ceiling prayer for you. As you start, as you start the ceiling prayer, oh, yeah. all of a sudden a voice spoke from her throat. So why, why do you want me to leave her alone? Do you know her name? So, yes, we know her name. We mention all her names. Then, no, that's not her name. That's not her name. You don't, you don't know her name. And you call yourself pastor. You don't know her name. So we stopped the prayer and tried to shake her back to the consciousness. I said, what, what's her name? I said, I've told you, sir. So okay. All right. You have any other name? 
So no. Can you ask your mother whether there are names you are giving which you don't know? That to the best of our knowledge, none. We continue the prayer. Again, the spirit spoke again. You can't get me out. You don't know her name. When I said, now you tell us that name in the name of Jesus. Tell us the name. And the spirit said, well, we call her Dustbin here. And immediately we began to address that Dustbin spirit. She was set free. Raise your right hand to the heavens and declare this louder than anyone by your side. Any evil name program against me in the spirit realm. In the name of Jesus. It is important that you pray now. Because something has happened in your life today. That was not breakthrough. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. You see, beloved, many times the, a, a change of life, a change of fortune has been tied to a change of the natural names. Abraham became Abraham. And same thing happened to Sarah, same thing Israel. But sometimes we change the fortune of people has been tied to a change of a hidden spiritual name or the, um, ap- the application and the enforcement of a hidden spiritual name. I asked my third question here this morning. Do you know the name by which God and angels call you? Do you know the names by which devils and wicked people call you? Then what name do you even call yourself? Pasha was calling himself proudly Pasha. A man of honor and nobility and freedom. Pasha, Pasha was going about doing all kinds of things. He was the chief governor of the house of the Lord. But he didn't know that a change of name at that point in the spirit. To Mago Misabib. Because of that change now, beloved. Pasha was going to see terror every day of his life wherever he went. If you put Pasha inside the oven, it will be freezing. If you put Pasha inside the fridge, it would feel hot. Even with guards around him, Pasha will see scream that others as he wanted to kill him. He will see terror. The Bible says on every side. If it is raining, instead of hearing rainfall, Pasha will be hearing gunshots. Pasha will not be able to sleep alone in the room. He will not be able to stay in the dark because his name in the spirit has changed to Mago Misabib. The same food which made people fat. If, if, if Pasha will eat that food, he will grow lean. The same water that used to refresh others will poison Pasha. Every time we'll be having close encounters with danger, with tragedy, with accidents. His close friends will violently die one after the other. Pasha was to be uprooted from his place of dignity and taken to a place of disgrace in Babylon. Pasha was going to lose his congregation and himself and all those that were serving him in the temple. His temple that he prided himself so much in shall be emptied into Babylon. Then his ministry as assistant high priest and chief governor of the house had come to an end. When it's evening, Pasha will wish it were morning. When it's morning, Pasha will wish it were evening because there is fear and terror on every side. All this will happen by the power of the new name which he had now acquired in the spirit realm. It was not going to be the wicked of one Nibalist or one native sorcerer or one wicked sorcerer, no. So if Pasha began to address people and began to arrest people, his new label in the spirit will still have deceived him and will be wasting his time. If he was thinking that human beings were his problem, he would be deceiving himself because it was the name in the spirit that was troubling him. Herein lies the great truth. The turn of events in a life could have its origin in the change of name made for that person in the spirit realm. Herein lies the great truth. Somebody's fortune can change suddenly when some prophets of darkness or some witchcraft covenant effect a change of name for you in the spirit realm. Then it is possible if you are very stubborn and you are not doing what God wants you to do, that God himself can change a person's name. Like God changed that of Pasha to Mago Misabib. Beloved, the great truth is that it is possible that men are still calling you by your beautiful names now. Joy. Happiness. Gloria. David. Florence. King. Whereas your new name, your true name in the spirit realm had become Jezebel. Sorrow, shame, slave, beggar, idiot, zombie. It's possible. Whereas I see calling you all kinds of names here. 
And these are very, very serious situations. Let me share this testimony with you with permission. This brother spent 13 years doing a PhD that normally took three years. And the 13th year of that PhD, when he was going to defend his thesis and get the degree, on the morning of the oral examination interview, the white man professor who was coming as an external examiner had a heart attack in the train and died. And that was the only expert left in the field, apart from his own supervisor, who can examine him for the degree. So after 13 years, they were now advising him that uh, maybe he should change to another one and start another one after 13 years. That was what drove him to us. And when he came, he said, well, he doesn't like talking to SU, but he's, he's in trouble and he wants to talk to us. So okay, give him some prayers, go and pray. He started praying. So anytime he prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, immediately he said, in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. He said there will be this voice from a loudspeaker coming from far, far place. And the voice will say, Mr. Edin. Edin in Yoruba means maggot. Maggot. His proper name was Akiola Robot. But then, what you, anytime, I mean, Jesus, am I pray, the name is this, this speaker voice, singing, Mr. Edin. He was confused. He now came. He said, this is what I'm hearing. He said, yes. That is your name in the spirit. We do respect, sir. Although you finish from this place, finish from that university, finish from that university, we do respect, sir. You are a maggot. So what you should do now is to deal with that spirit. He started praying again. Started praying. All of a sudden, they discovered another person who knew about that field somewhere in Russia. So it was that one that now came to examine him and said, what a pity. What you have done here is what three PhDs and you do it for one. Sorry. Look, okay, you have passed. Until he addressed that name in the spirit realm, his tragedy continued. Can you raise up your right hand again and declare this louder than anyone here? Any power conducting evil naming ceremony for me in the spirit realm. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dead! In the name of Jesus. Thy somebody who needs to shout with holy anger here today so that something positive will happen in your life. You must not go away from me and remain the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, beloved. When a wrong name has been programmed for somebody in the spirit realm, you begin to notice certain characteristics. You find that you are being constantly denied from your access to your rightful positions. You find that good things are continually being silenced. You find that problems are getting bigger. You find that you will be successful. They will manipulate the success. It will appear as if the, the divine promise for that person's life is failing. This is a very, very serious matter. The person will be suffering from peppery arrows in the body. General failure all over the place. Debts. Caged finances. Unexplainable hatred. Sometimes your presence will start irritating some people. And they almost want to kill you without you doing anything wrong. There will be incomplete victories then all those will be closed because the, there is a name in the spirit that is against prosperity. There will be constant night feeding, night feeding. There will be anti-promotion spirits working against the person. There will be this general lack of direction. There will be this ability to reap failure where there is success. Progress will be slowed down. There will be constant dream harassment, dream harassment when a wrong name has been programmed in the spirit realm. The person will be operating what you call a satanic timetable. And the enemy will be, will be firing arrows at will and use the body of the person for testing new spiritual weapons. If this situation is not arrested, the person may get to a situation where even bad spirits will begin to advise you that you should drop your rights. You should stop pursuing them. Beloved, are you called Mr. Wealth? 
but wealth seems far away from you. Are you called president, but you live the life of a beggar? Is it possible that your, although whereas your natural name is success, but it has been changed in the spirit realm to failure, which is why success is always running away from you? Have you been spiritually located from Judah to Babylon, even though you still find yourself presently in the control of your temple? Are you operating a clock that is slowly ticking away into misfortune, although you don't know? You seem to have apparent bliss and peace now, but there is a clock that is ticking away like the clock of partial. Because the tragedy of partial did not happen immediately. He was just a graduate. He was just going towards Magomi Sabib, his proper name. So, is your clock ticking towards an ultimate disaster? In yeah. part of the fact that you feel you are, there is peace now. That's why I say we need, to, we need to pray. When God created the heavens and the earth, he created Adam and, Adam and Eve and put them on, on earth here. As an immediate expression of that dominion, he asked them to name all animals. The name Adam has given to these animals now has charted the course of their lives. For anybody to name a child, that person must have some authority over that child as a parent or grandparent or somebody empowered by the parents. A stranger cannot simply walk in and stamp a name on the child. Everybody will say, who are you? What is your business here? So naming therefore is an expression of authority, an expression of dominion. God, when God wanted to change the name of Abraham to Abraham, God came to Abraham himself to do this changing. But when he was going to change the name of Sarah to Sarah, he had to, he, he told Abraham to go and do it. Because that's, 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 that's the husband. So he changed to name is an expression of authority or dominion. And the naming has the power to make whatever is named to conform to the image of the names that are named. There are plenty of troublemakers around us. Maybe it is time for us to start praying some prophetic prayers against them. That irrespective of the names of Pasha, they bear in the newspaper, they bear anywhere, perhaps we should pro- prophetically proclaim a name of judgment for them in the spirit realm. Perhaps we should start doing that as Christians. Well, that's, that's not today's topic. So, personally now, you as a person, there is a possibility, very strong one, that your name has been changed in the spirit. Again, the lamentable tragedy of that book of Hosea had come to pass that my people perish for lack of knowledge. It could be that a sudden, mysterious, unfortunate change in your fortune may have its origin in the change of name in the spirit realm. You need to counsel every evil spirit name and you need to prophetically rename your land and rename yourself. We need to proclaim this as loudly as our voice can carry us. It's a proclamation you must make and the gates of hell must hear you proclaiming and they must shake and shudder. We need to understand this very, very well. I don't know who named that temple, the gate of the temple, beautiful. I don't know who gave the name. But one day, the beautiful gate beautified the life of a lame man. They were calling the house of God, temple, 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 synagogue, whatever name they call it. It was then Jesus came and said, no, my house shall be called the house of prayer. So the place has another name which we did not know until Jesus began to tell us. We need a weapon against these evil names. Fortunately, the Bible says, he has given him a name which is above every name. Whether those things are on earth or in heaven. So, whatever evil names have been stamped on a person, there is a name higher than that name that can overrule whatever evil name has been programmed for anybody in the spirit. The Bible says his name is highly exalted, far above every principalities and power far above every name that is to be named. These are very serious matters. I pray that every defective name, every defective identity stamp shall be changed today in the name of Jesus. (laughs) Revelation chapter 13. In conclusion, Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. Revelation 13, 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Evil beasts, beastly men, they carry upon themselves their evil names on their heads. 
Miss the mistress of Harlots, the mother of Harlots, has his name on their head. But there is something else that can overrule those names. Because in the spirit realm, beloved, if God opens your eyes, a lot of people are carrying names about on their forehead. But in Revelation chapter 14, verse 1, And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Say, I will go about with my father's name on my forehead. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the name of Jesus. This morning, we have plenty of work to do. It will be a tragedy if before you begin to key into a prayer, we have changed it. So you better enter into it now before we start. Close your eyes on your seat. Pick any song of worship that you like to sing during your own personal worship. And with that, begin to enter into the presence of the Lord. With that song of worship that you like so much, sing it to enter into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Rise up on your feet, beloved, now. And from the bottom of your heart, open your heart to the Lord in this song and concentrate now. The name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is greater and higher than it is not an ordinary name. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power. The name. Hallelujah. is great. And other Hallelujah, it is not an ordinary name. It is a name full of power. That wonderful name, Jesus. Hallelujah, that wonderful name, Jesus. Hallelujah, that Jesus, there is no other name I know. We are the food. Sing from your heart, sing from your heart. Hallelujah, that's wonder. Oh, yes, dear. Hallelujah, that that for name. Oh yes, Jesus, there is no other name. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah, Jesus, loud and clear, Your name, Your name is Raguel, Your name.
Jesus, Jesus, how I love you, how I love you, Jesus, Jesus, bless Jesus, oh, for The mention of that name, every knee shall bow. And the mention of that name, every tongue confess. And the mention of that name. And the mention of that name. Who is? Who is? Every tongue confess. At the mention of the name, at the mention of the name, every time confess. Thank you, Jesus. Now listen. Immediately we begin to pray now. Some people may begin to feel dizzy. Don't worry. It's part of the change taking place. Immediately we begin to pray now. There's some moving about as if there's many luggages arranging their bodies. All of a sudden those bodies will be taken away. As we pray this prayer now, you may notice the head is feeling lighter. Also you may hear tearing of paper as we're praying these prayers now. These are very, very serious matters. Some have been with this evil name since they were born. There are some who were given their names by witchcraft members of their family house. The name is coded, but they didn't know. There are some, the name that is ruling their lives now is the name decided by their enemies, not God. These are very, very serious matters. There are some, they are carrying the name of destruction, the name of demotion, the name of mockery. If you will cry to the heavenly today, Anything can happen right there where you are. Forget what anyone has said. This, this one is higher. That's why we, we have mentioned the name which is above all names. Sisters, you really need to pray really hard here today. Because some drop their good names when they were spinsters. To go and acquire an evil name through marriage. That is not affecting their destinies. You will now raise your voice like fire and like thunder. It will be a tragedy if we leave this place and any unconscious evil name still remains in the heavens. You raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Negative names program against my life in the heavens. Can you shout it with only anger? In the name of Jesus. Deal with the negative names. Piada siakenda. Riba sopanda katenda. Look, look, something is happening already. Oh, yes. Speak. Speak the words. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at our sister over there. I, I congratulate you. Just continue. With a little bit of effort, all your sorrows of 20 years will be swept away. Just continue. You have already achieved 10 years out of it. 10 years more. Just continue. Say this again loud and clear. Evil name of my father's house assigned to make me suffer. Damn! In the name of Jesus, Piadika Center. Yes, continue, continue. That's right, continue. Masika Ponte Yabo Center. 
Ribosoponde kaya bo shentera bo kopola baraba. Yes, 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 yes. If we never suffer for ourselves, our sign to make we suffer. Yeah! Aha! Spirit of the living God. Move, 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 move. Aha, 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 aha. Don't negotiate, don't negotiate. There must be no negotiation. Something must happen in your life before you go. Aha, uh-huh. continue, continue. Don't negotiate. There must be no negotiation. Masika poya bo shente rabo koraba. Pia riko sempia, likata. Deribo ko sente ndeke ya bo shente yaba. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus name we pray. See what is happening beloved. I told you when we started. Yes. Aha. There are people here this morning. Right now you are an object of ridicule and mockery in your family. But the prayer you just prayed now has converted the ridicule to promotion. Yes. The prayer somebody is praying at the back there. I just melted away the cataract in his eyes. Because the cataract is as a result of an evil name. It's an heavy load of a mortar on the head of someone over there. As you were praying, the mortar moved to your waist. But then it went right into the ground again. That's right. And as a result of that prayer, the Jericho of infirmity is being paralyzed in so many lives. We're still praying, beloved. We're still praying. We're making some progress. But we should make more progress. We should make more progress. Pasha was marching about with a good name. Not knowing that his name has been changed in the spirit realm. And that name was to chat the course of the rest of his life. Any evil name. Controlling my destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Jesus, da! Open your mouth and begin to pray. That's right. Paseta kaya bo shente rabaka. Yes. Speak to him by the spirit of prophecy. Did you hear the word of the Lord? Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. This is Katia. Riba Kapontesa. De Katende Kayabo Shente Yaba. Da Katende Kayabo Shente Yabo Koraba. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. The next prayer will release such a mighty outpouring of God's blessings. And I don't want you to miss out. Peace. Pray it without apologies and without fear. Every evil name programmed by witchcraft into my life. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Look, look, where all this happening again? That's right. Yes. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Masete katonda kaya bo shente rabopa. Ribosa. Makapanda sampanda. Ribosapia le kantanda yaba. Aha, aha, aha. Something is happening. Yes, 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 yes. Continue. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Yes. Aha. Say name of that on my forehead. In the spirit realm. Can you shout that loud and clear? Blood of Jesus. Wipe them away of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, that's happened. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, we come to the positive aspects. You will now say this loud and clear. Angels of the Almighty God announce my name of victory in the name of Jesus. Announce my name of victory. Broadcast it and announce it. Asikatanda, riba kosa ponde ke ya boshenta. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. forward in the name of Jesus a new name that will move my life forward aha 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 in Jesus name we pray If you have any sickness on any part of your body, this is the time to lay your hands upon it because of this prayer we want to pray now. And as we begin to pray now, the hand of God that has been upon you since you enter into this arena will be strengthened against your enemies. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. I fire back! Every arrow of infirmity in the name of Jesus, fire it back. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Pida sika tondaka. Ruba saponda kaya ba shentenda kampa. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let your power, your healing virtue, your glory power. You infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. By the stripes that Jesus received and by the blood and water that gushed from his side. That place where you are is not your habitation. So I command you to lose your hold now. All right, there where you are, whatever the infirmity is, receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the ears, in the chest, in the stomach, in the womb, in any part of the body. For it is written that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. You spirit of infirmity, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Let that healing virtue flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. In the name of Jesus. Begin to check your body now. Do anything you could not do before. And as you know that the healing power of God has touched you, just slowly find a way to the altar here. When you notice that, yes, you came with an infirmity, it has gone. We are continuing our prayers. Why we lay our hand on our belly button area? Now you will declare this loud and clear. Please, I beg you, 
If you start praying and you're having stomach trouble, don't worry, just continue the prayers. Don't, don't because of that, stop. Shout this loud and clear. Inherited evil name. Clear away. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There must be a release of your mountain moving power here today. So that mountains can be destroyed and completely disgraced. Makote sepela kaya bo shendera bo kontia. Ribo seponde kaya bo shente ya ba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. We remove your arm from our belly button now. Now there's an aspect we want to deal with now. We call them satanic nicknames. Somebody must have given you some nicknames. Which really is not your proper name. But you know that those nicknames could rule your life. You will now shout this loud and clear. Any nickname assigned to derail my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, nickname assigned to derail my life. Baseka tenda kaya bo shentera bakaya ba. Spirit of the living God, begin to move in a new way in this place. Spirit of the living God, begin to move in a new way in this place. Baseka ya bo shentera bo contende kaya ba. Ribasa. Makiapo Santa. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Don't say anything again for now. We have made a lot of pronouncements into the heavenlies. A, a big sheet of paper has now been opened, and plenty of things are written on that paper. Let me read out to you some of those things written on the paper that is stretched like a large piece of paper here. Number one, there are people here this morning that they have been threatening to sack. Those who are threatening to sack you, as a result of your prayers here this morning, they have been sacked instead. Number two, there are people here that your medical record is nothing to write them about. Tonight, as you sleep, a consignment of seven angels shall pay you a visit. Yes. And they will carry out their own surgical operation yes. upon every aspect of your body. Yes. And those infirmities, you shall see them no more. Yes. There is more on that paper. I see some people they are jumping up and rejoicing because of some letters they received. It's letters they received. Jumping up and rejoicing. This is glorious. This is glorious. This is glorious. This is glorious. There are some people who have prayed here this morning. Things that you have lost many, many years back shall come rushing back to you this week. They will rush back to you. There are people here this morning too. Right now, that strange man thought that he had won. But this week is our expiry week. Because you have cancelled the name in the spirit realm. That is attacking your marriage. I see a brother here. You are from the middle belt of this country. Every woman you've ever contacted are witches. And you are still with one now. Is it not even your wife? And that one is a witch as well. If you will repent here this morning, what you've lost for 30 years shall come rushing back to you before this week runs to an end. Raise up your right hand to the heavens and shout this again loud and clear. Please don't allow any voice to overshadow your voice. So every power calling my name for evil. Can you shout this loud and clear? 
you are a liar there in the name of Jesus Pida Saka Tondayaba Ribosaponda Kata Makatonda Sataya Bashanta Deriboka Saponda Kanta Makatonda Kaya Bashanta Yabaka Piarida Kasampa In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let all the signs and wonders you have done here this day be covered in the blood of Jesus. Affliction shall not rise again. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please listen very carefully. There are some three key prayers we need to pray before we leave here. You will raise your voice again and say this without apology to anyone. Say, any power circulating my name for destruction. Your time is up. There! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's all lay our right hand upon our heads as we declare these three prayers on our heads and then we go home rejoicing. You say this loud and clear. Any power calling for my head at the gate of the grave scatter in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for yourself now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every arrow fired against my sanity. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Don't joke with these prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hand down now. This is the last one. Please, don't negotiate with the enemy in this prayer at all. Every witchcraft intervention in my progress destroy the intervention. Masakatora kaya boshendera bokontia. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Wonderful God, we thank you. As we go into another week, let every day of this week become a day of testimony and power. In the name of Jesus. A day of power and glory. In the name of Jesus. And every evil name that has been changed for good names this morning. The good name shall remain permanent in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise our two hands to the Lord. Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. Hallelujah. As I walk along the way, the way. Oh yes, Holy Spirit, I was lost, but Jesus, Hallelujah, from the sheep, 
Nothing is too difficult for me. Behold, I am the Lord, thy crown of all flesh. Hallelujah! Is that everything? Is that everything? Hallelujah! Is that everything? 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 To have for you? Is that everything? Is that everything? To have for me? Yes, behold, behold, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Flesh is that anything, is that anything, is that anything to have for me? Hallelujah! Is that anything, anything, anything to have for you? Is that anything? Is that anything to have for me? Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Complete Hallelujah. Complete. Amen. I want you to pray the following prayers for yourself, for your family, for everything that concerns you. Say, The sun shall not smite me by day. Not the moon by night. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. The sun shall not smite me by day. Not the moon by night. Begin to declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your right hand to the heavens. I take a divine insurance against any form of tragedy in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and take that divine insurance. I take a divine insurance against any form of tragedy in Jesus' name we pray. Any power hunting for my destiny, you are a liar. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for a day like this. When we are gathered at your feet to receive from you. Thank you because blessings abound where you reign. Thank you for that which you have portioned for today. And thank you for your zeal and your power. Thank you because you exalt your word above your name. For that word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. For that same word, the whole of creation came into being. By the word of your power, O oh Lord. Visit everyone here today in the name of Jesus. As many people as are here this morning, and the enemy is already mocking them, begin to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. And as many people as are here this morning, Lord, and they have been crying to the heavenlies that, Oh Lord, when will my deliverance come? Let there be deliverance for them in the name of Jesus. And as many people as are here who have hidden enemies in the camp of their life, biting them and smiling at them, let there be an exposure and let the powers of the oppressor be disgraced in the name of Jesus. 
cause it to happen, Lord. That in this place this morning, everything the enemy has been sitting upon, years and years and years, let the enemy be unseated. Let them 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 be unseated. In the name of Jesus. That sister over there. The power that does not want to let you go. I cut off that power now in the name of Jesus. This morning Lord. Anyone here who has been boxed a corner. And he or she's wit's end. As you are there. Let there be rearrangement in the heavenly. To favor your life. In the name of Jesus. And as many people as are here Lord. Already by the decree of man. There is no hope. But your word says. There is hope for the cut down tree. Oh God for the sake of this people here this morning. Arise by fire. Arise by fire. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. In the name of Jesus. Every strange thing that has been oppressing anyone here. I cut off the strange thing from your body. In the name of Jesus. Those powers that have rearranged the destiny of that person. And if things had worked normally for you. You are not even supposed to be in Nigeria now. If things had worked normally for you. By now. If you said you wanted to buy aircraft, you should be able to buy it. But then things have not worked normally. The servants have taken over your horse. Right there where you are, repossess your horse. Repossess it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Wonderful God. I pray for as many people as are here. And the enemy sat down and tore away your wedding garment. Right there where you are. Repossess your possession. Repossess it in the name of Jesus. I pray Lord for unusual, unexpected and turn around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a manifestation of your power here. A manifestation of your glorious anointing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. I want to speak to you for a few minutes. As you know, today is a prayer meeting day. And the Lord has promised to move in an awesome manner. I know there is someone here today that beginning from now, the powers that have made you cry shall be buried alive. I'm speaking to you for a few minutes on what I call my story must change. <laughs> Amen. Now, there are seven facts that I want you to know about divine operations seven facts that i want you to know about divine operations the first fact you may believe it you may not believe it but it is a hard fact is that there is no problem too hard for god to solve that's the first fact what did i say just now that's the first fact about divine operations the second fact you should know about divine operations is that in the dictionary of the almighty, the word impossibility does not exist. Because it says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. The third fact about divine operation I want you to know is this. Sister, hear me well. Brothers, listen clear and clear. When God appears your battlefront as the end of the battle when God appears at the battlefront there is no battle again that's the end of the battle the battle may rage for a long time 
But the day God arises, that is it. And when he arises, whether you believe or you don't believe, once he's there, that's the end of the battle. I see someone here today. God will arise at your battlefront and there will be no battle again. If you are that person, shout it loud, hallelujah. The fourth fact about divine operation that I want you to understand and to know no matter the strength of your opposition, one word from the master, the strength of your opposition, one word from the Lord will scatter them. The fifth fact that I want you to know about divine operations is that there is no situation in any life now that God has not resolved before. There is no new case. No new case before God. Like the Bible said, there is nothing new under the sun. There is no situation in life now that God has not resolved before. Those who regularly attend prayer reign. We remember the day when that 54-year-old woman was giving testimony about childbirth. After 30 something years. With God, all things are possible. The sixth fact you should know is this. When men have come to their wit's end, that is the beginning of divine operations. When you have tried and then you have reached the full stop mark, it's then God opens his own sentence and begins to move. Seventh fact about divine operation is that God is a story changer. God is a story changer. In Mark chapter 5, I read from verse 2. Mark chapter 5, I read from verse 2. Mark chapter 5, from verse 2. Are we there? And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwellings among the tombs. And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs. Crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. He ran and worship him. Beloved, this is the story of woman. Your story, crying always night and day. Is this your story? Scavenging the tombs. Is this your story? Bound by visible and invisible chains. Is this your story? That the situation has become so wild that no man can help. No mortal chains can help. No summons can help. No deliverance can help. No father's discipline can help. No family discipline, no family appeal has been able to help. Is this your story? Is this your story? A living dead with your home among the dead? Is this your story? That you are strangely at home with society's dead and decaying cast out? Is this your story? That they completely seduced by the devil? Is this your story? That you are even taking actions and you are harming yourself. You are harming yourself. Your harming yourself is your pastime. Is this your story? That you are cutting yourself with stones as if you have been drugged into instrumental destruction. Is this your story? That you are going on a path of destruction and you are running fast on that track. Is this your story? You have been forgotten by friends and abandoned by family members. Is this your story? You are lonely, you are depressed, and abandoned. Is this your story? That demons seem to overcome you with ease. Is this your story? That you are feeding from the dining table of darkness. Is this your story? That everybody seems to have given up on you. Is this your story? That any time you try to smile, it's crying that comes out. Is this your story? All your efforts have been frustrated. Is this your story? You prayed, done deliverance, done all kinds of things, but no way. Is this your story? 
that we should help you at turning against you. Is this your story? When you are supposed to be on ladder, the rung of the ladder, number 10, you are in number 1. If that is so, listen to me really hard. Because I got information from heaven for you today. If that is your story, beloved, you shall see Jesus today. In the name of Jesus. Then your story shall change. Through the encounter with the Son of God. In the name of Jesus. Then every bondage to death. In the graveyard of life. Shall be broken today. In the name of Jesus. Then every chain fabricated by witchcraft. Fabricated by sorcery against you. Shall be shattered today. And then you shall meet the master. You shall be the master. In the name of Jesus. Look at Mark chapter 5. Verse 15. And they come to Jesus. And see him that was possessed with the devil. It had become past tense now. The story had changed. And they came to Jesus and saw him that was possessed with the devil. That had the legion. Sitting and clothed in his right mind. And they were afraid. I speak by the authority of heaven. And by the decree in the word of God. That whether the enemy likes it or not. A story shall change. A story shall change. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus shall make you a testimony. He shall make you a wonder. He shall make you a marvel. You who used to cry out from the torments of the devil shall now begin to cry out in the name of the Lord. And you shall be restored to your home again. It is true that Satan legion had forced you into the wilderness of the graveyard. It is true that also wickedness and powers of witchcraft have pushed you into the graveyard of life. But it is also true that you are coming out. You are coming out. In the name of Jesus. The master knows where you are. And is coming your way. The master says you have cried enough. Listen carefully. That graveyard experience. Is the devil's plot to waste your life. But it is merely a comma, a pause. It is not the end. It is merely a comma in a sentence. It is not your full stop. It shall yet be for testimony. Then your past, having instantly become past tense, as that man would read that him that was possessed, then your God will now arise and make you a praise. But then, when the master comes away, don't refuse him. Like the man in our story, like the man in this story, he had a determination and a decision. You must apply your action, in your decision, in spite of the graveyard intimidation that is surrounding us. You have to run to Jesus the way that man ran to Jesus. Today is that day when your story must change. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. There is no promise too hard for the Lord to fulfill. There is no prayer too hard for God to answer. There is no enemy too hard for God to dismantle. There is no mountain too hard for God to climb. There is no reproach too stubborn for God to remove. But that's a small mistake we all make. And that great mistake is this. The great mistake is to verbalize your doubt. When you verbalize your doubt, faith will jump out. Then that terrible thing that you said will come to pass. The spirit of God came upon Elisha and he gave what you can call a mad prophecy. So mad that it's something like this. Is that all of a sudden there is no food in this Lagos. And one prophet came. I said, that's the idea Lord. By tomorrow, a bag of gari will be 50 kobo. That's what he said. That's, it's as mad as that. There was a man that had it. And he said, huh? <laughs> If God even will open the window of heaven, this, this cannot be so. That man made a mistake. 
He verbalized his doubt. And he got an evil prophecy. So, okay, say so with your eyes you will see it. And you will not take part of it. Zechariah will have lost his miracle. If not for the quick action of that angel. Who quickly made him dumb. Unable to speak. Because when the angel came. I said, I am Gabriel. That stands by the altar of God. And I've been sent to give you information. I behold, your wife Elizabeth shall conceive. And shall bear a son. And shall call his name John. Many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers of the children. And the angel gave him these powerful prophecies. The man looked at him. He said, angel, if you have better information, better give it. Because my wife is old. And I'm advanced in age. So it's not possible. And the angel said, look, I am Gabriel. That stands by the throne of God. Because you do not believe my word. It shall be fulfilled in their season. You shall be dumb and unable to speak until the child comes. Why did the angel close his mouth? Because if Zechariah began to talk, the doubt was talking. There would be no miracle. A lot of us puncture our miracle by entertaining thoughts of failure, by meditating on the magnitude of the problem as described by whoever. We puncture our miracle. Then we give in to discouragement. When we begin to listen to the symptoms of the sickness. When we begin to try other solutions apart from God and prayers. We puncture our miracle. When we are entertaining the thoughts of giving up and committing suicide. We puncture our miracle by negative confessions. By verbalizing our doubt. Noah's generation perished. Why? They refused to believe. Peter sank because he doubted. Zechariah became dumb because he refused to believe. These disciples got so confused after the death of Jesus because they did not believe. That Israeli ruler in Samaria died because of unbelief. Those ten spies that Moses sent, they died because of unbelief. God may delay, but God does not deny there is a difference between unanswered prayer and ungranted prayers. It is interesting to note that as many people as are in the Bible and they verbalize their doubt, they got into trouble. When the ten spies came back, say we saw them, they are giants. We are grasshoppers. Cannot fight them. God came and said, okay, since you have said you are grasshoppers, so shall you be. Bow down your heads now. Tell the Lord to forgive you. In areas where you have punctured your own miracle and verbalize your doubt and giving the enemy a room to begin to move against your life. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to forgive you because your story must change. If they have called you a bad name before, that name must be changed now. If they have given you an evil description before, that evil description must be cancelled. If you have been oppressed before, your story must change to the one who oppresses the oppressor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet now. And listen to me very carefully. The Bible says, He that cometh to God must believe that he is that is a reward of them that diligently seek. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We have plenty of prayers to pray here this morning. Each prayer has an agenda. Each prayer has a purpose. Each prayer has thousands of breakthroughs attached to it. Each prayer will only be prayed for a short time. So meaning that you cannot afford to keep quiet. When I want you to sit down, I want you to sit down. Now it's time to stand. As we're going to start praying now, the first thing that will start happening immediately is that the angels of God will go right into the midst and begin to operate on people's eyes. Eyes that have been attacked by witchcraft powers and powers of darkness. Those angels will begin to operate in the chest area. Those that the enemy is blocking their breathing and their, and their heart. Something will begin to jump out from those areas. 
Same angels will begin to carry out operations on the stomach, operations in the womb, operations on the backbone. As the prayers are going on, the powers of paralysis shall be broken to pieces. And then, a repair shall begin to take place. Get yourself ready. Say this after me. Oh God, arise! And steer the winds to bring my restoration. Can you say that and let me hear you? Uh -huh. Steer the wind in the name of Jesus. Let him begin to steer the winds. Let him steer the wind in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so my father, let there be new patterns in my life that will promote me. In the name of Jesus, new patterns in my life that will promote me, that will promote me. Pray this prayer, beloved. New patterns. In Jesus' name we pray. Every evil wind blowing against me scatter in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Something is happening over there. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That's why the Lord is doing a surgical operation in the ear of somebody. And somebody's ear has just vanished completely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that arrow of infirmity. Fired into every area of the body. It's been shaken out. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. You, that woman, that you have been having this strange movement underneath your arm, and you have been smelling death. Right there, where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that strange creature under your skin is broken to pieces. Aha. Yes. Shout this loud and clear. Affliction, Affliction. in the word of the Lord, Die! in the name of Jesus, kill the afflictions, kill the afflictions, yes, Masoto kate kapo ya bo shenta. Riba kapo na kasenta ya ba. Manaka rabo soponde ke ya bo shenta ya ba. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence, beloved. Someone has been passing uncontrollable urine. The power of God is coming upon you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Virtues collected from somebody in the dream is being returned back to you. Yes. Something is coming out of somebody over there. The thing is like a long rope being pulled out from the right leg. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone here. It's like you are hearing sounds of gunshots in your ears. These are powers assigned to eliminate your life. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. The yoke of those killing powers is broken completely. In the name of Jesus. Aha. So, oh God, arise and let my glory be perfected by fire in the name of Jesus. 
Let my glory be perfected by fire in the name of Jesus. Masopokoya boshende rabakaraba. Ribakapanda sente yaba. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Something strange is happening down there. There are three personalities walking out of somebody. That's right. Someone is here. Doctors have cut off somewhere in your body. Right there where you are. You can feel the heat in that part of the body. A new organ has been put back into position. Yes. Say this again loud and clear. Blood of Jesus. Stand between me. And every strange altar. In the name of Jesus, stand between me and any strange altar so that the altar will not affect my life. In the name of Jesus, Masakaya Boshendera Basanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Blood of Jesus. Secure my portion. Secure my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Yes. Yes. Continue to speak it out. Continue to speak it out. Masukaya Bushendera Bakaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my family. And kill every affliction. In the name of Jesus. Pass through my family. Kill every affliction. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood of Jesus. Straighten out the affairs of my life. In the name of Jesus. Straighten out the affairs of my life. Straighten out, straighten it out. Many things are happening here. Marco Rabo Soponta. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Open all the gates shut against me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The blood of Jesus rebuild the damage wall in my life. In the name of Jesus, let's rebuild the damage wall in my life. Maraboko Sapontendaka, Deriboko Santendeke Yaboshen. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to believe you are praying. We have a very short time for all these prayers, but things are happening all over this place. Blood of Jesus. Arise! Scatter every strange altar 
erected against my life. In the name of Jesus. Scatter every strange altar. Erected against my life. Scatter the altar. Scatter the altar. Scatter them. Scatter them. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every covenant of fear in my life. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the covenant of fear. I shall not be afraid. Motesekaya boshendera bakanta. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray this one three times. Look at what is happening over there. One power that has been squeezing the womb of one woman together is releasing that womb now. Releasing the womb now. That's right. Now you, that person, with terrible pain at your back of your head and the bone at the back of your head. Shake it now. you find that the healing power of God has come upon that backbone. Thank you, Jesus. Something has just been taken out from somebody's body. You came here with it. But check it now. It has been taken away back to the senders. We pray this one three times. Blood of Jesus! Separate me from the iniquities of other men. Meaning that you will not suffer for what somebody else has done. Separate me from the iniquities of other men. Blood of Jesus. Separate me from the iniquities of other men. In the name of Jesus. Separate me from the iniquities of other men so that it will not affect my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Aha, aha, aha. Nariboko soponde ke ya bo shenteraba. Nariboko soponde ke ya ba. In Jesus name we pray. This is the third time open your mouth and pray. So I pray me. Masikaya bo shenteraba karaba santa. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. One hand on the head, one hand on the chest. And speak loud and clear like this. Every arrow of darkness in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I'm sure you can shout it louder than that. Make it louder than that, beloved. In the name of Jesus, kill the arrows today. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. Barrea bosso pocota. Manna camponte se pella boko yaba. Bori boko saponde kaya boshente yaba. Makarea bosso pala out through the mouth through the nose through the womb out 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 
Thank you, Jesus. You may put your hand down now. Now, check your body thoroughly. You know that the power of God has touched your body. You, know, you came here with something and it's no longer there. Don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray with you to retain that miracle. Just find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray for you. Now you will say this louder than anyone here. Please don't joke with this prayer. Please pray it with anger. Struggle of witchcraft against me. If I were that sister from Cross River down there, I will shout it louder than anyone here. Struggle of witchcraft against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Bora po da kata santa yaba. Mani ko soponde ke yabo shente yaba. Bari ko soponde ke yabo shente yaba raba. In Jesus name we pray. As someone who came to this service with a satanic migraine, as if the enemy wants to blow up your head. The seven arrows fired into that head, they have been taken out one by one. There are some false bonds here this morning, which the enemy has been using as a footmat. But this morning, you have been delivered by the power of God. Aha. Uh -huh. That person here, that they say the baby in your womb is dead. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the resurrection power of God is coming upon that baby. Yes, that's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Every bad luck transferred into my life. Can you shout it loud and clear? Backfire in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Command the bad luck to come out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marabo sopoko tenda kayaba. Mama mama kapola bo sopola kayabo sha. Barra kapo soponda. Boni na kaponda senta. Mana kantera bo sopola. Beriko soponda kayabo shenta yaba. Bekatera bo sopola kayabo shenta. Bokara boko sotonda kayabo shenta yaba. Mariba ko soponda kayabo shenta yaba rakayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I see sister here. The strange woman from your husband has planted an infirmity in your body. But the infirmity is coming out now. That's right. Just receive your healing. From that cancer, from the kidney trouble, from the heart disease, from the diabetes, from the sleeplessness. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say this with boiling anger. Every power opening the gates of my life to darkness. 
Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Aha. 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 Borrebo soponde kepete. Anaka robo sopokote ya boshanta. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Masoteke Yaboshente. Aha, aha, aha. Amen. Something is taking place over there. Yes. The evil swelling inside the body, inside the breast is being taken out. Check it now. That's right. The hand of the oppressor that has been introducing fire inside your body has been shaken out from your body now. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Hidden arrows in my body. Wither! In the name of Jesus. Command the hidden arrows to wither. Wither! Wither, 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 wither. In Jesus' name we pray. Check your body again now, beloved. Came here with a particular condition. It has just vanished. Find a way to this altar so we can pray with you and put a seal on that miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy has taken something away from one man over there. Right there, the Holy Ghost is returning what the enemy has stolen. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Ensure that if you notice that somebody's voice is going to overshadow your own, make it louder. story change in the name of Jesus oh God arise and let my story change and I'll be a change a change a change, 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 a change. Let my story change. That must be a change. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Let my story change. Rabo sopola kaya bo shentera ba. Mana kanta rabo sopola boko. Harika setende kaya bo. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. I say crab like object moving out of the body of a sister over there. This is the object that has been pushing out your babies and causing miscarriages. The power of God is coming upon you there. Yes. This is the final time I want you to do that prayer. 
Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the torch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power. 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 Ah 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 ah. The story is changing. The story is changing. The story is changing. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the decree of heavens. Oh God, Allah, and let my story change. Let my story change. Let my story change. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down. Sit down, please. We we'll pray the following prayers while you are sitting. I'm going to ask you to stand up again very soon. You will decree this loud and clear. Oh God of the suddenlies. Allah. Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. The God of the suddenlies. Arise. Manifest your power in my life. Spirit of the living God. Move, 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 move. In Jesus' name we pray. You will shout this too loud and clear. Every good thing that the enemy has stolen from me, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray you will say this again with only anger shadows of darkness that has entered into my destiny clear away in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray rise up on your feet everybody the glory of witchcraft from my place of birth I turn you to shame can you say this with only anger are you afraid to say it Jesus. Turn their glory to shame. Turn it to shame. Turn it to shame. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power searching for my face in a satanic mirror. Can you say this loud and clear? Uh -huh. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray Lord I thank you for this your children cover their miracles with the blood of Jesus I declare that affliction will not arise in your life again thank you heavenly father we have several more prayers to pray say this again loud and clear every power Arresting my helpers. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch forward your two hands like somebody who wants to receive a really big, heavy present. My father. Visit me in a way that will surprise my friends and shock my enemies. In the name of Jesus, ask for a divine visitation to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. The key to abundant prosperity. Come into my hands now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that want you. In Jesus name we pray. Any gate man. Standing at the gate of my breakthroughs. Clear away in the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. You month of December. You shall not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus, declare that the month will not be your cauldron. In Jesus' name we pray. Every serpent and scorpion in this month, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray power to rise up with wings as eagle fall upon my life now in the name of Jesus that's right in Jesus name we pray this is the seventh prayer that I want you to pray from your heart. Every owner of evil load this month. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. They must carry their load by fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As a seal to what the Lord has done here today. I want you to sing this song with violence. Sing it with power. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. No matter what the devil may say. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. No matter what the devil may say. I shall get to my promised land. Hallelujah. That what the devil may say. I shall get to my promise. Hallelujah. No matter what the devil may say. I shall get yeah, 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 yeah. I shall get to my promised land. To my promised land. 
No matter what the devil may say, I shall get to my promise now. Hallelujah. I shall. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hallelujah. I shall get to my promise. Hallelujah. I shall. No matter what the devil may say, I shall get, I shall get to my promise. I get to my, I shall get to my promise land. 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 I shall get to my promise. Shall get to my promise land. Let us share the grace in fellowship. I just want to say, Lord, I love you. Ooh, I come to say, how much you mean to me. Ooh, when I tell love, love will be this way. Love against me, going on. To say how much you mean to me, Ooh, will I tell love? My love will be this way. Love that gets me going on. It's all true to life, and it's only a lie.
never brought us to rain. Girls will appear throughout the day. No matter what you're going through, here we got to pretend to make you shine. In your work, you please do a bit favor. In your job, you know the people all day. No way for more, make this a shop prosper. In the name of Jesus, somebody, you are not alone. Don't you know? I see you are not alone. God's gonna guide you in your family. He's gonna protect you in your family. If you want to play, he will open your eyes. When you bring both, he will make you work. If you don't have to Let it 
If you have your worship paper with you, can you bring it out, please? Let's do some small revision very quickly before we now go on. Now let's try and learn 53 if we don't already know it. Number 53. Are we ready? Let's go. Oh, come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Oh, come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Can we give it a try? Let's go. Okay, listen to me carefully now. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Can you say that loud and clear? Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Then second one. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let's sing it two together now. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Okay. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Sing that again. salvation. Sing it again. Oh, come. 
Let us sing unto the Lord. Sing that. Oh. Now listen to me singing it through. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Oh, come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Can I hear you sing now? Let's go. Very good. Now listen to me sing the second verse. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let's sing that one. Let me hear you sing. Let's go. I'll accept that. Let's go to the third one. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let's sing that one. Let's go. Oh, come, worship and bow down. Salvation, oh God. Then next one, let's sing. Oh God, let us kneel before the Lord. Let's rise up on our feet now as we try and sing it through. Try and sing it through. Let's go. Oh, sing unto the Lord. Let us sing unto the Sing the next one loud and clear. Let us make a joyful noise to the salvation Oh God let us sing before the second verse let us come before his presence with thanksgiving let us come before his presence with thanksgiving Laura Come before his presence with us. Next one. 
Righteousness, but by his grace alone, it's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone, it's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. Oh, I am complete in him, complete, oh, yes, yes, complete. Hallelujah, complete, complete, oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Yon, yon. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send that fire again, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. Send the fire again. The Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. Holy Ghost. Send the fire. Send the fire again. The Holy. John, John, John. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. 
the fullness of the God and bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete in him. Complete. Oh. Hallelujah. Where is complete? Hallelujah. I am. John, 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 John. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus, climbs it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus, climbs it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus, climbs it all. Oh, I am complete in it. Complete. Hallelujah. 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 Complete. 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 In it. Hallelujah. Complete. In it. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. Say, finger of the Lord. Arrest my arresters in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Let his finger arise and let him arrest the arresters. Let the arresters be arrested in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, this strange but powerful prayer, I want you to pray now. Say this loud and clear. Anything in my life that is deaf to the voice of God, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that word. Anything in my life that is deaf from the voice of God, hear the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Wonderful God, we praise your holy name for what you are doing in our midst. We worship and bless your holy name because you are our rock. You are our strength. You have never failed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, open our understanding. Help us, Lord, to get to where you want us to be. And at the end of this service, let us glorify your holy name. And let all the glory belong to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Acts of Apostles chapter 16. And I'm looking at what I call provoking your earthquake of deliverance. Provoking your earthquake of deliverance. Provoking your earthquake of deliverance. Acts chapter 16. I read from verse 22. Acts 16 from verse 22. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. This is Paul and Silas. And when they had laid many, underline the word many, many stripes upon them. That is, they thoroughly gave them a beating. They cast them to the prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. He made their feet fast in the stocks. Verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. What did they do, beloved? They prayed. At what time? At midnight. And some praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Meaning that they were not quiet about it, neither were they shy or ashamed. They were not doing quiet prayer, quiet praises. No. What happened in verse 26? 
And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's band were loosed. And the keeper of the prison awoken out of his sleep. And seeing the prison door open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had, had fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, said, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light. That is, these men were in darkness in the dungeon and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. So shall your enemies bow before you this morning in the name of Jesus. And brought them out and said, Sars, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in the house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized he and all is straight away provoking your earthquake of deliverance. Three words. Provoke. Earthquake. Deliverance. What does it mean to provoke? To provoke means to incite. To stimulate something. To deliberately annoy. To incite by arousing some excitement. Something that, no, 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 that, something that is normally not that normally does not want to do a particular thing, you do something that ignites the thing to do it. Pull a trigger and certain things begin to happen that will not normally have happened. Let me explain that a little bit more. When we were little children, small boys, there is a place around the there they call railway compound. And they used to have plenty of good gardens, plenty of mangoes and all kinds of oranges growing in their gardens there. So a small boys who went there to pluck mango one day, got to this beautiful garden, and this mango was had very good, very good mango fruit on it. So we, we gathered stones and sticks and began to throw it at the mangoes. We did not know that the owner of the house had a bulldog. All of a sudden, from the corner of our eyes, we saw this large dog coming towards us, galloping towards us. Before that date, I have never climbed a tree before in my life. But as this dog was coming, all I just knew was that I was at the top of that tree. How I got there, I still cannot explain to you. So the presence of the dog, I normally will not do. As somebody here this morning who needs to provoke the earthquake of deliverance. And then things will begin to happen. I remember the story of that man too. He was on his way home. But anytime he was going home, he had to pass through a cemetery. He didn't know that they were digging a fresh grave. So he, as he was passing, he just fell into the grave. That was around 1 a.m. at night. He tried to get out. The ground was slippery. After struggling for one hour, and he couldn't get out in the dark there in the hole. So he said, well, let me start to die in one corner. In the morning, somebody will help me out. So he got to a corner of the pit and tried to sleep. As he was struggling to sleep, another person was coming, whistling on his way. He too fell in. He was struggling, he kept falling, he struggled, he was falling, he struggled, he was falling. He didn't know that somebody was already in the pit. So the first man who fell in the pit just quietly went towards him and laid his hand on his back and said, brother, there is no use in struggling to get out of here. That was all that man needed to hear. He was out. He normally was not good, was not struggling to get out again. But when a hand landed on his shoulder and he knew he was in the cemetery, he thought that a ghost had laid hands on him. He jumped out of the place. That's what it means to provoke. What's earthquake? Earthquake is really an agent of mass destruction. When there are earthquakes, cities are destroyed. Homes and buildings are destroyed. Many people get injured and many people die. An earthquake is a massive flow of power. It is a destructive force. And the way earthquake moves, it moves with very great power and great speed. An earthquake is therefore something to be respected and something to be feared. 
The question is, can such a destructive thing be good? Yes, God can use any instrument to deliver his people. The Bible says, all who must live a godly life must suffer persecution. These men went to preach the gospel. They didn't go to do their business. They were working for God. They were not working for the devil. But in spite of this, they were captured. And God was watching. They gave them serious and severe beating. God was watching. They dragged them on the floor. God was watching. Those men, I've arrived, we are doing your work. Why are we suffering like this? There are plenty of people who complain about being persecuted in the work of God. Sometimes I ask them, has anybody ever slapped you? They say no. Anybody ever spat on you? I say no. Then what persecution are you talking about? Have you ever preached a sermon and somebody waited for you on the road and gave you serious beating for preaching? They say no. So what are you talking about? I have preached before and I was, as I closed, a woman was waiting for me at the gate. Not here in Mountain of Fire. And she removed her headgear, tied it to her waist and said, you came to preach against me today, I will show you pepper. And she gave me one slap. Bwah! And I started begging her. So I'm sorry, ma. Don't beat me. Has that ever happened to you? No. These men were working for Jesus. And they threw them into the dungeon after they'd been thoroughly beaten up. And yet these men in the prison, they did not allow the external beating to change them. Beloved, when next things are very rough, raise your voice and sing a song like this, man. The question is, everybody will come to their own midnight, but what will you do at your midnight? If God had informed Paul and Silas that he had a plan for them by allowing them to be jailed, they would have wondered. God's plan allowed the enemy to be so foolish as to arrest those two innocent men of God and put them in jail into the inner prison. By the time these men exploded from the nucleus of the prison, the effect was total and devastating. So shall your God explode in your life today in the name of Jesus. At midnight, the Bible says, they started praying and singing. After being severely beaten and bruised, I'm sure as they were singing there and clapping their hands and praying, the older prisoners will have been mocking them. They just want to have just come. They will soon get tired. Don't worry, they, they've not stayed long yet. By the time they spent four months here, they will calm down. But the father, it was not so. As they sang, the prison began to dance to their music. And there was an earthquake. We shook the prison to its foundation. And then what was the result of the earthquake? There was a collective deliverance. Also, individual deliverance. The general prison door was opened. And then the individual chains in the hands of the prisoners broke away. Because if the door is open, but the man in the house is in chains, the open door will make little difference to his life. If the man in the house too is unchained, but the doors are still locked, his freedom also will be limited. God knew that the opener of the prison gates was not going to be much use to the prisoners. Unless their own personal prison gates, that is their chains, were broken. So number one, there was collective deliverance. Then God dealt with their individual chains. Now, what are we bringing out of this? The deliverance of Paul and Silas brought about the deliverance of others. I pray that you will be an instrument for the deliverance of others. In the name of Jesus. Listen carefully now. Listen very carefully. As you are sitting down there, so many people's destinies are tied to your own. You may not believe it, but that is the truth. As you are sitting down there, so many people's breakthroughs are tied to yours. There are people who are jobless now because you are jobless. There are people who don't have breakthroughs now because you don't have breakthroughs. Because their breakthroughs are tied to your breakthrough. Their deliverance depends on your deliverance. Your painful cries and prayers it will yield deliverance that will now deliver them. This is where we need to now pray. Immediately, Paul and Silas received their deliverance. Their deliverance had a, a, an effect on the others and all other people there were set free. There is a miracle that can happen in your life that will give birth to miracles in other people's lives. So this, sometimes this position you are remaining in, instead of doing something that will move you forward, you are pushing some people down. 
There are some who will die in their poverty if you remain in poverty. This is why we need to pray seriously this morning. That any power that does not want me to be an instrument of breakthrough should be completely dismantled. There is a cry too that brings deliverance. It is the cry of the righteous. Those are lessons you can pick from what we've read now. Then the foundation of some demonic prison is so deep and strong that it will take an earthquake from the Lord to shake them. Sometimes it's the physical things we see that drives us to prayer. But far beyond our vision lies the foundation. The unseen root which only God can search out. What are we telling you this morning at this morning's meeting? Your cry can move God to send an earthquake of deliverance which will destroy the root of any ancient captivity. This will end the evil reign over your life and set others free. When the earthquake of deliverance shook the prison, the prisoners came and bowed down before Paul and Silas, thereby confirming that ancient word of scripture. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 19, that ancient word of scripture which never changes. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 19. It will be nice if we memorize that scripture. Proverbs 14, 19 says, The evil bow before the good, and the wicked bow at the gates of the righteous. So this money is a money of very serious aggression and battle. This one is a principle that can never be altered. The evil must bow before the good. Can you shout that loud and clear? So perhaps also enemies have their unholy fingers in every area of your life now. Perhaps evil pursuers have been after you since you were born. Perhaps the world has made you a shadow of what you are supposed to really be. Perhaps spiritual thieves have stolen your blessings. You are facing pressures left, right, center, and forward. It will appear as if every department of your life is under one attack or the other. The last time you were a very great blessing to people was when they threw you out. Your names have been circulated in the house of wicked diviners. You have been threatened with destruction or even physical harm. You are even being ridiculed by unbelievers in your family who say you have been serving Jesus. Jesus has done nothing for you. I have good news for you this morning. The wicked must eventually bow before the good. No matter how long it takes to happen, it must happen. Your oppressors must crumble before your feet. And war befalls that vessel that is designed to harass and torment you as a child of God. Because that eternal principle cannot change. The evil must bow before the good. They promoted one sister to the very top position. The office was in Marina there, Lagos. The day she was promoted, somebody came to her and said, you, you think this is how life is? Uh, so you are the, the boss now. So I tell you, you won't last seven days here. And the woman said, well, you are not God. I serve the living God. And the man walked out. Marina here. This woman was in her office one morning, walking on her table. And she felt something cold on her legs. By the time she would look at it, it was a large snake. Marina here. When she saw the thing, fear first of all gripped her. But later she remembered that the evil must bow. She praised Abel for the messenger to come in. The messenger came in and she was pointing at her feet that the man should look. That's why the Bible says, Woe unto him that put his trust in man. When the messenger saw the serpent, he fled and was saying, Hey, madam is dead, madam is dead. But this woman looked at the snake and said, In the name of Jesus, I electrocute you by the power of God. And as she was saying that, she found that the serpent began to shiver. Then he stretched out and just died there by her feet. The evil must bow before the good. Can you raise up one hand and shout this loud and clear? Every serpent assigned against me. You are a failure. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. I'm just speaking out a few lessons where from Acts 16. But this lesson, I want it to be clear to you. All those that rise up against God's children, if you forget everything I'm saying this morning, don't forget this. All those that rise up against God's children must, as a matter of necessity, crash and crumble. The Bible says, why did the Eden so furiously rage together? And why did the people imagine a vain thing? So the kings of the earth rose up against the Lord and against his anointed. But he said, thou shalt dash them in pieces. Moses understood this principle. After the night plague of Egypt, Moses went before Pharaoh in Exodus 11 verse 4. Exodus 11 verse 4. Moses went before Pharaoh. Exodus 11 4. And Moses said, Thus said the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the first one of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, unto the first one of the maid, maid servant that is behind the male, and all the first one of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt, such as I was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of God shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that he may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And listen to what he said in verse 8. And all these thy servants, they shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee. And after that, I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in great anger. He said, all of you are coming to bow down to me. Did it happen? Oh, yes, it happened. Exodus chapter 12, verse 30. And Pharaoh rose up in night, and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. There was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night, and said, rise up and get forth from among my people, both she and the children of Israel, and go and serve the Lord as you have said. Also take your flocks and your heads, as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. They are now asking for prayers. Pharaoh's are stubborn enemies requiring a very strong hand. As you can see from this story we read in Acts 16, God never panics. God foresees everything before they happen. God provides a perfect solution to a problem long before it occurs. If there is any problem you are encountering now, God knew about it a long time ago. He has prepared a solution to them. God solves a problem before it arrives. The solution may not appear when you want it. But if you continue trusting the Lord, the solution will come in God's fullness of time. Why? Because as a matter of necessity, the evil must bow before the good. No matter how long it takes. God does not arrive at the scene of the problem too late. He did not come late for Lazarus. And Lazarus' miracle made him the most popular man in town. Lazarus' miracle shocked his friends and surprised his enemies. God did not come late. God will not come late for you. There is no situation anybody is going through that can defeat the almighty God. You need the earthquake of deliverance today. When you arrive at your midnight, you need it. When there is a strong man in charge of your case, you need it. When there are powers boasting against you, you need it. When there are fearful enemies threatening you, you need it. When you have loud enemies like Goliath, you need it. When the enemies are mocking your prayers, you need to pray for the earthquake of deliverance. What is the key for provoking your earthquake of deliverance? Key number very important. Your attitude must receive the touch of God. The attitudes to life, attitudes to problems, attitudes to what you are going through, that attitude is very, very important. A negative attitude will not get you anywhere. The attitude of Paul and Silas was that, well, God brought us here, he will deliver us. The attitude was that no matter what they do to us here, we are serving God, our God, we, still, we are still loyal to him. 
a lot of people get defeated every day by the kind of attitude to life, the attitude they put up. A lot of people, whenever they are passing through one tribulation or the other, it is written all over their face. They don't talk to nobody. They don't smile at anybody. They just get depressed. Attitude. Some, whenever they have a kinds of things facing them, what they do is just, they just take sleeping tablets and sleep off. Attitude. Some will be shouting at everybody around. It's attitude. Attitude. These men had a positive attitude. They believe in that song we used to sing that through the love of Christ our Savior, all shall be well. They believe in this song, one of our songs in these 70 days, which says, Faith does not know about dark tomorrow, for our Savior goes before. Many of us, we just need, we need to change our attitude. Change our attitude and become positive. Two, Paul and Silas were alert men. We must be alert, alert spiritual alertness. At midnight, they said, they started a prayer meeting. Key number three is praises. Praises. Plenty of us come late for the praise worship. Even sometimes when we sing, when we praise, some we are not interested. Some don't have him books. Sometimes some people don't even open their mouths. They let them start prayer. It's prayer I came here for. I didn't come here for all these songs. I came here for prayer. Let them pray. I want my problem to go. Let them pray. The Bible says he's, God is glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. The Bible says praise executes vengeance against our enemies. The Bible says through praises we have the key over kings and nobles. The Bible says praise is even a cure for a broken heart. The Bible says praise will remove all binding spirits. The Bible says praise brings down the manifest presence of God. And as you can see in this passage, Praise can secure your release from every prison. Attitude, alertness, praises, purposeful praying. That's number four. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises in the prison. And as they praised God, in spite of their situation, the earthquake of deliverance was released. I have a word from the Lord for some people here who have been going through very, very hard times. And they have been asking question, where is God? Where is God? If you will pray from your heart here this morning, the God of the suddenest whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. And all of a sudden, those who saw you yesterday, and they see you again today, they wonder whether you are the same person. If you will pray from your heart and believe God, glory be to the name of Jesus. Bow down your heads now. Tell the Lord, at any sin that would disturb my earthquake of deliverance. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Talk to the Lord now. Amen. Now, Christianity is a practical thing. The power of God is a practical thing. The Bible says, if any of you shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says shall come to pass. The Bible made an outstanding sweeping statement. It says, It shall be so. The same thing. The same power that visited the prison of Paul and Silas can visit whatever spiritual prison you are in now. The prayers I want you to pray now. Don't allow anybody's voice beside you to overshadow you. You are not here to play. He is not here to play. There are some here this morning. If they will pray these prayers with their heart, their enemies will begin to run elter scatter. Not only that one. A strange picture will begin to play before their face. And those who have been masquerading before you will expose themselves. And all of a sudden, as we pray this prayer, the spirit of the end of the year breakthrough will be released in abundance and will be moving in so many lives. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? Earthquake of deliverance! Allah! Fight for me now! 
in the name of Jesus. Power of God has started to move. His power started to move. Amen. Amen. Well, I stop you. I stop you because some don't understand this prayer. If you understand it, you pray it like a mad prophet. If the earthquake of deliverance will fight for you now, the first thing that will happen is that you will be delivered. Then your deliverance will bring many deliverances. Your breakthrough will bring many breakthroughs. So that those who are attached to your destiny will not die unfulfilled. Try and understand what we are saying now. Many who are here this morning already as far as the Almighty is concerned. The Almighty is disappointed. Because the level he wants you to be is not where you are. Therefore, you can't help the people God has assigned to you to help. What you are supposed to have is not what you have. So, you can't help those who you help. You are giving testimony that God is doing great things for you. We thank God. But in God's arithmetic, that may be the most junior, the simplest thing that he just asks for you. God may say, go to level 40 and you are giving testimony on level 10. This is why we set us free so that others too can be you shouting it at quake of deliverance. Allah, fight for me now in the name of Jesus. Let there be an arising of the earthquake of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let the uncommon begin to take place. So that the people of God can move to where you want them to be. In the name of Jesus. 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 Masikaya Boshende Rabokotunda Kaya Boshanda. Ribo Soponda Kenta. Makaribo Kosoponda Kaya Boshente Raba. Bakatonde kapela ke ya boshente ya ba. Desembo kotende kapala boshanta. Opu ya ma, japu ya ma. That's why Jesus brought you here. Continue, 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 continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Some things are going to happen to some particular people I'm going to describe now. A ten persons here, and may have been pursuing you all your life. The magnet in your body that they are using to pursue you is being taken out now. Ten persons. Six sisters are here. Medically, the worldly doctors have written you off. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that which they say is not possible for you. It's been made possible now. Yes, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Yes. Aha. Aha. Silence, beloved. Uh, Twelve persons here. A white garment prophet wash your head thereby washing your virtues away and those of your children where you are now you know yourself the power of God is coming upon you and the yoke of that stolen virtue is broken completely virtues stolen in the dream can be returned to the owners now let there be silence somebody right at the back there the way you can recognize yourself is that you are wearing a mixture of red and white. A, a personality entered into your life when you went to a strange place. It's, it's a dark, tall, giant man. There is a separation going on between you and this dark creature. It's being pulled out of your body. Let me wait for that to be completed. This is a very strange occurrence. Yes, the earthquake of deliverance is shaking 
the warehouse of the enemy of many are hidden and the money is being shaken out back to you that's right that's right shout this loud and clear ancient prison door in my family life is all the loudest you can shout this important prayer. I'm sure you can say it louder than that. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break them. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Bosekatenda kapola kaiba, ria bosia bokapanda kanta, mane setenda kaya boshenta. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Enough is enough. Today is today. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Masika poya boshenda rabokora bakara bosanta. Aha, 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 aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus, then we pray. Silence again. Oh, yes. They want you to die. But the arrows of death has gone back to the senders now. And the strange voices that have been summoning you, they've come back to the senders now. That's right. That's right. Say this loud and clear. At quake of deliverance! Can you shout this louder than that? Kill my problems today. Can you say that loud and clear? Make it louder than that. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening. Something is happening. Let the problems die. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Be released from the dark cages. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Someone is here. Your stepmother, unfortunately, was a witch and had completely swept off any good thing that wants to come into your life. You, that person, right there where you are, the power of God is hitting you. It may be difficult for you to stand on your feet, but don't worry. Because that thing that has been stolen from you is being taken back into position. 
Yes, there's a power of God coming upon you. That's right. This next prayer is a command. It's a proclamation and it's a confession. Root of captivity in my life. In the name of Jesus, deal with the root now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. Makapora boko soponde kaya bo shanta. Makapanda sende kaya bo shanti rabaka. Da sembe kotonde kapo. Bori boko pola kasanta yaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, right there where you are, pick a song of praises in your mouth and begin to sing it loud and clear. To the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. To him who alone do great things. To him who understands all things. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to your holy name. Amen. I'm bold, I'm strong, for the Lord my God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong, for the Lord my God is. Hallelujah, not afraid. Hallelujah, this man, because I'm walking faith and victory, because I walk. In faith and victory for the Lord, my God is with me. I'm strong for the Lord, my God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong for the Lord, my God. Is Hallelujah! No, no. Hallelujah! Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and for the Lord, for the Lord, God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong. For the Lord, my God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong. For the Lord, my God is. Hallelujah, I'm not afraid. Hallelujah, man. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith. For the Lord, for the Lord, my God is. I'm bold, I'm bold, I'm bold. Hallelujah, no. Hallelujah, no. This way, because I walk in faith, impossible. To put your cup of faith on now. Every prayer you are going to pray now, to which you should not allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours, as a miracle attached to it. It will be dangerous to keep quiet because you don't know whether you would say maybe it's not relevant to you. For the next few minutes, let your full concentration be here. Pray with fire and with power. This is manna water service. 
40 prayers, 40 miracles. Make your voice louder than anyone around. Prayers! Assigned to turn my body to rags. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray it. In Jesus' name we pray. We have few minutes to pray, so you have to concentrate and pray hard. Any satanic joy about my life expire in the name of Jesus. Command the satanic joy about your life to expire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Any good oil stolen from my head. Can I hear the sister shouting in anger? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? my head now in the name of Jesus gather back to my head now it's happening it's happening it's happening in Jesus name we pray my destiny become a the enemy in the name of Jesus command your destiny to become a terror to the enemy in Jesus name we pray this next prayer we send over 200 arrows back to the senders Wanting me to be a candidate of incurable disease. Can you shout it with a threat? What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. I refuse to be a candidate of incurable disease. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. They are going back to their senders. Powers. Seeking for my shame. Before I leave this place. Death. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Tie me down with failure at the edge of success. Can you say it loud? Powers! In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father. My father. enemies run when no one is pursuing them. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them begin to run when no one is pursuing them.
In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this last time. Every time in my dream. Oh God appear and defend me. In the name of Jesus. Every time in my dream. Oh God appear and defend me. 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 Mashika soponde ke yaboshende rabasanda. Ribo soponde ke yaboshenta. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Communication gadget of darkness. Can you say that loud? Transferring my information. Can I hear you shouting that? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through over there. Jesus name we pray there are some young ladies here find their way to the altar very quickly your former boyfriend issued curses on you and you can see that the curses are happening to you now run quickly to this altar and be on your knees everybody will shout this loud and clear camera of darkness Shout you with hatred. Taking my pictures in the dark world. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Set the camera on fire. we pray before you start this next prayer stretch your right hand forward father let the power of deliverance and the anointing of the lion of Judah come upon these hands in the name of Jesus let these hands become the battle axe of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus as you pray this prayer be smiting your head seriously. Negative powers programmed into my head jump out and die. Negative powers programmed into my head jump out and die in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. I'm counting seven from here and they will begin to jump out violently back to where they came from yes that person over there you're a student but your head is not your head but as they, at the count of seven they will all begin to rush back to where they came from silence one two three four Thank you, Jesus. The next three prayers. If you are not going to get violently angry, don't pray them. Wait till we finish praying these next three prayers. Powers! Assigned to use my life as a dumping ground.
दस Jesus name we pray Which craft matter Pounding my destiny Break on the head of the pounder Which craft matter Pounding my destiny on the head of the panda in the name of Jesus Jesus in Jesus name we pray with authority and power shall they say every demon sent to delay me i bury you now in the name of jesus jesus something is happening here Jesus then we pray lay your hands on your chest as you shout this loud and clear satanic bullets lodging in my body but for in the name of Jesus yes then we pray time table of the enemy to kill me say it with hatred before I leave this place back for in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through today This is not a night to negotiate. You cannot negotiate. Ba se pete la kaya bo shendera bo kosenta. In Jesus name we pray. This prayer is for men and women of faith. Can you pray this strange prayer loud and clear? my father send angel gabriel to announce my deliverance in the name of jesus Open your mouth, 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 open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power sitting on a mat against my glory. Can I hear you shouting that? In the name of Jesus. Aha. If they are sitting on the mat against your glory. In Jesus name we pray. 
every good in the manger of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone going to the mountain to curse me? Can you say it loud and clear? Mountain! Swallow the person. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. So powers say no to my next level. You are a lad. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. This is a time to decree. In Jesus' name we pray. If you love your family, pray this prayer with fire. Every witchcraft inspiration in my family. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Scatter the witchcraft inspiration. Yes. Jesus name we pray are you tired you better double your effort because the next prayers we are going to pray now will break the yoke of closed doors break the yoke of backwardness break the yoke of stagnancy powers assigned to make my prayers powerless can you shout it loud? Thunder of God! Strike them! Yes! Today is today. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Handing over my blessing to the enemy. Your time is up. Handing over my blessings to the enemy. Yes. Bakatenda yabo shenderaba. Jesus name we pray evil altars calling my name kill your owner in the name of Jesus aha aha in Jesus name we pray any power shedding blood to disgrace me can you say that loud and clear power of God disgrace them now in the name of Jesus There must be disgrace. In 
Jesus name we pray this is one of the most serious prayers you have to pray here today I want to specially appeal to everyone praying that they must not joke with these prayers powers transferring the pains of my parents to me carry your Lord and die in the name of Jesus Carry your Lord and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers programmed to marry me to poverty. Before I leave this place. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Makate setende yabo shentera basanda. In Jesus name we pray. Any power signing my glory. Can you shout that loud? Scatter! In the name of Jesus. My glory is not unsaved. In Jesus' name we pray. Voices of thou shall not prosper. Expire! In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus. Jesus name we pray powers are signed to complicate my life can you say that with hatred I bury you now in the name of Jesus aha aha in Jesus name we pray Every strange hand glued to my star. Can you say it loud? I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. Strange hands glued to my star. I cut you off now. In Jesus' name we pray. Place your hand on your belly button and shout this loud as loud as your voice can carry. Arrows fired into my life from the womb. Can you shout it loud? Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We can't elders. Your time is up. Let me go. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Every 
one satanic bird eating my blessing for meat and die. Can you say that with hatred? In the name of Jesus. Aha. Vomit and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Aaron! Remove me from every witchcraft bus stop. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray you have three more prayers to pray let your voice be the loudest please don't negotiate this is not a night to negotiate powers that want me to be a slave to my juniors can you shout it loud your time is up Jesus yes in Jesus name we pray two more prayers two more prayers the Angels are rounded up. It's better for you to round up to with fire and with power. Every Jericho warfare assigned against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. The Jericho warfare scatter them in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray Pass! that want my voice to expire sisters are you in this service can I hear you shouting this loud do you understand this prayer point can the sisters shout it again Brothers, let me hear you worry like thunder. Die! In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. This is why you are here. But satanica, but polica tende ke yabo shende raba. Louder, 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 louder. E we pray. A seven for the man. Thank you, Jesus. I want to congratulate all those who pray those prayers. Because certainly as the Lord lives and his spirit is alive, you must have testimonies. Father, we thank you once again for tonight. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your power, which is the greatest power. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for what you have been doing at the manor water services. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Papota le katendeke. Ribo polia le katendeke yaba. La kasentendeke yaba. 
Father, everyone who has gathered in this service, whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it's convenient for the enemy or not, whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it's convenient for your friends or not, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of our Father Jesus Christ, shall arise and tear your lion like enemies to pieces. In the name of Jesus, good doors that are beyond men's understanding shall open unto you in the name of Jesus. And wherever you go, the glory of God shall speak for you. He 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 shall speak for you. In the name of Jesus. The power of the God of this mountain shall establish your promotion. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. We continue with our series, which is of great concern and which we have been dealing with for a while now baptized by fire. In Luke chapter 3, verse 16, Luke 3 16, see what the scripture says. Luke 3 16. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. More than at any other time, we need to have fire in our bones. We need to receive what is known as the baptism of fire. When believers get to this level in their relationship with heaven and in their relationship with fellow men, things begin to happen. In fact, life becomes more interesting. More than at any other time, whether you are an adult or a young one, you're a student, you need that baptism of fire. If you are tired of the enemy pushing you about, you need that baptism of fire. If you want to move to the level where the enemy sees you and flees, you need that baptism of fire. We need that baptism of fire now. We need it much more seriously in this strange generation in which we find ourselves. Look at it very deeply. Demonic activities are now fully blown everywhere. They are not even hiding it anymore. There are not enough fire to deal with them. Because there are not enough people without fire. Demonic activities have now enveloped everywhere. They've taken over every industry. Schools, they've taken over. Judiciary, they've taken over. Government they've taken over. Economy they've taken over. If believers do not move into this level I'm, I've been trying to describe to you, it will be very tragic. You should be tired of this kind of Christianity you say you are carrying. You should be tired. You should, when, if you read the Acts of the Apostles from chapter 1, I begin to read. If you, by the time you get to the level, the half, half of the book, and then you take your eyes off the book, and use your eye to scan the Christianity we have now. You will shake your head in shame. You shake your head in shame and wonder what is going on here. Why are people not interested in what will move them forward in a new way? Why can their eyes not open that there is nobody, nobody, nobody who will receive the baptism of fire and will ever be broke again in this life. Nobody will receive that kind of baptism. When you get to that level, you don't look for money anymore. Money looks for you. Looks for you. Wherever you go, 
it looks for you. But when you don't pursue that one, you are pursuing useless things. That does not make sense. Then you remain where you are. This is a very serious matter. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. All, all, all other things. Everything was banned. Wife, house, money, every other thing. Good health shall be added unto you. The reverse is also true. If you don't seek it first, those things too will not be added. And this is where we are. That's where the problem is. We need that fire now. Deep sin. Deep sickness. Deep diseases. Deep curses. Untold problems. And now all over the place. All over the place. The kind of sin you've never had before. A woman was said to see me crying. She doesn't come to Martin of Fire, but one of her friends said, well, I don't know what else to do. Go and see them in that place. She was going to work. And at the bus stop, something kept telling her, go back home, go back home, go back home. She tried to shake off the thought. It refused to be shaken off. So she said she went home. When she got home, somebody said, go to the bedroom, go to the bedroom. When she was moving close to the bedroom, she was hearing strange sound. Then she got in. What did she see? Her husband was sleeping with their first daughter. She broke into the room. Both of them saw her. And they didn't stop. They just continued as if she was not there. So she went to the sitting room and started crying. She still cried for about 10 minutes before they came out. And when they came out, the daughter spoke to her. Said, Mommy, mind yourself. If not, you will leave this place for me. What kind of deep iniquity is this? Deep iniquity. Deep iniquity. And the man is a dick king in his church. And the first daughter they are sleeping with is a praise worship leader. What kind of deep iniquity is this? You need that baptism of fire. There is nobody who will receive baptism of fire. And a kidnapper or ritual killer will slap you and hypnotize you. It's not possible. It's not possible. If they try it, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. You need that baptism of fire. Can you raise up your right hand? And with the loudest voice in this meeting now, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Jesus. Let your voice be loud. The fire, the fire, the fire. The fire, the fire, the fire. In Jesus' name we pray. More than at any other time, we need to graduate from baptism in water to baptism of the Holy Ghost to baptism of fire. Many people speak in tongues, but the tongues have no fire. They are using the speaking in tongues to energize themselves. To charge their own internal battery doesn't have enough fire to fight any battle. We need that baptism of fire. There is plenty of suffering in our world. We need that baptism of fire. Occultic and satanic prophets are now openly displaying their powers. There are even countries in Africa where the wish doctors, native doctors, they don't stay in the house. They will roam around the street like newspaper vendors. So you call them inside. Anytime you want to consult the enemy, they are displaying their power. 
There is a general decrease in godliness. General decrease in honesty. General demotion of moral values in both churches and states. Satanic prophets are selling their wares all over the place. But the strange phenomenon is this. The strange phenomenon is not all these things that are happening. Because the Bible says, because iniquity shall increase. Iniquity shall increase. So the Bible has said, iniquity will increase. Because there is increase in that iniquity. So that's not a strange thing. That the iniquity is increased, all kinds of things are happening. But the strange phenomenon is there are believers who can command these things to stop but they do not have sufficient fire for the enemy to respect what they are saying and stop in fact some Christians it's when they are saying enemies should stop enemy will increase there is a problem why? those who should collect fire are still struggling with sin whereas if they will collect the fire this is what will confirm the word of God and the ability of God to do wonders. If they collect the fire, the fire will make them demonstrate the power of God. The fire will make them destroy the works of Satan. It will make them overcome the load of darkness. It will make evangelism easy. It will make them to paralyze satanic plans for their own lives. It will bring accelerated growth to their lives. But no, it's not happening like that. This is a lamentable tragedy that many Christians can be tied to a company of the uncircumcised. A company of the uncircumcised. And once the Bible puts you in that company, all your shout of superiority over the devil is a waste of time. All your down, up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan, is yes, yes, a waste of time. But then you're a company of the uncircumcised. A company of the uncircumcised. You are doing what the uncircumcised people are doing. They are going to their parties. They are living their lives. They are speaking their language. They are doing their fornication. They are doing their adultery. Now there is Goliath. All of a sudden, he began to shout. Receive fire, receive fire. They will shake their head. So, but we are in the same company. The company of the uncircumcised. The company of the circumcised. And the Bible didn't leave us in darkness. See? In the last days. In the last days, I will pour out. They say I will give. He's going to pour. No, there's a difference between somebody giving you water or somebody pouring water all over you. So I will pour. I will pour. All flesh. In the last days. Pour for my spirit. Your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. Your sons, your daughters, they shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision. Your old men shall dream dreams. Even on your maid servants and men servants will I pour my spirit and they shall prophesy. That's what the Bible says. But is this what is happening? I there are no people here, young people who are as far, 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 far from God as heaven is far from the earth. The sins their great grandfather have not committed, they are committing it. And so, they are now trying to bind the enemy, which is not bindable now. And this is a very, very serious matter. Two weeks back, they said the rich also cry. Two weeks or so back, two weeks before my last trip, in Lekki. That's why the parents lived. They said they would like to experiment. How one can sleep with three women at a time. And he brought in three women at a time. And was sleeping from one woman to the other. That was the day till daybreak. But what he didn't know, that all the three women he brought in were marine queens. So he, he, he walked on them till he was tired. All of them slept in the morning. All of them slept on the same bed. Four people. In the morning, when he woke up, all three women had disappeared. There was the only one left in bed. And he didn't know when they stood up. Didn't know where they went. But that is not the news. The news is that his male organ had disappeared. Stress, nothing there. I said, I'm butting your trousers. Let me see. I saw it. It was just a tiny hole there. It's gone. 
I said, man of God, what do I do now? I said, boy of God, what are we going to do now? Press it in. It's there now. We need that baptism of fire. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. Why are you talking? What is the matter? All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight and you are not born again, you've not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? Say what I'm going to say now after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Find a way to this altar here. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, beloved, while all eyes are closed, there is prayer I want you to pray for your life. Pray it with fire and with power. Say this loud and clear. Blood of Jesus! My life is available. Sanitize my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray stretch your right hand towards this one father enough is enough of every witchcraft sponsored infirmity enough is enough of evil materials moving in the body enough is enough of evil feeding in the dream that led to problems let your fire fall upon this hand in the name of Jesus let this hand become the hand of healing the hand of deliverance the hand of power the hand of healing the hand of deliverance the hand of power the hand of healing the hand of deliverance the hand of power in the name of Jesus if you came here with any infirmity smite the place seriously and hard in 21 times shouting go back to your sense go back to your sense Let's go! what is happening. Do it well. Do it well. Yes. Aha. Aha. Smite the ulcer plate out of your body. Amen. Check your body now. The Lord has healed so many people. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. If you find that your infirmity has disappeared, Please, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar here. The power of God is still moving in the midst. Woman, check that problem you brought here. It has vanished. Do what you could not do before. Run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Find a way quickly to this altar. Something strange has happened to one woman over there. Don't, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Just run quickly to the front. Come and tell them what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. Pass! Assign to rubbish me. Can you say it with anger? What are you waiting for? Tell! In the name of Jesus.
Open your mouth and say it. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, if my ancestors have sold my virtue before I was born, can you say that again? Say it loud and clear. Mercy of God. Return my virtue in the name of Jesus. name we pray every egg of darkness in my life break in the name of Jesus begin to break those eggs Jesus in Jesus name we pray now we have arrived at the arena of the prayer of fire. If you have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, begin to pray violently in tongues. If you have not, just begin to cry these prayers to heaven. Holy Ghost fire! Overshadow oh my life! In the name Jesus. Aha, aha. Basopotalia kaya boshenda. Ribo soponde ke yabo shente la boko pola baka. Balaka tende ke tele ke yabo shente. Boli ke taria li katonde ke yabo shende la basanda. Overshadow my life. Maka sete la ya. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Masekate. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that's a fire. It's coming upon so many people. That's a fire. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bring out your mana water now, beloved, and let your amen roar like thunder. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this mana water. And we thank you for your grace, your love, and your care. Let the fire, power, glory, strength, mightiness of the Lord move into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, water of deliverance. Lord of power, Lord of glory, let every particle of this water carry the power of breakthrough, healing, and deliverance. In the name of Jesus, wherever this water enters, let it become terror to the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of ease, anointing of breakthrough, anointing of fire, 
enter into this water in the name of Jesus. And I sanctify the water. The name of the Father. The name of the Son. The name of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Father, the prayer requests are answer them by fire. By the time we get down for another manna water, let the testimony of everyone be massive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy are for us. All the days of the Lord. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I must say it's a joy to be here tonight. I express the appreciation to the director and the planning team and the workforce of the director. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. What is it tonight? I'm not here to preach to anybody. I'm here to fight. We are here to fight against any power that does not want you to move forward. We want to fight against any power that is against this institution. I want to fight against any power that is contesting your destiny. So as I'm standing there, I will need your prayer. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So anything you are going to do here tonight, do it aggressively. Do it with all your heart. Amen. I want you to sing this song to the glory of the name of the Lord. Let your voice be loud as you sing this song to the glory of God. Let nobody's voice overshadow your voice. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing in that of you.
Let's close our eyes. And let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Thank you so much. Praise God. God bless you. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this gathering of your champions here. Thank you for this special gathering of your children here. Thank you for this institution. Thank you for the leadership of the institution. Thank you for what you have been doing in this institution. And thank you for what you shall continue to do in this institution. Father, we are gathered here to you tonight. Your word says, unto you shall the gathering of your people be. Lord, as many of your children as are here tonight, let them be candidates of uncommon testimonies. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon your life tonight that any challenge that you have been going through, any trouble the enemy has been bringing your way, any infection in the land of your life, any problem in the land of your life, right now as I'm praying, receive divine solution in the name of Jesus. Let the power that breaketh every yoke break every yoke presented here tonight in the name of Jesus. It is written, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every eye thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity all thoughts to the obedience of Christ. Every stronghold presented here tonight, whether it is stronghold within whether it is strong or without, we pull them down in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud. And right there where you are, whatever breakthrough your destiny requires, receive it now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any power that has hijacked the destiny of anyone. Any power that has stolen the virtue of anyone. Any power that has stolen the brain of anyone. Right there where such people are tonight. Repossess your possession. Repossess them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Tonight, lay your hands upon us. Anoint us by your power. And I don't everything, let us glorify your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, the only one who is worthy to be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Where you are seated, I want you to turn to three persons and point to them and tell them, my friend, God shall pursue your helpers to you. Say it to three persons. Say it to three persons. Turn to three persons again and shout at them and say, my friend, your star will arise and shine. Say to three persons in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, finally, I'd like you to stand up. Look for seven persons and tell them any power that wants you to die shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. Say to seven persons. Shout hallelujah. Let's have a seat again. God bless you. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 68. I'm reading just the first verse. Psalm 68 verse 1. Provoking divine intervention. Provoking divine intervention. Psalm 68 verse 1. Ask this to say. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. 
let them also that hate him flee before him. I read that again. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before his face. A very popular scripture. A very powerful prayer. A very pregnant verse of scripture. Let God arise. And then let the enemies of God be scattered. Let them that hate the Almighty now flee from before his face. It was from this verse we got that popular song. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Now turn to somebody and say, let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Let God, let God. Amen. Provoking divine intervention. A time will come in a person's life. If the time has not already come, when the greatest thing you are going to need in your life is for God to answer your prayers. A time comes in the person's life when you've tried everything you know how to try and you find that there is no way out and you need to call down a divine intervention God is a man of war God never loses battles God has his way in the wind and in the wild wind God can do anything at any time for anybody God never lies. God cannot be put in a test tube and used as an experiment. God cannot promise and not fulfill what he has promised. These are characters of the almighty God. God does not recognize impossibility. In the dictionary of the almighty, the word impossibility does not exist. For the Bible says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. These are the characters of the Almighty. But another character of God is that God can be provoked into action. When you need for something to happen, when you need for miracles to happen in your life that will move your destiny forward, you can actually provoke the Almighty into action. I see somebody here tonight your prayer will provoke divine action. That amen is not loud enough. God can be provoked into action. When we say provoke, by provoke we mean to stimulate into action. Even if something didn't want to move before, provocation can move the thing to do what the thing should do. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I could remember as small boys in Yaba in those days. There used to be a place called Railway Compound. In the Railway Compound, there are beautiful fruits, beautiful trees, mango, everything growing there. So as small boys, we used to go there to pluck, to pluck mangoes. We arrive at this beautiful compound to pluck mangoes. Me and my friends. As we got to the compound, we were throwing stones at those ripe mangoes. We did not know that the owner of that house had a large bulldog. So the man just released the bulldog. From the corner of my eye, I saw this giant dog galloping towards us. What can I do now? Before that day, I have never climbed a tree in my life. But when I saw this dog coming, all I could remember was that I found myself at the top of the tree. How I got there, I did not know. The sight of the dog provoked me into action. God can be provoked 
into action. A time comes in your life. A time comes in the life of an institution. A time comes in the life of individuals. A time comes in the life of a family when what you need to move forward is divine intervention. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is God coming through the front door where you are expecting by the back door. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is for God to come at a time you do not expect him to give you a miracle. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is when you've tried everything you know how to try and nothing is working. All of a sudden, something happens and everything will change completely. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is when God sends a courier letter to all the enemies that are troubling your life and asks them to leave you alone. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is the God whom you serve to suddenly come into the temple of your life. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is for God to come to your help when man cannot help you again. Nothing can help you again. Everything they put together cannot help. All of a sudden, God comes in to help you. That is what is called divine intervention. I see somebody here tonight. Divine intervention is coming your way. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody here tonight. Your days of sorrows and tears are over. For there shall be divine intervention. There are some going through troubles they cannot share with people. They are going through silent crying. They are not crying outside. They are crying inside. Because they cannot talk to people about it. Tonight, there shall be divine intervention. Divine intervention is when God demonstrates his sovereign power. His power as the almighty is demonstrated on your behalf. Divine intervention is signs and wonders that you cannot explain. You don't expect it, but it has come now. You cannot explain. Divine intervention is miraculous experiences that will bring joy to your life. The Bible says, the God whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, God will suddenly come to the temple of somebody today. Divine intervention. This thing that I'm telling you happened in the Nairobi, Kenya. As a small girl, this small girl used to help the parents to sell oranges, banana after school. She came from a poor home. A poor home, but a prayerful home. There is a park, a park outside Nairobi in Kenya. A park. And outside that park, she plucks mango, she plucks things to sell. This girl did not know that she was about to be kidnapped by ritual killers. So these ritual killers, three of them, they kidnapped this small girl and bandaged her mouth. They tied her legs, put her down. Two of them stood by her. One went to get the car. This girl was shouting, but because her mouth was bandaged, she couldn't shout much. She was just making pee, pee, pee. He's trying to sh shout, but the bandage in her mouth did not allow her to shout. But as she was doing that, there was a murder lion in the forest. The murder lion was hearing this cry. The murder lion thought a baby lion was in trouble. So the murder lion came out and was marching towards these two men and the girl. When the men saw the lion coming, nobody taught them what to do. They fled. The lion went for the girl. As these men fled, they were feeling sorry for the girl. I said, oh, what kind of unlucky girl is this? We wanted to reach, reach her for, use her for ritual. Uh, we couldn't carry her away. Now a lion will eat her up. The men ran away. But when the lion got to this little girl, the lion laid down by her side and was watching her. Amen. Meanwhile, the man, the man who went to bring the car came. <laughs> when the man who went to the car came, when he went to bring the car, came and saw the little girl lying side by side with a lion. He to ran. So all the three kidnappers ran away. After about one hour or so, the forest guards, the forest guard now came with their gun. When the lion saw the forest guard appearing with their gun, the lion just walked into the bush and left the girl alone. That was our divine intervention saved that girl. I see somebody here tonight. 
divine intervention is coming your way. The Almighty shall arise for your sake. He will disgrace your disgrace. Then, if you are here, and enemies have put a limit in your life, they have told you this is how far you can go. This is how far they go in your family. So you can't go beyond this. You will receive power tonight. That will move you forward. In the name of Jesus. If you believe that, let your amen be loud. That's the power of divine intervention. Divine intervention is when God all of a sudden comes and does something in your life that your enemy will open their mouth and could not close it. Divine intervention comes your way when everything you know how to try, you have tried it. You've struggled, you've done this, you've done that, but you cannot find a way out. But God just comes and says, okay, that is what is going to happen to you now. Get it, get this, get that. And people who saw you before, when they now see you today, they wonder, where are you coming? Are you the same person? Then you become an argument. So this is so, so, and so. You say, no, it's not her. This is it's not him. That shall be your lot in the name of Jesus. Many years back, when I was in my, my former church, many, many years ago, a young man just came to me and said, uh, uh, Dr. Lukoya, God said, you are going to pray for me and I will get a scholarship and I will travel abroad. I said, but God has not told me that one. No. I said, but that's what God told me. I said, okay, what is my role in this matter? I said, God said you should be praying for me every day that I see you. So this man was coming to me for prayers. If I have plenty of people to see and I say, please go home. He said, no, sir, I'll wait for you to finish. Please go. I'll wait for you to finish. We prayed for one year or more. And he was coming every day. He got to a level. Sometimes when I see the man coming, I, I feel like running away. Because he was always coming. So you can imagine my joy the day this man came and said, Dr. Lukoya, I got a scholarship. This is my passport. This is my visa. I'm traveling. Ah, I was so happy for him. So, so happy. I said, kneel down. Let me pray for you. I prayed for him for 15 minutes so that he won't come back and trouble me again. So he now took his passport, took everything. He traveled. As he traveled, he landed in one airport. From that airport, he was to take another plane to the place he was going. Immediately, he landed at the first airport as they were coming out of the aeroplane. Police were waiting. Immediately, he came out. They said, this is a man. And they arrested him. They put handcuffs in his hand and they were leading him away. It was very embarrassing. It was very shameful. As they led him through that foreign airport, he was shouting loud and clear to anybody who could hear. He said, ha, 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 ha. Upon all the prayer that Dr. Lukoya pray for me, this is what has happened to me here. Ha, ha. Upon all the prayer. I'm sure in that airport, they'll be wondering, who is Dr. Lukoya? Why is this man shouting upon all the prayer? Anyway, they locked him up that night in the police cell. He cried throughout the night. It was in the morning when he woke up and he saw the newspapers and he started dancing. The flight he was supposed to take from that airport to the next place had crashed. It had crashed. Everyone there died. In fact, they thought he was in the plane. Whereas they didn't know that he's been arrested. So when the police now came back in the morning, say, sorry, sir. Uh, mistaken identity. Say, uh, say, actually, say, actually, you are not the one we wanted to arrest. It's somebody else, but you just look like that person. Say, we're sorry. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. They were begging him. They were saying, we hope you will not take us to court. The man said, court. <laughs> God, don't you see the newspaper? So, that man would have died if not for that divine intervention. Divine intervention is coming your way today. Your life shall be a testimony to the glory of the name Jesus Christ. Your life shall be a testimony. That is what we mean by divine intervention. When you know that anytime you try to smile, smiles are disappeared. People are telling you to forget God. People are even mocking your prayers. 
Anytime you try to go forward, something is dragging you backward. Anytime you try to make progress, something will say, no, you can't go forward. Your eyes are already red from crying. Anytime good things want to happen, you have a very strange dream and everything you want to do just scatters. Anytime you think that something is going to work, expectation is just cut off. Anytime that uh, you gather amongst people and you are supposed to be celebrated, you find that they will be blaming you instead. There is something you need. You need that divine intervention. You have prayed, you have fasted, you've done all kinds of things, but it will appear as if the enemy is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Then you need a divine intervention. When you cry to the Lord tonight, because I told you we're here to fight. So this is a very short message. <laughs> when you cry to the Lord tonight and ask him to intervene, he can intervene in any way. If there are forces that do not want you to move forward and you call God to arise, when God arises, anything can happen to those forces. I see somebody here. The power that has been battling your destiny shall be buried alive today. That amen is not loud enough. The power of divine intervention. When the enemy has pushed you down to the zero level, there's something you call zero level. Zero level. Zero level is when you're gone. It's nothing you can get again because the enemy has pushed you to that zero level. Then you need that divine intervention. When people are already laughing at you and members of your family are saying that, well, <laughs> you have been praying. What is the result? What is the result of the prayer now? You need that divine intervention. The prayers of tonight, they are not prayers for gentlemen. They are prayers for those who are not ready to take no for an answer. Those who want to fight and possess their possession. I want you to understand that as you move from place to place, as you move from country to country, the powers that are controlling the place, they are different. As you move from nation to nation, the powers controlling nations are different. As you move from family to family, the powers controlling families are different. The kind of prayer that you, the Americans will pray is not the kind of prayer you will pray here if you want to get results. The Nigerian demon will not listen to your American English. The crude, illiterate demon will not listen to your Oxford accent. You need well-targeted well constructed prayers relevant to your environment to get results. For example now if you have ever gone to India in India you see plenty of hungry people, people who are in poverty, cows walking about cows fat cows, you cannot you cannot kill the cow because the cow is regarded as a god, as an idol that is their demon that they worship in Nigeria here we don't have that kind of demon in Nigeria here, even if you put cow at the front of your house and you don't look after it very well, you may wake up in the morning and find that the cow had disappeared. You could read in a foreign newspaper that somebody took a gun, he shot, he shot all the students in the class and then shot the teacher and shot himself. That is a foreign demon. That doesn't happen in Nigeria. That's not our demon. In, the, uh, in some countries abroad, a woman can take a baby and put the baby inside the oven and switch it on. Here, we don't do that. It's not our demon. The African woman will not put his child inside an oven and turn the oven up. up. No, that's not our demon. Our demon is that, that that mother will be drinking the blood, small, small, and will be taking the baby to the hospital. That's our own demon. <laughs> so, as you go from place to place, things vary. Oh, you could see that in many countries abroad, people commit suicide. Suicide is not a Nigerian demon. Many Nigerians do not want to die. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you this so you know how to, how to construct your prayers here today. Construct your prayers. If you, you, if you know the forces you are fighting, then you know how to pray. There was a day, <laughs> one general of us here, older than myself, called me on the phone. Dr. Lukoya, come, 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 come. Come and talk to my son, Theophilus. Theophilus wants to commit suicide. Dr. Lukoya, come, come, come. Come and talk to Theophilus. Theophilus wants to commit suicide. So I ran there. When I got there, I found them holding this young man. He said, let me die. Let me die. But when I looked at the man, the young man that is saying, let me die. Let me die. The rope was tied to his waist. Amen. 
So I now stood there laughing. I said, Daddy, <laughs> he doesn't want to die. <laughs> Those who want to die, they don't tie rope on the waist. <laughs> His neck, they put it. <laughs> he doesn't want to die. They say it's not a Nigerian demon. The other time, too, a one, one madam came to me and I said, Gio, last year I tried to kill myself. I tried to kill myself. I drank poison. I tried to kill myself. And, uh, but uh, I didn't succeed in killing myself. I tried to commit suicide. I said, ah, Why you wanted to kill yourself? Why did you do it? I said, I drank a whole bottle of Benilin cough syrup. I said, ah. <laughs> I said, Madam, don't they have battery charge at the front of your house? So if you really want to die, it's not cough syrup you will drink. They sell acid. Drink it. So that's not a Nigerian demon. So when we say pray today, know that the prayer, the intervention you are looking for, you are facing something that is locally attacking your life. And you should deal with it like that. That divine intervention is necessary when all the ways around you have been blocked, it's as if there is no way again. All of a sudden, the Almighty comes in and begins to help you. The Almighty will come and help you in a way that you yourself will know that it's not your effort, it's not your strength, it is Him that wants to help you. If you know that you are going to have divine intervention tonight, shout hallelujah! Let your amen be loud! Let me share one more testimony with you before I now tell you what to do. We had a sister, a medical doctor. She was supposed to take a final examination. That examination, you are only allowed to try three times. Once you fail the third time, that's it. In that examination, you'll be invited to a room. And a lot of professors will be there. And they'll be looking at you. They've been asking you questions. And once you fail, they will tell you you have failed. This sister took the exam first time, she failed. She took the exam second time, she failed. She had only one more chance now. She, she fasted for three days. She didn't eat anything because of this examination. So she now went to the exam all that day. The first person went in and came out crying. He had failed. Second person went in, came out crying. He had failed. With the first seven persons came out crying, they failed. It was the turn of this. In fact, the sister already started crying. Say, ha, ah, what kind of woman did they bring there today that are failing everybody? So she got inside. The professor said, Welcome. She couldn't answer. <laughs> they asked her the first question. She did not even understand the question. You know, it's when you understand the question, you begin to answer it. She didn't even understand the question. She was so confused. So uh, there was a patient lying on the bed, they were supposed to examine the patient. She was so, so confused. And she knew that she wa they were going to throw her out. So in her confusion, she was so confused. She held the patient wrist with her right hand and she was lifting up her wristwatch to check how many more minutes he had before they threw her out. As she lifted up her wristwatch and she held the patient wrist with one hand, all the seven professors shouted, yes, you got it, you got it, that is the answer, you got it. That's the answer. He said, all the students who came here, the first thing they were supposed to do was to check the pulse of the patient. He said, all of them did not check the pulse of the patient. You are the first person here who, should, who checked the pulse of the patient. She said, yes. <laughs> but she knew that she was not checking the pulse of any patient. She was just looking at her wristwatch to look at how many more minutes she had before they throw her out. That was how she passed the examination. God made that to pass and con God convinces her that it is not by your power. It is not by your strength, but I want you to pass this examination. That's why the Bible says, not by power, not by strength, but by my spirit, said the Lord. That's why the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. That's why the Bible says, the battle is not for the strong, neither is the race for the swift. When they say, get on your mark, get set, go, the first person to jump forward doesn't mean he will win. The battle is not to the strong, but not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. You could be talented and be a failure. You could be brilliant, but be a, fail be, be, be a failure. A lot of brilliant people have been crushed to death in their destiny. A lot of brilliant people have been made useless. So this is why you need to pray tonight for a divine intervention. 
He said, how do I secure this divine intervention? The first thing to do if you want all, the Almighty God to intervene in your situation is to surrender your life to Him. You may be living your life your own way. It will end to nothing. You will get nothing out of it. God has a plan for you and it's a good plan. And if you want Him to process that plan, you need to surrender your life to Him. You need to let the whole world know that you are now a child of God. So the first thing to do, surrender your life to Jesus. The second thing to do if you want a divine intervention is that worry must die in your life. Worry will keep you busy but it won't get you anywhere. Worry is a sinner brother of fear. Worry will just confuse your destiny, waste your life and do all kinds of things for you. The Bible says be careful for nothing. Worry must die in your life. The third thing you should do if you want divine intervention is to pray until something happens. You pray violent prayers until something happens. And that's what we want to do here today. Violent prayers. Not ordinary prayers. Violent prayers. Prayers to bring down the hands of God in any situation that the hand of God is. It will bring it down upon your head. Jesus is here. And his power is in this place. If you pray here tonight and you lose your voice, but there is divine intervention, <laughs> you have made a good bargain. But if you behave like a gentleman, when the Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. If you fail to become violent and you are allowed today to go, today, this kind of day will not come again. So make up your mind here tonight that, look, the enemy must bow or bend, and your land must be healed. Your land must receive deliverance. Make, it's a personal decision. You have to make up your mind. The Bible says the, man, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The last time I was here, I think I shared this with you. Anybody who has ever gone to worry to preach, we know that in worry, when you speak English, somebody speaks pidgin English. In worry. So I got to one of our churches to preach in worry. And they gave me this interesting interpreter who was interpreted to pidgin English. So I began to quote from the book of Isaiah chapter 35. I said, a highway shall be there and a way. It shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not move therein. The wayfarers, though fools, will not err therein. When I said the wayfarers, though fools, will not err therein. My interpreter said, hey, hey. the people where they work out for the road, even though they be mumu, they not go miss road. So I looked at him. I said, what you are saying is better than my English. Okay, I went on. I said, there are plenty of people here who are suffering from constant witchcraft attack. My interpreter said, hey, hmm, people, there are plenty here. Oh. We winch. It is soft, never been for their head. <laughs> Amen. And if you think about it, the Nepal bill will be constant, but the light will not be constant. And I went to this verse. As from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. When I said the violent take it by force, my interpreter said, the people will not go greedy. They will take them by greedy, greedy. Amen. How do you want to take it tonight? <laughs> the violent take it by by force. That is the kind of prayer that can bring divine intervention. Elijah was in a situation. Elijah spoke to the heavens to close the heavens. Said there shall be no rain or dew for three and a half years. Elijah shut the heavens and put the key in his pocket. Now the same Elijah wanted to bring down the rain. It now became more difficult to bring down. <laughs> so he started his violent prayer. Seven times, first prayer. Check. Say no, nothing yet, sir. Second time, check. Nothing yet, sir. Third time, check. Nothing yet, sir. Until he prayed seven times. And he prayed in a strange way. He put his head between his knees and was praying his violent prayer. His violent prayer brought the rain. The same man who had prayed before to bring fire from heaven now prayed again to bring water from heaven. The Bible says Elias was a man like us 
and he prayed fervently. I pray that tonight, the kind of prayer you will pray here will give you dumbfounding testimonies. In the name of Jesus, there was somebody who was in trouble. They were going to deport him from a foreign country. He had tried everything, nothing. I was about traveling out of that country when I got a phone call. She had a PhD in microbiology. I used to know her when we were students. They wanted to deport her and her children. So I now said, ah. I said to this money is a court case. I said, ah, but I'm traveling out now. I said, well, uh, pray for me, pray for me. We just pray that, oh Lord, oh God, arise and intervene. That was the prayer. And we prayed that simple prayer and left it. She said when she got to the court, they read a case. And as he read the case, the judge said, uh, yes, what is it? The prosecutor began to talk again. I said, shut up. He said this and that. I said, no. The woman wants to talk. I said, don't talk. Uh, and all the questions they were now asking the woman, the judge was answering it. <laughs> he said, you don't talk. You keep quiet. Let me answer them. So the judge was the one answering the prosecutor. He said, yes, and so what? Uh, this, that, 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 that is supposed to have details. I said, and so? Uh, how about this? He said, and so? The, the man tried the case. That was how God intervened in our situation. The power of divine intervention. Rise up on your feet now. This is a short message just to tell you the kind of prayers we need to pray. All eyes closed. We have very short time here again tonight. But I'm here to help you. I'm here to give you maximum assistance. If you are here tonight and you say, Pastor, <laughs> I want God to intervene in my situation. I don't like the way my life is going. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Uh, I'm only going to count 10. Once I finish counting 10 and you are not here at the front, then I believe maybe you don't want to surrender your life to Jesus. Then it will not be my fault if you don't allow the Almighty to repair your life or intervene, intervene in your destiny. So if you are here tonight, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to get born again. I don't want this kind of life again. I want a divine intervention. Just find a way. Just leave that seat and run very quickly to the altar here. Because once I finish counting, that means you don't want to do it. And then we'll go on with our program tonight. It will not be my fault, whatever happens. One, two, three, four, five. Jesus is still waiting for you. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine.
two persons that should join them here. God specially brought you here tonight. Because the enemy has given you a short time to live. But God brought you here so he can intervene in your life so that you will not die on timely death. Those two persons that sit here, they are not joining them yet. I'm just going to give you one minute to quickly come and join them. Don't waste time. God brought you here for that purpose. Leave your seat. You know yourself, those two persons. The enemy is already trying to kill you. So find a way to the front very quickly. Don't allow them to succeed in your life. That's why, that's why God brought us here. So come here quickly. Come and join them. You are supposed to be here. What are you doing in that place? Surrender, come and surrender your life to Jesus. Amen. Okay, sir. That's all right. Those of you at the front here, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. And your life will no longer remain the same. Just close your eyes where you are and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from tonight, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. And I thank you for this decision they've taken tonight. I pray that the decision will be permanent in their lives in the name of Jesus. The almighty God will keep you standing. His power shall be upon your life mightily. Beginning from today, your life shall have a divine testimony. Any power that does not want your life to move forward shall be disgraced. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I want to help you more. Look at look at these pastors over there. Just just go and join them for one minute, and then come back and join us. Just go straight to my right hand. God bless you. Just go straight to them. Straight. Just follow that man. God bless you. God bless you. I went on, cause I want to see my Jesus someday. On the mountain, in the valley, on, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, hallelujah. The Lord is not a shot in the land, of the living, the Lord is good for all. In the valley, on the land, and in the sea. I say, on the mountain, and in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah.
wherever you are now and ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will debar divine intervention in your life tonight whatever will not make God to intervene in your situation ask him to forgive you because the, this place has been surrounded by the angels of the living God and they have assignments to carry out anything at all that will prevent you from receiving that divine intervention ask the Lord to forgive you Jesus is here his power is in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The first prayer, in places where they had prayed that prayer very well, there is nobody who went on without testimony. And I want you to pray that prayer here tonight. This is not a time to joke. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. As we pray this first prayer, if you are in this meeting tonight and something has been telling you you are going to die, you are going to die, you are beginning to have strange dreams, sometimes dreams of dead people. Please, as we want to start praying this first prayer, find a way to this altar here and be on your knees so that that spirit of death can go back to the senders. You've been having strange dreams. Something is telling you you are dying. You are dying. Just find a way to the altar here and be on your knees. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. This is your time of deliverance and it will be a tragedy if you keep quiet while the miracle is going on. Everybody will open their mouth like fire and like, like thunder. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Please, this is a very serious matter. Not, this is not something you joke with. Let your voice be loud as we shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, any power that wants me to die. Can I hear you shouting that loud? Those of you at this altar, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody shout it loud. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It. Jesus is here. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. You shall not die but live to declare the works of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Those of you at the altar here, begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. As we shake it vigorously, the arrow of death will begin to fly out. Don't be afraid. Shake it, shake it. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. You have been harassing her for too long. Let her go. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. You the serpent power. Release her. Release her. In the name of Jesus. You the serpent power. Release her. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha. Yes. Arrow of infirmity. Get out. Get out. The arrow of infirmity. Out. 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 Out of infirmity, get out in the name of Jesus. Father, I commit this your children unto your holy hands. I decree upon your life that you shall not die but live to declare the works of Jesus. 
Any strange power pursue you shall be buried tonight. Beginning from tonight, the Pharaoh of oppression that you have seen, you shall see them no more. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Anybody on the floor, leave them on the floor. The Lord is still working on them. Anybody on the floor, just leave them on the floor there. The Lord is still working on them. The next prayer I want you to pray. As you pray this prayer, if you notice that you have been having problems with your brain, it's as if something is going wrong with that. Not assimilating. It is behaving funny. You are having strange headaches. Something is not right with that head. Run quickly to the altar here and be on your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every power dying with my destiny. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Let your voice be loud. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those of you at the altar, stretch your right hand towards me now. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, these hands that are stretched towards me here, let these hands receive the fire of God. Let his hands receive the power of God. Let his hands receive the anointing of God. Let his hands receive the power of deliverance. Let his hands receive the power of blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I suck your hands. In the name of Jesus. I suck your hands in the blood of Jesus. Now you are going to slap that head seven times with your hand. One. You are not slapping it. Something is happening already. That's right. You the serpent in the head. Come out. Three. Aha. Aha. Let that head go. Let that head go. Stop moving about in her head. Let her go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Father, I commit your children now into your holy hands. Beginning from today, power to be the head and not the tail. Receive it now. Any power contesting with your memory, any power contesting with your brain, any power contesting with your memory, Contesting with your intelligence. Makapota ribo sepinda kaya boshanda araba. Ribo lo kapila katsanta. Let the power depart now in the name of Jesus. Receive the fire. Upon that head now. Receive the fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. If you have been failing before, you will now begin to pass. If you have been average, you shall be catapulted to the top. In the name of Jesus. And any power that doesn't want you to remain at the top, I bury them now. In the name of Jesus. One more time. S slap that again. One, two, three, four. That's right. You must be released. That's right. Five, six, seven. 
Thank you, Jesus. Aha. The Lord has done great things in your life. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. There is power, power, one and walking power in a precious blood of the land. There is power, power, one and walking power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, one and walking power in the precious blood of the land. There is power, there is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. As you pray this next prayer, if you notice here, your dream life is a battlefront. Anytime you sleep is a battle. Strange dreams. Strange attacks. Find a way to this altar very quickly now. Because your dream life is your spiritual monitor. It tells us what is going on in your life in the spirit realm. Your dream life is a battlefront. Sometimes you're even afraid to sleep. Find a way to this altar here and be on your knees. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Everybody in this crusade, let your voice roar like thunder in this violent prayer. Any power! Assigned to waste my life. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate with the devil. This is not a day to negotiate. Not a day to negotiate. Not a day to negotiate. The power of God in the name of Jesus move. Amen. Something is going to happen to 35 persons. The wind of the Holy Ghost will flow upon you. And when that wind gets on you, you may not be able to stand on your feet. But what's going to happen is that any long term problem in your body will just vanish as that wind begins to blow. The wind is going to blow on 34, 35 persons. When the wind blows, that thing that has been tormenting you, that thing that has been harassing your life, all of a sudden it will fall off. Yes, that's the wind. It's blowing now. It's blowing now. It's blowing now. That's number one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, that's the wind. That's the wind. It's blowing upon you. That's right. That's right. Father, I'm praying now in this meeting. Anybody who is under the control of domestic witchcraft, anybody who is under the control of household enemies, be released now. In the name of Jesus. Be released now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children at the altar. At every witchcraft programming into their dreams, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Beginning from tonight, any dark power that ventures to enter into your dream shall be buried alive. Power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All the land. There is power, power, wonder, walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power.
violence in your spirit. Sing this song now before we go into the next prayer. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. 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 Connecting me to my miracle. Connecting me to my miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Your heart, your heart, your heart. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Holy Ghost connecting me to my miracle. Something is happening now. Something is happening now. for you, that you want the Lord to do to mark today. To the three things I say, well, when I came for the crusade at Yaba College of Technology, this is what I asked the Lord to do. Mention three things to the Lord now. I give you one minute to do so. Jesus is here. He says, open wide your mouth and I will feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The God that answered by fire shall answer you by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children here. And I thank you for the rector, his, the workforce, and this institution. Father, I commit this institution unto your holy hands. Soak it in the blood of your son. In the name of Jesus. Take control of everything that happens here. Today, let your power, your angels be deposited in this compound. Promote this institution. Bless this institution. Let darkness never find its way here. Let any darkness buried there be uprooted and catch fire. In the name of Jesus, let this place move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus, any power contrary to the power of God in this vicinity, beginning from tonight, this place is not your habitation. Get out in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, stretch your two hands to this altar here. Your two hands to me at the altar here. You need to stretch your hands to pray this prayer. Say, every good thing the enemy has stolen from my life, I possess them now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray it. Repossess them, repossess them. Possess them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep those hands straight towards me. And keep your eyes closed. Father, I'm praying for these persons who are here. Presently being controlled from the waters. That water power that is controlling your life. 
in the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, be released from their grip now. Anyone here being manipulated from the place of birth, right there where you are, the hand of God is coming upon you. The yoke of the manipulation, I command it to be broken now. In the name of Jesus, anyone here with any form of infirmity, I bind the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Silence now, beloved. There are 12 persons here. You are being controlled by witchcraft powers that wants to put a ladder in your life. They climb into your life the way they like. But those persons now, where they are, the power of God is going to come upon them. And that yoke will be broken instantly. That's number one. of failure. Walking against me. Drop! In the name of Jesus. Command the top to dry up. In Jesus. Say, my brain receive divine fertilizer. In the name of Jesus, pray on your prayer now. My brain, receive the Bible tonight. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, let me pray. Say this after me, sisters. Every power spending the night to pull me down. And the sister said this with only anger. Brothers, can you shout it louder by the sister? Oh, son! Throw them away. Can you say this loud and clear? Uh huh. In the name of Jesus. Let his son throw them away. In the name of Jesus. If you are standing in mind to put me down, let his son throw you away. Yes, continue, continue, continue. Continue, 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 continue. Aha, 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 aha. Papa Sata Kayaba Shanda. Riba Laba Kapanda Santayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. You open your mouth like fire again. Give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. Collect your portion. In the name of Jesus. Order arise. Give me my portion. Give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, let me pray. Say, oh, day, arise and curse any power stealing my portion. Stealing my portion in the name of Jesus. Any power stealing my portion, let it be cast them in the name of Jesus. 
Shenta Kaya Boshenta. Yes. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. <laughs> I wish you could see what is happening now. There is confusion in the heavens. That's right. Raise up your voice like fire again. Ah! In the second heavens. That is representing my family. Can you say this with hot anger? Uh huh. In the second. In the name of Jesus. Yes, enough is enough. Be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus. Second heavens. Break in the name of Jesus. Break the rod of affliction. In the name of Jesus. Masika chaya bo shente ya bo kolaba. Ribo saponde kaya bo ko shente ya ba kaya ba. Mapola bo ko shente ya bo ko shente. We are Paul like I said to you about. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Break the rod of affliction. 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 Masika teyabo shem teyabo. Say every mouth 
speaking against me with satanic anointing. Oh, Saul! Transfer their arrows back to them. Sisters, now say it loud and clear. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Say it with only anger. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this song loud and clear to celebrate what the Lord has just done here now. Sing this song loud and clear. Victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. We are victorious. from my life by the powers of the night. I will repossess you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they have stolen, repossess it. witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. Affliction of the day. Jesus, deal with that affliction. Affliction of the day. Command them to be dismantled and to be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your two hands forward now and let your amen be super dynamic. Within the next few minutes, some transactions will begin to take place here. Listen, what some people have lost for years, as I pray now, will be put right back in their hands. As I pray right now, the power that has stubbornly refused to give way for you for your breakthrough shall be completely cancelled. As I pray now, the terrible battles you have been going through and people have been laughing at you, all of a sudden there will be a change. As I pray this prayers now, all those things that are yours, that the enemy has been playing around with, you shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. And then, the agent of reproach assigned to pursue you. And they shall pursue themselves. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are the King of Kings. We thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. Father, I decree right now that every destiny robber, every, every breakthrough robber that has stolen from your people, right now, let there be a recovery. And as many people as are saying amen now, let them possess their possession. Possess your 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 possession. In the name of Jesus. Answered by fire. Every challenge the enemy is bringing away, let the challenge be scattered now. In the name of Jesus. And beginning from now, let good news begin to locate you on every side. In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here today, and wicked powers are toying with your destiny. I bury those powers now. In the name of Jesus. Masika Tenda Yabo Shinta. The river Saponda. In the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing my voice now. Right there where you are. Right there where you are. Let your angels of blessing begin to locate you. Be located. By your angels of blessing. Let the angels locate you. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray. That anyone in this meeting this morning, and already your life is going through an evil pattern, I command the pattern to die. Now, in the name of Jesus, and whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you must receive your deliverance today. In the name of Jesus. As we are sitting here this morning, each of us is either a victim of generational blessings or generational curses. You must decide to break it. Determine not to pass it to your children. Choose to pass blessings across your children. Choose that you will not pass curses along to them. I am praying for you as I'm standing here that anything that the enemy has against you and is using to allow curses to work upon your life, 
shall be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Let your amen roar like thunder. I pray once again that any family curse walking against anyone here by the power in the blood of Jesus break now. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent ticketed by this. Oh God, Allah! Use me to change my family history. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Now, power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha! Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Every curse in my bloodline. Can you shout this loud and clear? Die by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, witchcraft curses upon my family life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, come on, it causes to die. Which crowd causes along my body line? Yes. Kill the causes. Masapoko Telakayaba. The power God. In the name of Jesus. Move, 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 Release. Release. You have been in bondage for years. Your day of deliverance has come. Be set free. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. Aha. Those who are here today and the enemy has denied you your rightful possession, you are possessing them now. Say, ancestral Pharaoh, let my family go in the name of Jesus. Yes, 
Yes. Yes. Be released. 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 Ah 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 ah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Please pray with reckless violence. Satanic dedication of my family. Break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break that satanic dedication. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Basepoka tonda kaya boshanga. Break the dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh Uh-huh. I'm making progress. Sisters, shout this with with your loudest voice. Any power that pursued my parents and is now pursuing me. Can I hear the sister shouting that? I want your voice to be loud and clear. Your voice is not loud enough, my sister. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. What are you waiting for? Oh yes. Today is your day. This is not a day to negotiate. There must be no negotiation. Masete kaya bo shente la bo kopola ba. Bana kanta la bo sopola bo koya bo shente la ba. Rapa la katende ya ba. Jesus name we pray. Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Anything buried by anybody that is dragging my family down. Can I hear you shouting this? I want you at the front to roar like thunder. Everybody shout it loud and clear. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, move. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word from the Lord to somebody here. The Lord said this morning, He has sent His lifting power to lift you to your breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now shout this prayer before we continue. Shout it loud and clear. Collective captivity affecting my family life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. 
scattered the collective captivity. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Shout three victory, hallelujah. So many transactions are taking place here today. And I give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Shout it loud and clear. Amen. This is war now. Serious war. All eyes closed. Father, I'm praying for this person that you are showing to me now who has been swallowed by the enemy. Marriage swallowed. Finance swallowed. Right there where you are. Father, let the power that breaketh yoke fall upon this person over there. And let the person be set free. The powers that have swallowed you, let the powers vomit you now. Every distance that has been stolen from your life by the enemy, repossess your possession in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, these prayers, it will be dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous to lower your voice. It's dangerous to lose concentration. Can you shout this loud and clear? Occultic power. Calling my name for evil. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masapotali katandayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh Very good. I want you to increase your aggression. Every coven entertaining my case. Can you shout it loud and clear? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus, set them ablaze. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Set them ablaze. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh yes. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah. Every satanic prophet assigned against my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Bondage of my father's eyes. Bondage of my mother's eyes. What are you watching for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? And increase my speed. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that wants my family to suffer. Let your voice roar like thunder. 
Let your voice roar like thunder. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something is happening here this morning. Masa Katela Kaya Boshenda Raba. Aha, 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For those of you who want to key into the anointing of the overcomer, pray these prayer points with fire and with power. My Father, release unto me the angels of power. Do you understand that prayer? One single angel dealt with 185,000 of Sinakirubu soldiers. One, one, one. Said, My Father, release unto me. The angels of power. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say. That's right. Release unto me the angels of power. Them we pray. Amen. Say inherited battles. Hear yeah, the word of the Lord. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. name we pray as you have decreed in your mouth so shall it be in the name of Jesus every law that needs to be suspended that needs to be overruled for you to possess a possession for you to enter into your full scale laughter let that law be suspended and be broken now in the name of Jesus it shall be well with you the Lord will bless you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. And this week shall be a week of wonders for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Peace. 
Christ and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall reign forever and ever. Forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, and he shall reign forever and ever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, I raise up our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Make sure your voice is louder than anyone around you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the earth. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the earth. Voice be loud, be thou exalted, O Lord, above Hallelujah, let your glory be upon You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Sing it loud and clear. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Sisters, you are the awesome God.
Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Brothers, can I hear you singing loud and clear? You are the awesome God, the mighty God. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Praise your name. Everybody together now. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God. A mighty God. I praise your name. You are the awesome God. A mighty God. I will praise your name. Jehovah. 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 I will praise your name. Complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Complete. Hallelujah. Johan, 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 Johan. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire, fire again. The Holy Ghost. Fire. Send the fire. Send the fire, the Holy Ghost. Fire. Send the fire. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Fire burning in my soul. Sing it loud and clear, my brother, our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my sister, our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my brother, our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my sister, our God is a Lord God that has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. And they are by the hour. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Great and mighty God. Great in cancer, mighty in thee. Mighty in thee. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult. Behold. I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything? Hallelujah. Is there anything? 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 To have for me? Is there anything? Is there anything? To have. 
the fullness of thy God, thy bodily, dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of thy God, thy bodily, dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of thy God, thy bodily, dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In love that amen. Before you sit down, I would like you to pray these three strange prayer points. Don't say, I don't think this concerns me. It is safer to pray. Can I hear all the sisters here? Who are warriors for Christ shouting this loud and clear? Every charm poured on the ground to subdue me. Can I hear all the sisters are shouting that? Brothers, can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? Let everybody say it loud and clear. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. That's right. If it's part on the ground to subdue you, this is not a day to negotiate. That's right. Masekatende Yaboshende Raba. That's right. Masekaya In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Say, any vessel assigned to torment my life, go unto you. Can I hear you say that loud and clear? I want your war unto you to be very loud. Can I hear you say it again? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it loud and clear. Declare war unto the vessels. In the name of Jesus. Just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Say only God's fire challenge every stranger in my life. Whether it is infirmity, whether it is out of darkness, whatever it is. Holy Ghost fire challenge every stranger in my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you for your people you have brought here this morning in order to bless them. And thank you for the word of prophecy that has gone forth for this meeting. And as many people as have presented themselves at this morning's service, they shall receive a present from heaven. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, lay your hands upon us. Anoint us for great things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Let's have a say, God bless you. The mystery of the raging spirit. The mystery of the raging spirit. It is good to listen carefully this morning. And it is good to pray with volcanic anger. The prayer times may be short, but you must pray it accurately well. The mystery of the raging spirits. In Psalm 2, we've, we have read this morning and we've heard it in the song. In Psalm 2, we read verse 1 and 2 and a little bit of 3. Psalm 2 verse 1. So why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Every imagination of the enemy concerning your life shall fail. Uh -huh. Amen. Do you understand that prayer? Because it is imagination that sponsors action. But when a process dies at the level of imagination, it can't affect you anymore. I pray for somebody here again this morning. Every dark imagination against your life, your family, your business, your calling, this morning, that imagination shall fail. It shall fail. It shall fail. So why do and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against the Son of the Say, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. The Bible says, He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. Say, I shall laugh last over my enemies. Why do the hidden rage? There is the rage of the heathen energized by the raging spirit. In Psalm 7 verse 6, Psalm 7 verse 6, how do you cope with that rage? Psalm 7 verse 6 gives you a small idea. It says, Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because my enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. They are in their rage, but you too can invite the anger of the Lord against them. That is the heritage of the righteous. So there is the rage of the heathen, energized by raging spirits. There is the rage of the enemies here, energized by the same raging spirits. Now in Revelation chapter 12, Revelation 12, 12, Revelation 12, 12, says this, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the devil is coming unto you having great wrath. That is, he is in a rage. Now listen carefully. There is a raging battle on. The battle is going on right now. This is a battle where no one can be neutral. We are born into it and we have got no choice. You cannot opt out of the battle. There is nowhere to go. There is a battle, a raging battle going on. The battle between the right and the wrong. The battle between light and darkness. The battle between real and counterfeit. 
the battle between evil and good the battle between negative and positive it is a rage that is going on when we say rage we mean extreme anger we mean explosive anger we mean anger that is furious in intensity we mean agitation deep deep bitterness rampage great violence we're talking about a storm an uproar a flaring up it is going on now and we are all involved in it the world is not like a bus where you can get to the bus and say driver i'm going to this bus stop stop you are on it you are part of it you are inside a conflict whether you are aware or not is not important whether you are ignorant or you know about it, it does not it doesn't matter maybe you don't even believe that there is anything like witches wizards who don't believe in the spirit trap it doesn't matter you are still in the battle maybe you think that those of us who say them are just superstitious people don't worry just wait and see there is a battle going on it is a fiercely contested conflict satan is a trained strategist an obstinate fighter he will refuse to acknowledge defeat unless he must acknowledge that defeat even when you win at one war front he has a way of starting another battle at another war front the enemy yields only what must yield he yields only the ground you have taken from him so you two have to by step by step take the ground and you have to defend even the ground you have taken from there are battles and there are battles every geographical area whether it's africa europe whatever it is it has its own of war battle going on every family has a battle going on within every city has a battle going on within every geographical area has its own characteristic area and you have to understand it very well this is why you cannot preach an american message to a nigerian demon because they just will not listen to what you are saying i want you to get yourself prepared here this morning so that you can fight a good warfare as you go into next year the job of any true minister is a compassionate one and one of the saddest moments that i have is when you see the enemy walking on somebody and you try to help the person and the person cannot be helped the person refuses to be assisted somebody comes into you to, to you for prayers and you find angry spirit raging against it and you say what have you done what is your offense why are these spirits raging against you? It says that there is nothing raging against me. It does not understand. That's why you should be praying for pastors. Angry spirits that are fighting people. Sometimes after deliverance, after prayers, they go back to the ministers and accuse them of setting their captives free. That's one of the reasons you should pray for your pastors sometimes as a counselor when somebody comes to you you wonder in your head why are they so angry against this person one day a man came for counseling as he stood there he was surrounded by people in black attire tied to the chest right there in the counseling and all of them were very angry very angry against him curses against him and there he was standing with his three-piece suit didn't know there is a rage against it i'm praying for somebody here every rage of the enemy against your life that rage shall be quenched now in the name of jesus it shall be quenched in the name of jesus it shall be quenched in the name of jesus it shall be quenched in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i remember a case this young lady was the first graduate in their family and she made a first class they brought her for prayers when she told her parents 
but she feels like taking off her clothes, that the clothes are not comfortable. She first of all thought it was the wool which, which they used to make her clothes or the materials. She changed to several materials, including those of her junior sisters, but they were still itching on her body. She was uncomfortable. When the brother he says, sir, I feel like tearing them off. I feel like tearing them off. He says, something has to be done, sir. If not, I will tear them off. And we began to pray. Again, two women showed up and they said, excuse me, sir. What is your problem? What's your problem? Is this girl your daughter? Is this girl your family member? Is this girl even a member of your church? What's your problem? Leave us alone. Leave us alone. I said, but why? So the person who brought her to you was the one that handed her over to us. Can you close your eyes, beloved? And say this with violent anger. Every rage of darkness assigned to terminate my destiny. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. This is the time to pray. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Something is happening over there. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Many do not know that evil spirits, they can act in a rage. When they act in a rage, they exhibit unthinkable madness and unthinkable wickedness. But although they are acting in a rage, in spite of the fact that they are acting in a rage, they are doing their evil with fullest intelligence and purpose. You may look at them like a mad crowd, but it is organized madness, organized violence. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Every intelligent warfare assigned against you shall be scattered now. Let your amen roar like fire. Let your amen roar like thunder. Although they are in a rage, they are fully aware <laughs> of what they are doing. They, they, they know what they are doing. It's with sense. They operate under a serious rage of malice and hatred. I don't know whether any of you here have ever seen a mad cow. That is how they act as if they have no intelligence. But it's a lie. They are operating with full intelligence. That fury is mixed with determination. It's mixed with skillful methods. It is mixed with undeviating persistence. It is mixed with purpose. That's why the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Put it on. And try and understand, beloved. Maybe this is not clear. Or you have heard me saying this before. Listen, beloved. A spirit of witchcraft, a familiar spirit, marine spirit, can never, never repent. Never repent. Don't worry what all the faith preachers are telling you. A witchcraft power can never repent. Demons in actual sense, they defy God. They are never going to make people, no, they are going to hellfire. But they will go fighting. Evil spirits and powers of the enemy, those who operate in the dark, are beyond the realm of God. They will never agree to submit. And listen, they can never, never be pacified. Bring a goat to the village to give to the witchcraft person there is a lie. You can't pacify them. 
buy clothes, 12 yards of this, 12 yards of that, plus two bars of yam, give it to the witch calf in the village, maybe they will let you go. No, they will just change their strategy. They will just remove their tuberculosis and then put HIV. They can never be pacified. The only language the enemy understands is violence. The only thing the enemy respects is power. Any other thing is story, story, story. Once upon a time, 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 time. It doesn't work. I want you to understand this very, very well. The anger of the enemy is something that most people don't know. And they have destroyed so many lives. The anger of the enemy is sometimes inflamed when warfare prayers are on. Warfare prayers. Not the prayers of we beseech thee, O Lord, that thou mayest comfort thy servant. May it appear that thou art our Savior and mighty deliverer. Save thy humble servant who is a miserable sinner from the darkness of the night. And they say, we beseech thee, O Lord. Those prayers will not get you anywhere. In fact, by the time you finish, they have already finished with you. The entire science of the man saying it is already gone. There is plenty of arrows already inside the wrapper of the woman saying it. But when you give the aggressive command, the kind that Jesus gave to that demoniac in the synagogue, he spoke to him and said, shut up, get out. In the original Greek word, he said, be muzzled and get out. A muzzle is the leather wire they use to cover the mouth of an animal to prevent it from eating or biting. That's the language Jesus used. He said, be muzzled and get out. Because those are not kind words. Shut up and get out. The enemy rages, number one, when your destiny is colorful. He said, ah, why are they fighting against me? Why is my life like this? If you have a colorful destiny, you will get a big fight. I'm praying for somebody here. As many of you as are here this morning, and because of your colorful destiny, the battle raging against you has been so serious. Receive your victory today in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Enemy rages. Number one, when your destiny is colorful. They say men will always throw stones at the tree with fruit. If you are a nonentity, a celebrated zombie, somebody who is to achieve nothing, no enemy will trouble you. They, they leave you alone. Even ordinary malaria, they won't give to you. Because they know that you are complete, completely useless anyway. But as far as your destiny is colorful, you will get a hard fight. Any child too with a colorful destiny, they will begin to battle that child even from the womb. They will try and confuse that child. Look at the story of Joseph. Look at the battle. All because of his colorful destiny. I pray once again that if because of your colorful destiny, the rage against you is furious. Let that rage be quenched now in the name of Jesus. Let the amen roar like thunder. Let it roar like fire. In the name of Jesus. Number two. The enemy rages against you when you are seen as a danger to their activities. They see you as a danger to their activities. They know that as long as you are there, you will certainly overshadow them. And they don't want you to overshadow them. So your battle will be hard. So stop crying and saying that, well, uh, why are they fighting? Why are they? they will fight you. They will fight you. Once they say, get on your marks, get set, run. That man, the first man that is leading the race, automatically the enemies of all the others because they are pursuing him 
when you are seen as a danger to the activities of the enemy, your battle will be hard. The enemy knows that there are some, if they could get their hands on money, real money, that they will use it to serve the Lord all the days of their life. Say, so, ah, oh, don't give money to this one. If you give it to this one, he will use it to destroy our kingdom. So don't let him have it. Anyone here this morning? And the reason behind any poverty you are suffering is because you are seen as a danger to the to the activities of the enemy. This morning that battle shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus, he shall be scattered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Three. The enemy rages when you are set to make positive history. You are set to make positive history. You are set to rewrite your family history. Maybe what is written in the archive of darkness against your family is that nobody must prosper. You now came out. I want to rewrite that. And you think they will leave you alone and just let you do it like that. You cannot fire live bullets at the enemy and they are firing rubber back at you. There must be a fight. Four. The enemy rages when heavens are planning your celebration. They are already planning your celebration. And I see somebody here this morning. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you shall be celebrated. In the name of Jesus. Five. The enemy's rage when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough. You are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough. The enemy now begins to rage. Begins to rage because you are at the edge. Six. The enemy's rage when you're the time when the time to sing your song and dance your dance is around the corner. They will rage. Seven. The enemies rage when your testimony is about to explode. They will rage. Eight. The enemies rage when the final yoke they have been using to keep you down is about to be broken. Broken number one, broken number two, Broken number three, broken number four, broken number five, broken number six. Only one strong one is remaining. And that one too is about to break. They will rage seriously against you. They will rage and say, What's like, are you the only one? Are you the only one? Yeah, you did that. It's working. You did that. It's working. You did that. It's working. Are you the, are you the only one? I pray that are you the only one accusations? That the enemy is using against anyone here shall backfire against the enemy. It shall backfire. It shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. No, but now the enemy's rage. When their complete defeat is around the corner, and they can see that defeat coming, the rage. The Bible says, Rejoice ye heavens. So woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and unto of the sea. So because the devil has come down against you, having great wrath, for he knew it that his time is short. He can already see that defeat. So he's putting up a desperate fight. And once somebody is desperate, desperation introduces some extra energy. I pray that your desperate enemy shall desperately die. In the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. The enemy rages when your victory becomes non-negotiable. Can't be negotiated again. Your victory. Eleven. The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. <laughs> How did he get here? How did she get here? The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. Twelve. The enemy rages 
when your promotion has already been announced in heaven and the enemy hears the announcement they start to rage 13 the enemy rages when your case has been fast tracked in heaven it's been fast tracked so do not begin to rage here 14 the enemy rages when you are definitely positioned to make your life your, your mark in life you are definitely positioned to make your mark in life 15 the enemy rages when you have just won a major victory they will now wait you ah does it mean this person has gone does it mean we can't continue to hold this person in bondage 16 the enemy rages when there is a prophetic agenda for your life that is a does say the lord has been pronounced upon your life 17 the enemy rages when you have been promoted above them the rage when you have been promoted above them 18 the enemy rages when you are determined to forget your expired past yesterday it's a cancelled check tomorrow it's a promissory note it's only today that you really have when you are determined to forget that past and move on there will be rage 19 the enemy's rage when you refuse to take no for an answer you refuse to take no for an answer they shouted at blind Bartimaeus, shut up you are disturbing us the man responded with more aggression 20 the enemy rages when your harvest is ripe very ripe harvest then the enemy rages 21 the enemy rages when you are about to cross your red sea and i see somebody here this morning before 2009 will come to a close you shall cross your red sea 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 you shall cross it 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 in the name of jesus 22 the enemy rages when the power that prolongs your problem is about to die that's when the rage will be so much i'm saying this this morning so those of you have been worried and depressed and unhappy you don't understand why the battle against you so much i'm explaining the reasons to you 23 the enemy's rage when you tell them enough is enough they will rage because they know now you are poised for war 24 the enemy's rage when you are set to overtake your superiors they've been there before you but you want to overtake them the enemy's rage 25 the enemy's rage when you decide to be stubborn to obstacles decide to be stubborn to obstacles the enemies will rage the enemy's rage when you are determined to turn your scar into star you are determined to turn your scar to star the enemies will rage 27 the enemy will rage when you are determined to go from zero to hero 28 the enemies will rage when your divine turning point is near when your divine turning point is near 29 the enemies will rage when the enemy sees that your blessings are irreversible they try to reverse it they cannot they rage now listen carefully number 30 the enemies rage when they are deeply entrenched and you are demanding their uprooting they are deeply entrenched they've been there for 40 years 50 years you're not demanding that you come out oh there will be a rage against you a rage against you look at that small boy in mark chapter 9 mark chapter 9 from verse 20 mark 9 20 and they brought him unto him and when he saw him 
Straight away, the spirit tear him and he fell onto the ground and wallowed foaming. The spirits were angry. And he asked his father, how long is it ago that this came upon him? And he said, of a child. And oftentimes it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw the people come running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. What happened in verse 26? And the spirit cried and lent him sore and came out of him and he was as one dead. In as much as many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. Raging spirits. They got really, really angry and they decided to even kill the boy instead of getting out. 31. The enemy's rage. When there is an ancestral yoke you are trying to break, they will rage. I said, this thing has been there before you are born. Why do you want to remove it? 32. The enemy's rage when you are trying to get off stubborn curses and stubborn covenants. Stubborn curses, stubborn covenants are trying to break them off. They will rage. 33. The enemy's rage according to the level of your previous consultation with powers of darkness. If you have consulted the darkness and darkness before you got born again, you've consulted them plenty of times that the rage will be much. 34. The enemy's rage when you have had past sexual occultic partners. You have had occultic sexual partners. The enemy will rage. 35. The enemy's rage when your past involvement in the world of darkness was deep. A former native doctor surrendering his life to Christ will fight a worse warfare than somebody who just went for consultation. 36. The enemy's rage when your name has been circulated in the, in the coven. Plenty of covens with your name in it. The enemy's will rage. 37. The enemy's will rage when your potential usefulness in the kingdom of God is high. The enemy's will rage. The enemy's rage during the birth of Jesus. Jesus had to be taken to Egypt and brought back later. The most invaded city in the world. The most attacked city in the world. The city that has seen most warfare, the largest number of warfare in the world, is Jerusalem. In fact, Jerusalem has been invaded over 400 times. Why? Because Jerusalem has a prophetic role. So know for sure, beloved, that your own Jerusalem too will be hotly contested. 38. The enemy's rage, just like that of the small boy here, when they are losing their accommodation. Their accommodation was this boy. They are now rich. 39. The enemy's rage because they are afraid of demotion. Because once they lose their assignment, Satan demotes them. And 40. The enemy's rage because of loss of face being very proud personalities they rage these are the reasons why the enemies rage bible says why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a vain thing the kings of the earth rise up they took counsel together against the lord and against his anointed so let us break their bands asunder and cast away their yokes from us it that seated in the heavens shall laugh. What do we do? To quench the rage of the enemy. One, we need to become a friend of God. Two, 
Worry and anxiety must die in your life. First, become a friend of God. Two, kill all forms of worry and anxiety. And three, wage war against the rage of the enemy. That's why we're here this morning. And I want you to be serious with this few minutes you want to use in prayers. I want the intensity of your prayer to be volcanic. Especially if you notice I say rage against you. I remember the story of that brother. He was to take a final exam in medicine. But the, the day of the examination, this final exam, immediately they sat in class, somebody switched on the radio outside. And what came out was military music. And there was a coup in the country. So quickly, they disbanded the class. He could not take the exam. For the sake of the same exam, he ran to the UK. They were going to start the exam again. All of a sudden, somebody came to announce in the examination hall that the professor that was coming for the examination died in the train. He made a third attempt. He almost died. There was a rage against that. There may be a rage against somebody's marriage, rage against somebody's finances, rage against somebody's career. The important thing is to quench that rage. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. We have a short time for prayer. And that short time, I want to use it extremely well. All eyes closed. Anyone who is in the service of this morning, you did not come here by chance. God specifically brought you to this morning's service. If you pray this morning here, and one way or another you lose your voice, but you quench this rage that is against you, you made a good bargain. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Just put up your right hand where you are and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that short prayer with me, don't go home immediately we close. Find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. Beloved, like you can see, we are here for serious business. Serious assignment. I don't know why they are raging against you. I don't know your specific reason. But I know that the Bible says, he that seated in the heavens shall laugh. Then he will break them with a rod of iron. Then he will dash them in pieces. Like a potter's vessel. It is not me who wrote that psalm. It's not me who talks about using the rod of iron to break them. It's not me who say who will dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. It's not me who wrote that the rock will grind the enemy to powder. It's in scripture. All eyes closed. Everyone here this morning, you have a battle to fight. You may not understand, but the battle is there anyway. I want you to identify specific areas where you know the enemy is raging against you right now. I want you to identify areas that you are going to deal with in this service. Now with fire and with power in your voice. Don't negotiate this prayer with anybody. Because immediately we start this prayer, the power of God will begin to move from person to person. The louder you pray, the better for you. Shout this loud and clear. Rage of darkness! Against my destiny! Your time is up! In the name of Jesus! Oh yes. Oh, put your mouth, put your mouth, put your mouth. Bakate kare kare aboshente. Ribo sopende kare aboshente rabakaya ba. 
Makatonda kapai rira kasempela kayama. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. Something is happening already. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you. I told you what will happen. That's right. There are 25 persons here now. The trouble is that you are under the rage of domestic witchcraft. Within the next few seconds. Right there where you are standing. A arm from heaven will lay upon your head. And the agenda of darkness for your destiny shall be broken to pieces. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That hand, that hand of fire. You can feel it on your head. That's number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Yes, they have harassed you for too long. But today is the expiry day. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. Let this man go. Let him go. Remove your rope from his waist. Remove your rope from his neck. Let him go now. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Thank you, Jesus. With more violence in your soul, you will shout this again loud and clear. Rage of darkness! Of my father's heart! Dark! In the name of Jesus! Release from their cage. Release from their cage. Masakaya bo shentaraba. Masantaya Bokoshenta. Yes. Ma 
Masikaya Bushentaraba. Something is happening. Continue, continue, continue. Why clapping your hands and singing this song with full concentration? Concentrate. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. 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 Ah, Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. 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 Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Lord, Lord, Lord. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. 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 With a voice louder than anyone here, you will now mention your specific case. My career, my family, my whatever I want to put. Rage of darkness against my calling. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Now be specific. Continue, continue. Today is today. Every rage of the enemy against my marriage, against my calling, against my career, against my hope, command it to backfire. Right now. Right now. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let those who believe in those three prayers shout three Jericho style. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now with your eyes closed, we pray the final prayer point for this morning here. And with that anointing, like Gideon, you go and prosper. Say every rage against my peace, my prosperity, my safety. Can you shut those three things loud and clear?
in the name of Jesus deal with the rage in Jesus name we pray father according to your promise that you will love the enemy rages against raging against us to scorn and that you will break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's verse every power raging against any area of anybody's life here oh god of elijah dash them to pieces 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 in the name of jesus and any blessing the enemy has stolen from you this year repossess them in the name of jesus and by next sunday there will be nobody here without a testimony thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray let us share the grace in fellowship Shout it loud, hallelujah. Right there where you are. I'd like you to open your hearts to the Lord. A lot of us have been battling against strange things we do not understand. A lot of people are being pursued by what they do not know. It is time for you to pursue the pursuers. Therefore, right there where you are, in your own voice now, Pick any song of praises and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. we thank you for a time like this before your feet. We thank you because your word says call upon me and I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that you know it not. Thank you because it is written that you yourself took our infirmities and it shall stress us of our pieces upon you and by your stripes we are healed. Thank you Lord because it is written that Jesus has defeated principalities and power on the cross of Calvary and he has made an open show of them triumphing over them in victory Father I pray right now that as many of your children as are gathered there this day every stronghold constructed by the enemy whether it is ancestral or generational whether it is accidental and or is conscious in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ let those strongholds be pulled down tonight in the name of Jesus. You, the 
stubborn pain by the waist of this sister. The stubborn pain at the back of that brother, which is actually an arrow of darkness programmed to move into your heart very soon. You, the arrows of darkness, go back to your senders now. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for all those who are in this meeting today and there are organs in their body you need to replace. It was written, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Every organ that needs to be replaced receive the replacement now in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. Father, I'm praying for anyone here now and the organs of your body have been turned upside down by the enemy. The organs seem to be fighting against you. You organs hear the word of the Lord. I command you to cease from your conflict. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven from here. The powers biting your favor shall separate instantly from you. When the power of God comes upon you, you may not be able to stand on your feet. But that enemy of your favor will be separated from you. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout this with only anger. Every satanic night vigil. Is that the loudest who can shout this for? A sign against my life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Something is going on here. Yes, continue. Aha, 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 aha. You see the touch of Jehovah, the touch of the power of God, the touch of the anointing, the touch of the power of God. Aha, aha, aha. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, this hands that are stretched here, let it carry, let it carry the power of God. Let it carry the virtue of God. Let it become the battle axe of God. Let it become the instrument of healing. Instrument of deliverance. 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 In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in any part of your body, this is time to smite it. Smite it mercilessly. Things are about to happen. The stroke is about to disappear. The cancer is about to go. The confusion and migraine is about to disappear. The lameness is about to disappear. You will smite it and shout, Blood of Jesus! Blood of Jesus! 21 times. Let's go! Continue, continue. Jesus. Jesus. 
Makatenda rabo sopo la kaya bo shentenia. Da riba sopo nde kaya bo ko shentera bo sopo la makata. Yes, enough is enough. Smite it, smite it. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. Yes. You will shout this again loud and clear. Dreams of affliction. Dreams of defeat. Your voice is not loud enough. That voice is not loud enough. Dead! In the name of Jesus. Destroy the satanic dreams. Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Silence again. Father, anything that anybody has eaten or swallowed that is now troubling your destiny, right there where you are, I command those materials to begin to come out of your body. In the name of Jesus. Every weak part of the body the swelling in the neck, the swelling inside the brain, the arrow in the heart, the power affecting the breathing. Pack your load and depart now in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Organized to waste my life. Can you say that louder? Say it louder than that. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Yes! Tonight is tonight. We are not here to negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Of shame. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is still not loud enough. Shout it again loud and clear. Shout it louder than that. A sign against me. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say this seven times without apology to anybody here. Say, the Lord shall perfect everything that concerns me in the name of Jesus. Shout it seven times. Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babel of my father's house, scatter in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray satanic journey prolongers can you shout this loud you are a liar in the name of Jesus yes satanic journey prolongers die in the name of Jesus in Jesus then we pray say thou great physician envelope my body in the name of Jesus thou great physician envelope my body name we pray mountains that defeated my parents you cannot defeat me scatter in the name of Jesus scatter the mountains something is happening over there in Jesus name we pray say Jericho problems Red Sea problems Goliath problems can I hear you shouting those three things can you make it louder than that Make your voice even louder than that. In my life, in the name of Jesus, Jericho problems, Red Sea problems, Goliath problems, die in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray my future hear the word of the Lord be better than my past can I hear you say that in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O month of August, hear the word of the Lord. Favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Favor me, favor me, favor me. In Jesus' name we pray. Can 
you shout this loud and clear? I fire back every arrow of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire it back. Aha! Tonight is tonight. We are not here to negotiate. Now that we have to play. Bopa Rikatela Kaya Boshanda. Darimo Saponda Kaya Boshente Lava. Bapa La Katanda Kaya Boshente. Derimo Sapi Ali Katanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Follow, follow witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening now. That's right. Bapota setela, barika sependa kaya bo shentera ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Anti glory witchcraft. Open your mouth and declare it. Tonight is tonight. This is not a day to negotiate. This is not a time to negotiate. Basikapo de kayabo shendera basanta. They must give way. Masikatela kayabo shenta. Daribo sopon de kayabo shendera basanta. Jesus name we pray shout this loud and clear witchcraft assassins can you shout this with only anger you are a liar Damn! in the name of Jesus that's right Somebody has to raise up your voice. You need to raise that voice up. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Awake to harm me. Can I hear the sister saying this? Sisters, hmm. Hey, can I hear the sisters again? Brothers, can I hear you shouting it loud? Everybody together now. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. In 
Jesus name we pray any power transforming into animal at night to attack me can I hear you saying that say it again die by fire in the name of Jesus yes thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray Say this after me now. Say any problem that came into my life through the blood of my parents die. As you say that, you begin to smite your belly body. Speak to put that hand. Any problem that came into my life. Through the blood of my parents, die. Any problem that came into my life through the blood of my parents, die. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. Problem that came into my life through anything I've eaten or swallowed, die. You'll be smiting your stomach as you are praying now. Open your mouth and pray now. To anything I've eaten or swallowed, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Any problem that came into my life through satanic dreams. Da! In the name of Jesus, smite your head as you pray that prayer. That. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You start clapping your hands as you pray this. Any problem that came into my life through witchcraft and envious enemies backfire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Amen. Silence. 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 Father, anyone here and a long time ago they took you to a running stream and a satanic prophet birthed for you thereby washing your virtues away right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the yoke is broken now That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Silence. I'm going to count seven from here now. On the dot of seven, all those who are here, who have been unconsciously dedicated by their parents into witchcraft, 
they will be set free. And the power of God will fall upon them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The strong man that they are assigned to be sitting on your head that's monitoring your life is being shaken off. It's being shaken off. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you are here tonight and you have any infirmity in any part of your body, you will smile the place with that and you stretch forward 21 times and you will cry out to that infirmity. Powers of infirmity die by fire 21 times. Let's go. Do it well. That is the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Makapota setenda kaya boshan. Rimo sepila le katende kaya boshan tera. Manakantanda rabo sepola kaya boshan ta. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Say every part of darkness, whispering my name. <laughs> Can I hear the brother shouting this? Sisters, I want to hear you shouting loud and clear. Everybody together now. Break now. In the name of Jesus, break the pot of darkness. Yes, begin to use that leg. Begin to use that hand. Masika poli katandayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray check your body again things have happened thank you Jesus 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 any power of the night harassing my destiny tonight in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. The power of the night. Deal with them. In Jesus' name we pray. A seven for the man. Right there where you are.
Take any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. loud and clear. Every covert manipulation of my life scatter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and scatter it. Oh yes. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. In the presence of those asking for my God. Is that the loudest you can shout? Oh God, our Lord, manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Do it a second time. Let your voice be louder now. Open your mouth and pray again. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Manifest your power. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the final time. Open your mouth and pray. Manifest your power. Jesus name we pray unrepentant witchcraft hear the word of the Lord yeah! in the name of Jesus Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that roars like thunder, you shout this loud and clear. I fire back! Every arrow of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to fire it. This is not a day to negotiate. And we are not here to joke. There must be no negotiation. seven from here now. At the count of seven, 
any infirmity planted by witchcraft spirit we go back to their covid when the angel by your side this is answer upon you you may not be able to stand but then their yoke is broken forever one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every spirit of torment, I bind you and I cast you out. Every spirit of stroke. Every spirit of my grave, I bind you and I cast you out. Every power pounding anyone in any demonic matter, I bind you and I cast you out. Every evil smell and satanic odor, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Say every witchcraft covenant covenant. assigned against my life. Your time is up. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Command them to catch fire. Your marriage must be released. Your children must be released. Your business must be released. Must, they must be released. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. A miracle that will shock your doctor. Has just happened to somebody over here. The issue of blood, the satanic plantation, has been eliminated now. Every witchcraft plantation in the head, every witchcraft plantation in the eyes, every witchcraft plantation in the heart, every witchcraft plantation in the intestine. Every witchcraft plantation in the womb, every witchcraft plantation in the body. This is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Every witchcraft plantation in the body. Get out now! Get out! 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 Get out now! 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 In the name of Jesus! Silence. Some people brought some sicknesses here that have just vanished now. Check your body. Find a way to the altar very quickly. Check your body very well. And find a way to the altar very quickly. Don't let the witchcraft forces put the problem back. Now stretch your right hand towards this altar here. Father, these hands that are stretched here, let these hands become the hands of fire. The hands of thunder. The hands of power. The hands of healing. The hands of deliverance. The hands of strength. The hands that will pursue the pursuers. In the name of Jesus. 
Get yourself ready. As I say, go. You will smite anywhere having infirmity on your body. And you will shout, war unto witchcraft. Let's go now. Yes, let her go. Let her go. Enough is enough. Aha. Amen. Check your body now. That place you were smiting. Check your body. I bind and cast out every ancestral serpent that has been picking up the destiny of that person over there I bind and I cast them out in the name of Jesus I am going to come seven from here again then the strange spirit husband that is troubling some people will separate instantly this strange spirit husband is responsible for impotence during ovulation. Is responsible for headaches, pains, irritability. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the spirit of must leave you alone. Lay your hands upon your stomach now. Remember, the people will not go green. You take them by giri giri. Anything I have swallowed from the camp of witchcraft come out now in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. Release, release, release. Something is happening over there. Yes, let her go. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I'm praying for these people you brought before me. Whose parents are into witchcraft. And it has been troubling their destiny. I'm praying for these people you are bringing before me. Where there is a central witchcraft in their family. Father... As I count seven from here, let your hand fall upon these people and let that yoke be broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Yes. They are chained upon your neck. They are chained upon your waist. They are chained upon your legs. They are chained upon your womb. It's broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of paralysis, lose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. Check your body. Check your legs. Check your hand. You cannot use it. You will use it now. Run quickly to the front. The power of God is coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will now decree this with anger. Witchcraft powers will not stop me. Where they stop my parents. Can I hear you shouting this? Your volume is too low. Can you shout it now? Shout it again now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it loudly.
enough is enough. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Certain miracles will not happen unless certain forces die. Rain did not come down upon Israel until Elijah, the sword of Elijah, slaughtered the prophets of Baal. Isaiah could not see the Lord until Uzziah died. Certain powers have to be eliminated before certain miracles manifest. Say, powers that must die for my breakthrough to manifest. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Basetani kaya bo shenderaba. Bokatenderaba sepola kaya bo shenderaba. Continue, continue. Continue. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. This is not a night on our church. Jesus. In Jesus. Then we pray. Aha. This is wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we cover all the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Let your miracle power completely overshadow everyone gathered here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I saw one here. There's a satanic milk flowing from your breast. It's a witchcraft attack. It has been terminated now. There are 2,200 persons who are going to have uncommon turnaround breakthroughs. Silence. Someone is here. Some strange, invisible insects have been biting your body. The head, the womb, in the breast. They are all witchcraft attacks. All these attacks have gone back to the center. There is a man here. You belong to the forces. Uniform man. I have a word for you. An uncommon surprise promotion is coming your way. That person who has fainting feelings is because every midnight they are summoning you. I cancel the witchcraft summoning now in the name of Jesus. I am going to count another seven from here. And a personality will walk out of some people. And your life will change completely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Can you raise up your voice in anger? Wasting witchcraft. You are a liar. I waste you by fire. In the name of Jesus. This is not a night to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past trouble. My father, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past trouble. 
people. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and answer that miracle. Masika poli katendekea. name we pray. I someone in this meeting. They are using your photographs against you. As I'm talking now, your photograph is thousands of miles outside this Lagos, which they are using to manipulate you. That person right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken forever. Yes. Something is happening over there. Silence. Silence. I decree by the decree of heavens that that principality attached to your family name that has made life terrible for you as I can't seven from here the covenant between you and that principality shall break instantly one two three four five six seven Something is about to happen here. Again, I'm going to count another seven from here. The power of God will fall on a group of people. This group of people, anytime something good is coming your way, the enemy makes you to lose your temper. And that anger now brings in the enemy to scatter what you want to do. The power of God will come upon you where you are. And that yoke will be broken. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't hide. You can't hide there. This is mountain of fire. <laughs> I have a message for one woman here. I don't know who you are. It's a simple word like this. The Lord said, Woman, your wealth has come. see me laugh. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. We are not here for negotiations. We are here for actions. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Silence. As somebody is up there, you have actually been buried alive. Although you are moving about, but the real you has been buried. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken completely. Yes. Let her go. Let him go. All sisters looking forward to marrying a good husband. All brothers looking forward to marrying a good wife. All parents looking forward to their children marrying good spouses. 
They should raise their voice in boiling anger like this. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Disappoint my marital enemies. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Disappoint them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody here. I don't know who you are, but the word came like this. What said, beloved? You shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence now. I want to pray for specific people. Father, all those who are here now, and there is a black hand holding their hands. Anytime they want to do something good, there is this black hand holding their hands. Let the black hands catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That person over there, there's a one for you here tonight. From the same place where you were deported, from there shall your blessings manifest. Yes. Father, I'm praying for any who is here now and they are suffering from spiritual bullets fired in the dream. These bullets are stored in their bodies. Father, let the fire of the God of Elijah pursue these bullets out of their hiding places. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence again. Father. As many as are here in this meeting and they have consciously or unconsciously eaten or drank materials from the table of the devil and that material is troubling them. Father, as I count seven from here, let there be volcanic eruption inside the body that will push out every plantation of darkness. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yes. Certain things are about to be approved now. Plantation from the waters. Plantation from the seas. Plantation from familiar spirits. Plantation from dark powers. When I count seven here, you breathe in and out aggressively through your mouth and through your nose. As you do that too, you are bringing out every infirmity fired into your body. In the name that is above all names, every stranger in the body, I command you to begin to depart. <laughs> through the mouth and through the nose, do it aggressively. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In, out, in, out. Yes, they are coming out, they are coming out. You need supper to the womb. Out, out, out now. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Breathe out. Every infirmity. Let the arrow of infirmity begin to go, begin to go, begin to go, begin to go, begin to go. Thank you, 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will now pray this prayer. Pray it without showing any mercy to the camp of the enemy. My destiny. destiny. What are you doing? doing? In the valley of witchcraft. Can you shout that loud and clear? Jump out my fire! In the name of Jesus! This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this with boiling anger? Say, serpents! Mighty my destiny! Death! In the name of Jesus! Father, it is written that you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastising of our pieces upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. Every arrow of infirmity fired into the head, fired into the eyes, fired into the heart, fired under the armpits, fired into the reproductive organs, fired into the womb. Mapota le caribo santa. You cannot stay there anymore. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. You the demon of infirmity. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout this loud and clear. Dark mirror of the enemy monitoring my life. Explode in the name of Jesus. Command an explosion. Command an explosion. An explosion. Tonight, tonight. This is not a day to negotiate. Command it to explode. In the name of Jesus. Command it to explode in the name of Jesus. Command it to explode in the name of Jesus. Command it to explode. Jesus, then we pray. Say any power, any power. calling for my head in a coven. Can you shout this loud? Die with the coven in the name of Jesus. They must die with their covenant. They must die with their covenant. 
Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. And don't say this does not concern you. Just pray it. Say every bondage upon my brain. Hey, is that that you are going to shout it? Let your voice be louder than that. I still want you to try harder than that. Shout it loud! Break! In the name of Jesus! Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, as many people as are here tonight, whose placenta is being used to war against their destiny, to war against their breakthroughs, to war against the peace of God for their lives, to war against their testimony. To war against our progress. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 Let your amen be louder. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Get ready to smite that stomach now seven times. As you do that, any satanic connection, any evil flow that has entered into your life, any placenta manipulation. That yoke will be broken off. One, two, yes, tonight is the night. Three, four, five, six, seven. Be released. That's right. Yes. If a tree has been planted on your placenta, or somebody has eaten it, or it's in the belly of the heart, receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. Smite it again seven times. One. Aha. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Aha! You must be released. Enough is enough. That's volcanic eruption going on in some people's tummy now. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Anyone here, Lord, and the reason behind your stagnancy is because of placenta manipulation. Be set free now. Be set free. 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 Fire! 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 In the name of Jesus! Get us up ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, enough is enough. Put your hand on that belly button. That's right. Say any power. 
God wants me to suffer what my parents suffered. In the name of Jesus. Say, say, say. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus, move, 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 in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. roars like thunder. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Say every curse growing in the soil of my life. Can I hear the sisters shout to this loud? Brothers, can I hear you shouting loud? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that no voice can overshadow here. Please don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice in this prayer. Say, witchcraft powers. That defeated my parents. I am not your candidate. Can I hear you shouting that? Dad! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. There is a power of God coming upon you here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of their Lord. In my life, they shall see, they shall hear the goodness of their Lord. In my life, turn to somebody and say it. Somebody again and say, They shall see. Turn to somebody else and say, They shall see. They shall hear. They shall see. Shout this with boiling anger. Every curse, Every curse. with long legs, long in, my in my family, break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to break it. Baparia, the Katanda Kaya Boshanda. Jesus, then we pray. Generational cursing. I am not your candidate. Pray in the name of Jesus.
Papara lo katolaka daribo sapanda kaya boshenta. Something is happening over there. Tonight is your night. Not a night on a gosheit. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name we pray. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. Every curse assigned to oppose my greatness. In the name of Jesus. Kapali katanda kaba, the ribos upon the kaya mo shenteraba. Every curse assigned to oppose my greatness. Blood in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A letter is coming your way that will change your story forever. Thank you, Jesus. You will say this with boiling anger. Curses that defeated my parents. You cannot defeat me. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. I fire back every hour of curses. In the name of Jesus. Let your voice be loud. Fire it back. Fire it back. My party got a certain decay of a Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every charm. Can you shout it loud? Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here tonight. 